Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. I'm Claire. I've got to turn the microphone a bit more towards Claire. And sometimes uh, Ted, Ted's not here right now because Ted's gone off to eat his lamb chew somewhere else. But Ted, Ted will be back. Dang, we can get we can get some nice nautical music in the background. There we go. We can have, we can have some nice nautical music. Like that's probably a bit too loud. Actually, hang on. Hang on. I'm just gonna say say lower the volume there. I made that about right. There we go. So nice, some nice creepy nautical music in the background. It's many a true nerd. Watch if I got to that bed. And this is this, this, and welcome back to Dredge, which is, uh, which is fascinating. And I think I've figured out why I think it's fascinating. Which is, there are many games, right? There are many games where they say, I know, to make a new, exciting, sexy, fresh experience, we're going to blend two genres together. And uh, in many of those cases, one or both of those genres become a gimmick. Like, really, it's like one of those genres, but the other one's just sort of there as a mini game or something. But, you know, in some ways you feel like they're doing it big so that they can say, oh, it's an XY hybrid. You know, and, and, and there's an element of gimmickry to it. Dredge, this is not the case. I think, in fact, Dredge is a really fascinating example of a hybrid game where if you took out... All of the supernatural horror stuff, it would still be a good fishing game. Nice. And if you took out all the fishing stuff, all the fishing mechanics, it would still be a good supernatural exploration horror game. Like, it, it, which is wild. That this is like one of the most well-blended hybrid games I've played for such a long time. But I think it's really bloody clever how neither genre feels uh, like it's like overpowering or the gimmick and really the game is... Uh, the other. That it's actually kind of both. Which I think is really bloody clever. And what I really, really, really like about Dredge. And it's just such a weird, interesting, fascinating world that just aggressively plays by its own rules. And just, you, you only get the slightest glimpse as to what's happening, but you accept it. It's very well written, to my mind, in that regard. So yes, lovely. Lovely game. Absolutely lovely game. And yes, you may recall, hang on, let's just go over to the... That's fine. We 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 do this. There we go. That's that's a dredge. That's a dredge right there. Just on dock. It's almost night, which is all, which is X, which is always you know an excellent spot. But that's fine. Look at that. There was there's, there's loads of loads of lovely fish who definitely want to be friends. Just not about them. Possibly some of them just as pigs. We just went from day to night. So in case you missed the video or you're Claire who has no idea what the cock's going on because I did this video. Oh, do you want to know a really fun trick by the way? No, this also, this also stores a little bit. Oh, hang on. I'm going to slightly lower the volume. Hey, Ted. Oh, is Ted back? Yeah, he's finished his lamb chew. That still looks really loud. Hang on. That just, that feels like that's too loud. I'm just coming. In. I think that's probably okay. I think that's probably okay. So, okay, do you want to know a really fun trick? How, if you watch a one-off video, how you know whether it was me or Claire that edited it? Because it's, it's a, shorter, it's Because exactly... I was going to lead into that a bit more, but sure, let's just, let's, you know what, let's just, let's, let's just do what Claire does. Let's just get this live stream wrapped up. Let's get to the end. It's like, this is a game. It's good. There probably would have been some gameplay, but it'll be, we can end the stream faster if there's not. Good night, everybody. Let's, well, let's just, let's just, fa let's just fast forward a bit. Sure. Let's not bother telling an engaging story or anything. Jesus, Claire. Yes. As a general rule, if it's longer, it's going to have been edited by Claire. And if it's shorter, it's going to be edited by me. And the base files would have been the same. But I aggressively, aggressively cut out to all the Claire. I'm way more fussy about what stays in the video. So this is a fishing supernatural horror game. Where that is because, by the way, he'll look at a little bit and he'll be like, boring, cut that entire bit. And I'm like, mm, no, when John, like when John talks in general, it's funny and interesting. Yeah. So, no, I, I, I'm clearly... So. Is Ted right behind me or something? Did he naff off somewhere? No, I think he naffed off. Oh, he naffed off again. Oh, fair enough. Just, I just want to make sure Ted's not behind me. So, so we don't, uh, so I don't immediately, like, you know, run him over or anything. So, we, we, we washed up, kind of by mistake, in Greater and Little Marrow. Lovely pair of islands that are definitely not named after bones or anything. And there was a lovely, mysterious man who's hiding to the shadows who wants me to gather five horrific ancient artifacts of the Ancient Ones from the bottom of the sea. And I don't see how anything could possibly go wrong in that scenario. So naturally, I said yes. Uh, so that's fine. Uh, so we, we got one out of the Marrow area. And now we're basically going around the outside these four other territories. One by one, trying to find the other sunken artifacts. Now naturally, this means uh, 
I need to go and fish them up. But the, the other thing I really think... The other thing I really enjoy about this game, by the way, is uh, how different... And how simultaneously the same and different is from other Lovecraftian horror games. Because, like, every Lovecraftian horror game I've played... They all take place in fishing villages, which I assume is just where they get set. They're all, you're always in New England in a fishing village. I don't know why. I don't know why, like, you know, aliens always attack New York and Lovecraftian horrors from the ocean attack, like, New England. I don't know. I think it's... So that's just where the books are set, presumably. I, I mean, I don't know. I'm assuming so, yeah. Yeah. I mean, just, what's... Okay, can you just get up a map? Yes. Where is New England? I mean, it's somewhere Isn't in New England, like the original thirteen colonies. Yeah, but is that, well, all, all of them. I thought New England was like—is that like a, a bit of a state? What if it is New England? No, New England is definitely like connected to that. There's more than one, definitely. Is New York Six in New states. England? Connecticut, Maine, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, and Vermont. That's not New York, is it? Bordered by New York. Bordered by New York. So, okay, like, if, like, the typical alien invasion and the typical from the sea invasion happen at the same time, then the aliens from above and the aliens from below will end up neighbouring each other. They will be living next door. That's a good setting for a story. Where the aliens have, have attacked America from both sides and now they're just neighbours. They just don't really like each other very much. They have to, like, you know, go around each other, borrow a cup of sugar, try to avoid going to war with each other. It's like, well, we, we hate the other humans, too. We hate each other more. ba da ba ba da ba Wacky. It's great. But, like, in all of those games, you're all, you're always in, like, you're always in whatever the cock New England is, precisely. And yeah, you're, by the way, the New yeah. Yorkers are really offended that you think New England, New York is part of New England. No, we've just so established quiet. it's not. It's fine. We've just established it's not. So it's all fine. But, yeah, they're, 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 they're like... This is the bit, like, in those games, you're always, like, a detective. You're always a detective in a fishing village. And, like, the fishing's just going on in the background. And, like, you might interview a fishingman or a fisherman. Or you, you might shoot a fisherman or occasionally a fisherman, like, hiding something from you. And da, 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 da. But you don't get to actually do the fishing. And in this game, you are basically in that same story, except you are the fisherman. And you don't really give a shit about the mystery. You're just out here fishing. And if you happen to stumble across some ancient artifacts while you're fishing, it's, it's, ah, oh, it's great. It is a good point by Aiden. New York was once New Amsterdam. That's true. Uh, yes, indeed. And, uh, da, 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 da. yeah, basically, all of this stuff is set in New England because Lovecraft was from New England. Makes and sense. As we know, Lovecraft hated everything that wasn't exactly like him. Oh, it's so, clearly so. Yeah. So, oh, I just, I just fixed up my boat, by the way. I've both taken a couple of knocks. I should probably get well, my boat fixed up. So, yeah, this is what well, you... you have to fix up your boat like uh, like you're in uh, Galaxy Truckers. Basically, yes. Your, your nice. boat, as you takes damage, not only can you take three knocks, then you're dead, but also it will you lose parts of your hull as your boat takes a few knocks. But every little fishing... You just go to a little fish spot, and then, like, you know, you just do little fishing mini games that just make time pass, and you just pick up little fish. But these fish probably aren't worth much, to be honest. But, yeah, clearly I should... Uh, Yes, get over to the lovely fish. The uh, there's a nice there's a nice uh, woman over here who's basically your shop in this area. Yeah, we've kind of recently arrived at this new area. It's not actually. Oh, hang on. There's also there's also wind in this area, which is a bit of a problem. And big fish, tiger mackerel. That's new. Uh, yeah, that was a big one actually. So yeah, uh, if you see yellow, it's hard to hit, but it's like a proper full sized one. Uh, so that's oh, that was also a monster one. That's that was a bearded mackerel, which is just Cthulhu mackerel. That just happens. There's just Cthulhu that fish. That's adorable, though. It's adorable, you say? I think so. I wouldn't have gone for adorable myself, but that's fine. But yeah, you could just like yes, do but some. I like how it's got the little tendrils. You 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 think of it? In all fairness, I think you're not wrong. Next to some of them, which are, which are nightmarish monsters. Like these ones are not so bad, really. So okay, now I've done a bit of fishing. I should be able to. Uh, Yes, unfortunately, uh, pay for my boat repairs, which I'm pretty sure you can do. So, fish market, floating dock, shipyard. Yeah, fish market. Mm. So, when trawling, pay attention to how deep the water is. Not every kind of fish likes deep water. I don't have a trawling net, so that's fine. But yeah, we could just basically uh, sell, yeah, mutated evil fish for way more money. Big fish for way more money. And a bit of money for normal fish, so that's fine. And these are only like uh, five reefs, don't even bother with them and to be honest but yes let's let's be honest here what we really need to do is go to is it the shipyard or yep there we go please please repair my boat thank you it's much appreciated and yes at some point when i've got enough money i can like do more and more bits and pieces in particular yeah there's a really nice uh, rod here 
that if I bought that, I could replace both my existing rods with. Because, uh, yeah, rods do different, like, types of fish patches, but some rods, like more advanced rods, do multiple at the same time, which saves you space <laughs> in your boat. Oh, dear, what, so, what, what have I got wrong about New York? No, it's not that. Uh, James, uh, James says, oh, those aren't Cthulhu fish. The fish are just that ugly here in New England. Wow, rude. T this is... I feel like that's a New Yorker in disguise who apparently they hate they hate New Englanders. Which seems harsh. You guys just live next to each other. You should you should just be chill with each other. It's fine. So, yes, what we're doing at this point of the world is we're ultimately trying to track down a series of sunken artifacts which need to be dredged up and then also seem to trigger monsters to chase you. So it's the exact moment in time we have got Yes, hang about. Yes, search for relics. Uh catch rare fish. And also, uh, the Hermitage. Find a family crest in Gale Cliffs. I met a hermit who living up by the rocks at Gale Cliffs. I'm going to crumble down. Fell out with his brother or a whaler at Ingfell some years ago. If I can re repair their relationship, should be able to move back. I must find an old family crest. So we're not even looking for the artifact yet. We're just basically helping out the locals because uh, eventually they might give us information. Because we know, yeah, we heard from elsewhere. There was a buh, buh, buh. yeah, there was a big whaling expedition. It went north many years ago, and then they just it was never seen again. So somewhere north of Gale Cliffs is probably the artifact I'm looking for, but I can't activate that just yet. So instead, yes, we're looking for a sunken ship of some description. Let's just check in with yeah, there was a, there was some form of hermit. Somewhere over here. We'll check in with him and just remind myself precisely what I'm supposed to be doing. And I may as well do some uh, fishing while I'm passing by this. Ooh, corner cod. Is that just cod or is that a different type of corner fish? No, that's salmon. That's got to be worth some good money right over there. Lovely. Oh, yeah. I like the corner fish because they just squeeze into the corners like very conveniently. Let's not spend too much time today fishing. So, okay, just... Pop over to you. Yeah, I was just kind of looking around at the end of the last episode. So hang on. There was a hermit over here. Hello, what can I do for you? Yes. Tell me about what's going on. Keep an eye out for my family crest. It was dragged into the tunnels by that creature. It patrols the passageways of the cliffs. Its lair is somewhere towards the center by a large waterfall. I've marked the area on your map. Perhaps you could look for it there. If it's too troublesome, don't worry about it. So, okay. It says, yeah, tell me more about the creature that lives in the cliffs. It's been burrowing tunnels through the base of the cliffs. You can see gigantic holes it leaves below the surface. Forces it way out. It causes rock falls. Uh, if you plan on going in there, keep an ear out. Okay. Interesting. Should you catch sight of it? Well, you should be able to outrun it. It's slow if you can navigate the passageways. Okay. That's, that's good enough for me. That's good enough for me. He doesn't offer anything else. I could rest here if I wanted to, like, get to morning. Undock. That's, uh, undock. that's fine. Undock. We've got plenty of... Undock. Oh, I think I redocked after undocking. I don't know. It's just cool. I had some dock problems. So, okay. Go to my map here. I like that this game does actually, like, you know, treat you very, uh, treat you very much like an adult. It just kind of basically says to you, you know what, just figure it out for yourself. It's fine. So, yeah. Can I, wait, can I zoom in on this map? I don't know if I can zoom in on this map. If, okay, but even if I can't, if I want to get to the center of the cliffs, then, yeah, I could go straight on and then take a right through a really, na really narrow passageway to get to the center of the area. But just watch out, because apparently there might be monsters, and I need to... don't know if you just heard that, but my rumble pack just rumbled. And there's... Oh, and again... And, oh, oh, hello. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, kick, kick, kick. No, 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 no. Bye. No, 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 no trouble. No, no, ow. You said it was slow. You said it was slow. Maybe we shouldn't go fishing right now. Maybe we should go, like, dredging. And wanna... Ooh, sparkly rain. Right, dredge, 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 dredge. Hopefully it can't eat me while I'm dredging. Don't, don't eat me. I'm treasure hunting. There we go. I've got a pile of money. That's, imp that's important. Does anyone know where the... I'm definitely still hearing him. He's 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 around somewhere. Okay, so he's around. How's the boat do That was two blocks of damage all by itself. Right, he can two-shot you. And also, it's nearly night. Okay. It, it's, it's not friendly. 
it turns out it's not it's not friendly what we're going to try and do is we're going to go and we're going to go out if i loop around the way i was just going then yeah i can get back round to the dusty pontoon where i can repair the boat and maybe we don't come this way we, we, we loop around the outside and we get in that way, where it's wider. If we, like, loop around the back, like, all the way around to the east, and then go in, that's going to be easier. My only concern now is we've just got to stay away from... Also, do the rock falls indicate he's coming? Because they might do. And you are going to be... There's also... Oh, this is... There's whatever the cock this is. Yep. 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 That is a weird thing. Is that a stonefish right there? Hang on. Stonefish! It's ugly as balls. Okay. Uh, it's also night. I don't think I want to be where the monsters are at night. I think I've decided I'd like to leave. And I'd like to not get eaten while I'm leaving. Actually, at night it might be easier to see. Because it's got a big glowing eye. Uh, they're also... Oh, bloody hell. Now I can't see. Oh. It's, it's really... It gets really dark at night. I need my lights on. So I can bloody... This is... Oh, I'm, I'm feeling... There it is! There's the dusty ponto. That's fine. This is... This is... There was also a sinister flash. There's, sometimes there's a sinister flash of red in the distance. But I'm sure that's fine. Right, so that creature can two-shot me. So that's fine. All we need to do is just... Yeah, is just is sell all my fish. Just sell all my fish for $62. And then I'd like you to repair my boat, which probably also costs about $60. So I've, I've, you know, I've paid for my own repairs at the bare minimum. Yep, there we go. My fish have covered my repair. I feel like I'm being scammed by this lady. Right. I want to rest until morning. I'm not doing this when it's dark and also I'm insane. Because that's what happens. So what we're going to... Oh! Are you insane when it's dark? You go, you go insane if you try and uh, sail when it's dark. Yes. Also, I'm pretty sure I just saw it right over there. I think I just saw it behind me. Coming out of this way. The problem is, can it, does it leave this area or not? Or does it only stay in the narrow passageways? Because what I'm planning to do now is... The problem is, yeah, you don't have a proper... You, sometimes it's a bit hard to navigate. What I'm going to do is, okay, now it's day. We can go back over to my... Uh, unholy demon haste engine, which it's totally okay to use. Not a problem. Not in the slightest. Just always double check, you know, the fishing spots. Whatever that is, I've not seen it before, so we're going to have one. And go. That is a sturgeon! It's also a wibbly corner fish, which is nice. But let's not spend too much time catching it. Okay. Go over to my map. Because I do know that you have to properly navigate. Yeah, I think we want to go all the way around. Like, past the two little islands. Then the big one. Then when there's a tiny island by the inlet. That's where we turn in. And we don't turn in before that. So we keep going here. And also, yeah, if you see a dredge spot. Which is like materials floating in the water. Always take them. You need them. To, like, improve your boat. And you, you desperately need to improve your boat. That's what's keeping you alive. Though it does eat a lot of space. Uh, I will admit. So we might have to... Potentially dump the surgeon, but like there's there's no way in hell I'm leaving behind dredge materials. Dredge materials are too valuable to to not take. Uh, so that's coming with me too. And there's wow, there's still more. Wow, okay. I'm gonna use up a little a little bit more of this day than I was planning to on dredging materials. But honestly, if we have to turn back, it's still worth it. So that's all dredged up. That's more material. Oh wow, there's more material. Screw it. We're having a dredging day. This is, this is worth it. That's metal materials. Honestly, yeah, just take it. I'm literally going to take these. I'm going to get them back to base. And I might be able to improve the boat. Although... Okay. We might have to... might have to do a little bit of... When I say we'll have to do... Oh, oh hang on, hang on. No, 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 no. Stop that. Stop that. I just want to... I just want to fix my thing up. Um... Okay, the fish can go. We don't we don't need the fish. We don't need the fish. Then we just need you to go here and then no, we need to go. Is there literally any way for me to pick up the materials I want to pick up now? Because if you guys go if you were to go here 
And then you would go, because the thing I'm looking for is a 2x2 two two grid. I mean, and if I, even if I were to dump, okay, no, 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 what we're going to do is, okay, okay, what we're going to do, we're going to, we're going to leave ourselves some lovely, lovely. Oh yeah, remember when you get back to base, you have storage? I do have storage, that's true, I should put away the treasures in that, that's definitely true. Uh, I want to pick that up, basic crab pot, place it. Yeah, we're just going to put the, the crab pot about here. That's. Hang on. No, 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 not place. I want, I want to, I want to, I want to deploy it. Wait, how do I deploy my fish again? Do I need, do I need to have a designated spot for my thing? A pickup? Yes. Place, no? Yeah, that's place in my cargo holder. I can't remember how to hmm. deploy it as a thing. I'm trying to remember how you, how you actually deploy my, maybe I can't deploy my crab pot here. This may not be the right point for me for me to deploy my crab pot. So I'd like to pick up all my materials, but I can't remember. Maybe it needs to be in shallower water. I'm sure I'll remember this is here. I'm sure I'll remember you this You said is... with the action button, it's an ability. Oh, yes, yes, yeah, you are right. Thank you. I'd forgotten about it. Yeah, there's plenty here. So place that. Mm -hmm. Right, crab pot's now been removed. Okay, now the crab pot's been removed... That gives me the space to move. Thank you for the reminders. Uh, yes, now now I, now I, we know. Now we know. Now we know. Now this goes to here. This goes up to here. This goes up to here. And now we have got the space that we need. Uh, and would there be space for me to do? If I was willing to travel at half speed. No, I can't. I can't move the engines, unfortunately. I can have one. I can have one here, and then I think we need to, we need to, we need to sell some junk. We desperately need to, uh, sell the junk. There's also a nice treasure right there, so bare minimum, we can get this. Night is rapidly approaching, but that's fine. We'll take this one bit, put it here. We'll leave the rest here. We'll see if there's easy treasure to be got out of... What is this? Here? This might just be treasure, which is really small. Yeah, it's small treasure. Yeah, fine. So we'll just dredge that up too. Yeah, and that'll just be a nice easy ring. Yeah, lovely, nice easy trinket. Uh, of a two by two. I need to. I I should. And then I, I should store all the treasure away. And now it's night, and now we just basically go back the way we came. Uh, activate my haste module. Get the flip out of dodge. I have not taken any damage, so we should be okay. And I'm pretty sure that just around the corner is the floating pontoon. Uh, so there's there's weird there's weird wibbly things on the ocean, and your light occasionally just flickers on and off. But that's fine. It's it's fine. We're not about to die. The sea gets a little bit creepy at night. See, we've already made it. This was the floating pontoon right here. So okay. The things we can't sell because she won't buy trinkets. She'll buy fish. She won't buy uh, trinkets. But one, we can go straight to the floating dock and we can start getting investments in here. So yeah, modifies two cargo spaces towards the hold engine so I can have more engines. Or I can have more light space with two wood and one uh, metal, which I've totally already got. So that I'm going to do right now. So I'm just going to slap those in place. And it's also going to cost me $50, but that's fine. I've got $50. Put in there. Purchase. $50. So now I've got an extra spot uh, for light in my hull. And if I just do this one extra upgrade, and I can, like, bank stuff into it ahead of time. So I can put you in there. And I'm pretty sure I've also got... Yeah, I've already got one spare metal here. So I just need one more metal. And everything else, like all the treasures can go into... Can I store... Oh, no, I think I need to go into... I think I need to go into the separate storage menu. All of the rest of that is storage. I've got one extra spot for uh, this, which is fine. I've already got a separate light spot. Yeah, come out of this. But yeah, if I just get one more metal, I can do the engine spaces, and then I can start moving towards brand new hull, which nice. is... Yeah, which is way better, because presumably that's, yeah, loads of more cargo spaces and uh, more health. Which is really important. So 100% go over to my rest storage. Yes, my storage. That's how we move things over. So research part can just wait. Though actually, I could also just do research. Hang on. Do I actually have the ability to... Yeah, I may as well just bank that here. Research and engines. Yeah, start working on better engines. 
So twin propeller engine. So 36 point, wow, 36.8 uh, kilogram, uh, kilo, uh, kilo, knots. That would be what that knots, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah knots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pots or nets. I'm not super into the nets, to be honest, or the pots. I think the engine is the better option. So screw it. Let's just start investing in the really good engine. No, it's still like another two research points before ready for that. Go back over to my storage. Uh, yeah, that's freed up this spot, which is going to have a light in it. Then we can just have uh, all of these. You can just move them straight over as well if you remember to do it that way. There we go. Properly empty. And, and next... what's um, what's all the fishing line you've got there? Do you all need... Do yeah, all these are... That catches fish that are ocean fish. This catches fish that are shallow fish. This catches fish that are coastal fish. Um... So if I don't have all of them, I won't be able to catch everything. Though in time, I'll be able to buy better rods that do multiples. Can you, like... Then I can free up the space. Can you, like, move... Can you rotate the rods? In theory, yes. But they are in... The, these are the only five spaces and the only four spaces that can hold rods. Not everything can hold a rod. Ah, it's dedicated space. Like, this is the only space that can have a second light. I see. Which I can also buy right now. If I go sense. over to the shipyard, I can buy a second light right now. Because I've now got the space for that, which is kind of nice. Uh, so, yeah. Speaking of which, I will do that. And also, speaking of which... Now I've got two spots. I could put the halogen light in. So lumens is, yeah, that's just better. Halogen spotlight is just superior. If I have one halogen, then two cloudy lenses. Because ranges... What do the do cloudy lenses do? Do they go further? Cloudy lenses is like 20 meters and it's 750 lumens each. This is more lumens than both of them put together and more range yeah. than either of them. So 100%, we should basically just sell the existing light... And, like, yeah, I'm willing to go out at night now. I'm just going to look for the nearest fishing spot that's easy to get to. If there's, like, a really convenient fishing spot around here. Wait, you haven't changed the lout out yet? Yeah, but that's, I can't afford it. I need to I need to do um... fishing to afford that. Though I don't want to go too far out to sea, because these could be traps. These could, in theory, 100% be traps. Like, if you see colour and flashing over the water, it probably means something's messing with you. And I'd rather stay in the bay i feel like it's safer staying in the bay and just looking for some bubbly fish spots in the bay like as long as you're inside the lights in the bay it's not going to get too terrifying in fact here we go look there's one spot over here that's got wibbles over it and that's that was just to freak me out that's fine the fact this spot has got wibbles probably means there's mutant fish down here which is actually good news. Uh, so, yeah, we'll have that. That was just one normal fish. And as long as my eye doesn't get... Oh, we've got a special extra big fish. Gelatinous stonefish. Nice. As long as my fish doesn't go... Yeah, that was the mutated version. Uh, and that's just a normal version too. I'm happy to... Yeah, that was the end of that. Okay, I'm going to rest up here because it's 1am and I'm freaking the flip out. Something sl oh, something slithers into my cargo hold. That means one of my fish has been spoiled because I've gone. It may or may not be true. I, I might, I might have, I might have just gone bananas. Yeah. Uh, like it's entirely possible I just went bananas. Uh, which is a shame when that happens. But uh, what can you do? So if I check that, yeah. Luckily, it was not the most valuable fish. It was the so this fish has been infected. So can you just? I can sell it, but it's going to be worth a lot less. Yeah. Do but, you just throw it into the sea and litter? Uh, no, I think you can still sell it. It's just it won't it won't make much it won't that make that much money. But yeah, just bad stuff happens if you go out at night. Like shit, weird shit just happens basically. Yeah. Stuff just gets weird. Oh. Stuff just gets really, really, really weird. Uh, and yeah, I do appreciate like the chat was just saying that every type like different types of fish have different mini games attached, which is lovely. So okay. Mm. Fish market, we're going to sell all of them. That's worth a good $68, which is good. That's $250 right there. And then go over to the, the shipyard, which I think it was. That was precisely what I needed, wasn't it? Uh, no, $275. But if I sell you, if I sell you my existing uh, lie, which I think I'm allowed to do, right? Uh, yeah, sell you the lie. As long as that's worth, yep. That's worth that. So sell the cloudy lens. That's $90. Uh, so meaning now, straight away, we can go over to my brand new, exciting, sexy 
halogen spotlight. So install yes. that. It takes a little bit of time to install. Only two, a couple of hours. So now next time it's dark, I can generate way more light. Which I think means uh, I go less bananas yeah, when it's dark. Because yeah, yeah. I'm casting more You're light out. You're freaking out less. Exactly. So now I'm going to go back out to that fishing spot I saw earlier. To dredge what was the other parts that were there. Now I've got plenty of Wait, time in the day. Have you sold your fish to her? Or? Yeah, I sold the fish. Yeah. Uh, but it wasn't quite enough. So now what we'll do is I can hear that bloody monster around but I've, there's clearly a lot of dredge spots around the outskirts of this here island so i'm just going to make sure i get every dredge spot and then that should get me some upgrades right over there that could be some mutant fish but i don't really want to ooh, be a little bit careful with the tornadoes mines just give them a little bit of distance but yeah there's dredge spots and treasure spots around here which are kind of my priorities for the time being that was also yeah that's where my crabs were which is fine. But yeah, I want the rest of the uh, the metals. But yeah, while well, I just get them up. Claire, how's everyone down below? Yeah, everyone's doing uh, everyone's doing good. And... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, yeah, shout out to Gary who gave us £100. Oh, wow. Thank you very, very much, Gary. Uh, Gary says, hey both. Uh, I saw an interesting CK mod based on Skyrim and Oblivion. Uh, do you have any future plans for that? This is... That's... Is that Elder... Yeah, that's Elder Kings, isn't it? Yes, it's come up... Yeah. It's come up many times, don't worry. At some point, I'm sure I will give it a Luke Like, not probably not as a full series, but like, uh, whenever it's a good time, just do a little bit of extra bits and pieces. Yes, that seems like an excellent candidate for sub for a little bit of extra. So, 100% uh, at some point, but I've got no immediate plans. Not as we're going into new release territory, like crazy. Like, over the next few weeks... Dead Island 2, Advanced Wars Reboot, Star Wars Jedi Survivor, probably other stuff I've temporarily forgotten. Lots of stuff is uh, is coming out at the moment. So, uh, yes, we've got no shortage of uh, new releases. But yes, when we're at a quiet quiet moment where there's nothing uh, new exciting I want to uh, check out right that second, 100% I would not be surprised at all. Uh, Josh in chat says... Uh... John, just FYI, most dredge spots and treasure spots respawn, so you can't collect them all from an elimination standpoint. Ah, that's good. Mm. So, yeah, if I went back to where I had started previously, they might be a lot nice. There might be a lot more of them floating around at this point. And, yeah, we've already managed to make it to uh, the end of the day. So, yeah, now I'm just going to nip back, bank those. Everything's going to be fine. Just watch out. Oh, hang on. That's true. Do I actually need to set my light, or is that just inherent? I think that just is an inherent on anyway. So I think yeah, it definitely. Yeah, I think it turned itself on to, for the. I think we should just get the. I think we should, by the way, get. I think we should. I think we should just. Get out of dodge. Yeah, I think we should get away from from. Bye. Yeah, I think we should just stay away from whatever the cock that was actually. That just made me a bit, yeah, I, I'm a bit, I'm a bit red and bananas right now. I mean, there's a good chance. But I'm, I think you're also a bit red and bananas because you activated haste. I think haste makes you crazy. It does, but I think nowhere near as much as being attacked by wi the wispy red nonsense monsters. Mm -hmm. So, okay, back over to mm -hmm. shipyard here. Uh, no, not shipyard. I want floating dock, which are very similar. So, engine spacers, give me you over to here. Boom, I cannot afford the upgrade, actually. I need to do a bit of fishing uh, to afford that. And then, uh, meanwhile, yeah, the new hull requires... Oh, three material, which I've literally already got. That's not even that difficult to do, but it will need a fair whack of money. Uh, Interesting. These things do need to be paid for. So, um, yes. If uh, other people have played this game uh, in chat, would appreciate your thoughts, but Corny in chat says, I'm honestly not sure if the treasure dredging was worth it. You can only sell it at one location. It fills up your, it fills up your storage space. And frankly, catching special fish pays very generously. You know what? I think that's actually probably true. That, that does feel like, yeah, one treasure, the unique treasure trinkets don't even generate that much money. And, like, you, you do have to... But then again, you can put them in your storage locker and just, if you happen to be passing by Marrow, sell them. But, yeah, 
if later in the game your storage shock is starting to get full up anyway, I can see the sense in that, yes. Oh, that's really interesting. Yes. Uh, Netravat and Scientology uh, say uh, the red wibbles cannot hurt you if your lights aren't on. So it's a trade-off, like you can turn off your lights to get rid of the red fog, but obviously it's Oh, they're like, it's like a trick of the light in a way. That's cute. Mm. All right, well, so. or it's a monster, but it can't find you if you don't have lights on. I think it's like, in, like plenty of these monsters, you could like interpret them as, are they really there or am I just bananas? Am I imagining them? Because the damage is very clearly established as it's damage to your, it's not physical damage. Mm. Like there are things that physically damage your boat, but yeah. many creatures you run into do not physically damage you. They mentally damage you. So yeah, the question as yeah. to whether they were even ever there or not is a completely valid one. Next Geno says, uh, uh, it's worth it in the early game to dredge uh, anyway if you have time. Uh, also, it's got a small chance of giving you a research part. Yeah, we de the research parts are kind of worth it if absolutely nothing else. That's very true. Mm. Let's just, oh, blimey, that one's, these ones are a little bit on the tricky side. Is that a wreckfish? Oh, that's a big boy. That is a, that is a huge boy. This better be worth some flipping money, especially as these ones are a little bit hard to get. I can, I, I, I can, re well, that's, I can only have two of them. So that's depleted already. Right, wreck, watch out for wrecks around fish. Uh, sorry, fish around wrecks. Uh, that's, uh, that's apparently a thing. Or well, you can squeeze in the corner a little bit, buddy. So we can get, we can get, we get one more of you too. And then that might be enough money to pay for that upgrade. I was wanting that. So that's all we can do uh, in terms of the fishing here without having to turn them. But yeah, this is why we need to get the, the boat upgraded. So once the boat's upgraded, uh, we can, uh, yeah, actually start holding more fish. Because what I'm actually doing as I upgrade my boat is, I'm handing over more and more spots in my hold to infrastructure like the moment i say okay two spots not one for light okay the light's better but that's the spot i can't put a fish in yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah, and until sure. you do the actual big proper full upgrade you literally you, you are basically you, you you're making your hold smaller and smaller so you do the big full-on upgrade which i think is quite an interesting system so now hang on go back to the fish market these are all fresh this has got to be worth good money these wreck fish yeah 153 dollars all in Great. Uh, so then, floating dock. Oh. Do it. Oh, is Ted having some dreams? Yeah, he's having some proper snores now and some. For those of you who are not on Twitter and thus miss, here's here's two things Ted's done in the last 24 hours. Okay, he got the hiccup so dramatically we took him to the vet because we thought he might have something obstructing his airway. And we talked to the vet on the phone and they said better get him checked yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, there we go, magnificent. So that's that was the thing. That was that was incredibly dramatic of him. And on top of that, last night, during his last wee before bed, he managed to get his feet in wet concrete and leave two little paw prints in the concrete that we just had poured. So then George So at which point I decided the smartest thing to do would be smooth over the concrete with my bare hands. Not realizing that you're not supposed to touch concrete with your bare hands, and that can actually lead to chemical burns. So then I had to make sure my hands were okay, and I looked it up and it said, okay, well, it's, it's a strong alkali. That's the problem. So if you put so your hand in something acidic, that will help neutralize it. So I was just sitting there at midnight with my hands in a bowl of orange juice. Just thinking, yep, this is, this is, this is it. This is how this goes. While also trying to get hold of Ted's feet. So see if I could persuade him to put his feet in a bowl of orange juice. This was after Claire had gone to bed. This was, Claire slept so for all I of this. So I missed it all. Claire, Claire, Claire missed all of this. Because Claire had gone to bed early because you were tired last night. Mm. Mm. So I was just downstairs with Ted. Trying to put his paws in a bowl of orange juice. No, the <laughs> paw creed has been smoothed over. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, so, um, yes, and of course, Ted started making funny noises at, like, what was it? 6 p.m. 6 p.m. on a Thursday. Yeah, exactly. Right? Classic. Classic and dog. Thankfully, our vet was still open. Just, so yeah. So we took him. Yeah. Yeah. And, Lol. um, I mean, yeah. Pe lots of, lots of people jumping in with why orange juice, why not vinegar, why not this, why not that. Uh, yeah, the first thing Claire's, cl first thing Claire said when I told her wasn't like, oh my goodness, are you okay? Let's make sure you don't have chemical birds on the hands that like, you know, the hands that you use to make the child. It was like, why didn't you use lemon juice, you stupid idiot? Okay, I did not say that. She I functionally did not say, said you that. stupid idiot. 
and I there was not... a distinct lack of concern. Yeah, because it had been the entire night, and I figured that if that was a problem, you would have led with that. <laughs> oh dear. So yes, Ted, Ted's managed to do all of that in a single in, in a single twenty four hour period. Get us to the vet and get his paws in some concrete. So that was good. Uh, so okay, what I need is yeah, three wood. Uh, Th two two metal and one refined metal, which I know you sell. And by the way, through that whole thing, John was trying to decide whether he would l tell me about it or not. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, obviously, once he realized that there might be something wrong with uh, with with Ted uh, with having touched the concrete, he was going to tell me. Yeah. Because you know that's important. Oh, but like at first dear. he was trying to smooth over the concrete so I wouldn't know that Ted had stepped in it. Yep. And then this morning <laughs> And then this morning oh, God. I found <laughs> some splotches of wet concrete on, on the, the torch. torch I went out with tags on the table last week and I forgot to clean the torch. So it's lucky I decided to fess up to Claire immediately, because if I hadn't, there would have been a lot of evidence left over. That I had in fact done something untoward. Given there was, yes, plenty of that on the torch. You guys not even worth catching. You're only five dollars a go. That's a dredging spot, isn't it? Yeah, that's a dredging spot over there. And you guys are definitely worth catching. The, these guys. I'll have you. I'll have another one too. And there's another dredging spot on the other side of the bay. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just take two. But that's dredge. Now by any chance is that metal? Because I think that's metal. No one seems to be on my side on this, which I find deep. No, where are all the people who are like, oh, John, I hope your hands are okay. I do hope your precious, precious hands aren't on fire or anything. Where are those people? Right, more metal. I need to dump one of these fish, unfortunately, because they're big, big ass fish. And there we go. Yeah, we'll just have to get, we'll just have to dump you. That's fine. The items here will be lost. I'm okay with that. And is that there's actually space for another? Well, there's three metal here. That's actually good. Uh, there's plenty of metal here, but yeah, all, all the all the fish get abandoned in the end. Though, kind of a notice also, I could now have a third engine if I buy a decent engine. Because yeah, I think the engine spots are now the two bottom rows. So if I turn these engines sideways, I could have another one at the bottom. So that's actually, that would actually work out fine. So yeah, leave that. That's all of that. Yeah, let's just get them back. Sell them. And yeah, work towards some very simple, fast upgrades at the moment. Because I, like, having, having learned that that guy is basically going to absolutely trash me in, like, two hits. I would not mind having a tougher ship. To be honest, stay away from the weird, red, wibbly McJibble. That's fine. But yeah, those are... When I say I can make some money on the fish, I've got no fish to turn in. But, like, what I can do is, yes, I can go over to the floating dock, go over to the hull, and I can bank two of those parts immediately, and the other one can go into uh, storage. So, yes, now it's just wood and a giant pile of money. What I need now is money to buy the alloy. She's selling that 500. The upgrade's 500. So, I need a grand to do the full boat upgrade. And I need to keep an eye out for, yeah, wood in particular. In fact, wood is the only dredgeable material I now need. Everything else I will need at some point or another. Uh, but yeah, it's now money. Uh, money and wood are the priorities. So we'll just move you over to here, buddy. That's absolutely fine. And yeah, there's clearly space for me to uh, install these in a different, better position. And in fact, how much is another engine? How much is an engine? If I go to the ah. shipyard here. Uh, uh, hey, shout out to Orange Tortilla who gave us five uh, pounds and says, John, I have worked with concrete since I was a kid and my biggest problems with my hands is the cuts from the troves. You are overreacting. Also, people don't want you to buy the refined metal. Don't buy the refined metal. Well, oh. it is rare you can find it. Oh, you can just dredge it up, can you? Okay, fine. Well, that will, we'll buy it last anyway, because I literally don't have the money for it right now anyway. Like, what I should do, what I want to do first, I want, bare minimum, I'm going to buy a new engine. I'm going to buy a new engine here, because if we just undock for a second, uh, yeah, I need to uninstall. Yeah, also, chat is just upset that as a historian and a classicist, you decided to erase the pole prints. <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure they would have had future historical significance. 
to be honest. Well, mostly because, uh, yes, where, where that concrete is, there's got to be stone on top yeah, of it. Yeah, we're, we're literally about to put stone over the top. Oh, hello, there's a sparkly. John, don't go towards the sparkly things in the don't night. Don't go towards the sparkly things. Do not go towards the sparkly things. Bad, bad things follow. Nightfish can be worth good money, though. Nightfish can be worth perfectly decent money. And, like, these geese, all I need to do is get up to $200... And then spend a bit of time re resetting all my engines. Uh, so we've got plenty of time to do some night fishing here. Uh, yeah, my eyes are still great. Also, I like the fact that these guys... Actually, that's fully depleted anyway. Uh, put you there. That's depleted. Just kind of do a little bit of a loop around the bay. Look out for anything else. But yeah, I'm still on green eye. I'm still miles away from any trouble. If I get like, I think like the spots where you happen to run into like mutated fish, I think they're more common at night. I think that might be a little bit more common at night. Stay away from the mysterious thing. Work my way back towards that. I go straight over to... Oh, okay. Don't actually... Yeah, don't use the haste at night. Like, the haste during the day, like, slightly boosts madness. But, like, it's a tiny, tiny amount. But at night, I think it's actually a big problem. So, um, sell all of them. Yeah. Okay, interesting. You can find a refined metal, uh, but you can't find it until you finish this mission, so if you're getting the upgrade to do the mission, you need to buy the refined metal. Ah, fine. I think I'm probably happy if I just kind of, yeah, get this all set up right to do it with that. And if I go out to sea a little bit during the day, there's probably more valuable fish out in the open waters over here. If this is an ocean spot. Ocean spots tend to be... Actually, that's, that is actually coastal. But I'm almost at $200, which is... Oh! That was a mutant black mouth, and those are worth way more money. And if you get lucky, you might see a yellow one, which means this is a, it's a big one. I mean, the mutants are just worth way more cash, uh, which is great. So just pull them in. This is literally around the corner. I was kind of hoping for a big ocean fish. Like, if there happens to be a big ocean spot, like, right, like, out in the ocean, you find ludicrously big fish. But they do make, they do sell for good money. But honestly, that's going to be enough for me to, one, buy my second engine... And then I just need to spend most of the rest of the day just basically rearranging it to make it all fit. So hang on. Get over to here. Yeah. Fish market. Sell all my fish for $100. Fine. Go over to uh, the shipyard. And... Oh, a gift! The Art of the Silver Tongue. It's a book! Okay, that's nice. She's just given me a free book. I presume because I did a lot of business with her. So now I can buy this good engine, which is fine. But I think what I need to do first is I need to, yeah, uninstall this. I need to I need to rotate these. Um, so uninstall this. Put it to here. Install that there. That's going to get used for a couple of hours. Uninstall this. Rotate it. Put it the... I'm gonna have, I'll have it go this way. That's fine. So that row's symmetrical. And then I buy the new engine. The improved outboard engine. And that goes here. And then, then irritatingly, I have to pick a direction. But I think I like it this direction. For some reason, I think that looks better. And I can't explain why. So now I've got... Yeah, I've... Ah. Yes. Um, so Roderick Quincy for Thunderbottom, the Magnificent Hiking of Australia, says... Uh, the spyglass lets you see what fish are at spots uh, from a distance. Oh. So you already fished it up. I did not know that. That's super cool. Yeah, I... so that way, I mean, if you... Yeah, if you can't see what type of fish it is, then yeah, that you does can, mean that you've never... You can never verify ahead of time, yeah, whether it's a fish that it's worth going over to. Because while you're not moving, your time's not passing. Mm. So, okay, this is it. Today's the day... So do you have the spyglass? I do have the I think you start with the spyglass. No, I, think, I think that's a starting item. Uh, I, I just never really used it. So, yeah, if you just kind of look over here and... Yep, yeah, oceanic perch. All right, that's super cool. You just... Okay, just slightly... Ra so just... Okay, that didn't count as a ram. I just... That was a gentle bump. It didn't count as a ram. That's... You just hear lots of roaring in this bit of the world, but I'm sure it's fine. And while it's the day, you can kind of use your haste engine without it really seeming to do anything. So now look at this. Look how now the time is barely passed. This is how time works in this game. It only it only passes while you're moving. But because it's still when you're still, the better, the faster your boat is. You don't actually move 
fast around the world, but time moves yeah, more slowly to represent mean. speed. Mm. Which is a weird way of doing it, but like, what to get your head around Im immediately? But it's it's it kind of it, it works kind of nicely actually. So okay, pass. I may as well pick up my crab pot on the way back, otherwise I will forget about it at this point. It must be almost broken. Yeah, this thing needs repairs anyway. So uh, take all, and also pick up my pot. And I still want to loop around the outside. I wanna I wanna stay out of the. Plus, I, I want to keep going around the outside because I want to keep an eye out for more dredging spots. So around here, just check my map. Yeah, I want to go around this big rock here. Watch out for dredging spots. Dredging spot! That looks like a dredging spot. Actually, that might be a treasure, which might be significantly less good. Yeah, I, you know what? I'm going to leave it. I think that's right. I think treasures that are almost not, they're not worth the amount of space they're filling in your, in your thing. Like, straight up. I, I agree. So, yeah, there's a little island here. We go in on the... You win this round, game! Pile of loose debris. We'll take some strong explosives. Right, one day I'm going to unlock a cannon. That would have worked had I... It's okay. It's fine. Surely you can get to that by looping around. around yeah, there's got to be an, it's got to be another way. Uh, but I, that that was my best way in. That was that was that was my plan. That's that's the plan in tatters. That's the plan absolutely in shreds. To sh oh, it's it's a fish shrine. I love fish shrines. Fish shrines you have to fill it with fish, and it is it's crabs. It wants crabs. Okay, well these crabs are basically functionally not worth anything. So, the problem is, I'm going to need... If I just bring these crabs, that they physically can't complete this puzzle. Oh, so you have to fill I have to fill up it up with thing. crabs. I mean, I'll store them here, because they're barely worth anything. But, like, I would need a different type of crab. Like, you know, or like a crab that, yeah. They, these ones physically can't do it, because these ones have to be here to fill up these ones at the end. Yeah. And then as a result, yeah, this doesn't work anymore at all. So, or I could use, like, little crabs to fill in the gaps. There are, like, tiny, tiny, tiny crabs I could get elsewhere. So, all right. That's, in fact, you know what? I'm going to leave my crab bucket. No, my crab bucket needs repairs. I can't leave my crab bucket. So, all right. Le leave, I, I need to repair that anyway. Uh, next to my back in, uh, back in base. Okay. Loop around here. That's another shipwreck. Which is, oh, that's a research thing. Yes, that's actually worth having. That's like the best. That's the best. That's that's as good as it gets, actually. Research is spectacular. Research part is beautiful, actually. So uh, that goes that. Yes. Right. And shout out also to Excelsius, who's been a member for 66 months. Ooh. Uh, and so 66 months, five and a half years. I wish you three a great weekend. Will we see Tides of Foscari on the channel, or did John already finish that in private, lol? Tides of Foscari. That, it rings a, hang on, I feel like I should know what that is. But a part of, but, but, but some, for some reason I don't. And there's also 10 million shipwrecks around this side of the oh, island. Oh, John, you didn't read the description of the thing. It said three crabs. Literally. Oh, it insists on three crabs, doesn't it? And it, it does a T-shaped crab. What's so. happening? What's happening? Why am I? Why am I freaking out right now? Is is it nearby? Is it? Oh, he's very near. Oh fuck, he's near. He's really nearby. Oh fuck, fuck, fuck. Don't leave. Don't, ow, ow. No, leave me alone. I'm trapped. I'm trapped against the thing. Yeah, but the thing is, this guy who you say can two shot you. Yeah. He takes a shot and then leaves. Ah. So he doesn't two-shot you because he doesn't stay. Yeah, but I need to get back home again afterwards. Yeah. And if I want to pick up... Okay, I now know this. I, I, I'm gonna go, I want to go for home. I want to go home at this point. Not that I can... Actually, I can probably afford repairs. I've decided I want to go home. Okay, just check my... Check my map here. I'm a long way from the dusty pontoon, actually. And there's... That's not a settlement, is it? No, it's like an old... Oh, this is... Oh, come on. You're fine. Keep fishing. No! It's quarter to seven. It's already officially night. 
It's officially night. Okay, we know what we know where this is. There's that we know there's a you huge graded light. Oh, title for Scary is a new Vampire Survivors DLC. That's oh, I that's about. why I knew that word. Yeah, I've not actually got it yet. Even though like it costs like one pound or something ridiculous because they're just they're, they're just the best. The DLCs are such good value. If I cut through to the ruins, but then okay, I don't dare go into the narrow passageways because at night I won't oh, necessarily. Sure. It's and also I need to be really careful because if, if if a thing comes out of nowhere like a rock. Uh, and they can just appear out of nowhere at night. I I, I will now sink. If I if I touch a rock, I sink. Uh, which is a problem. I just need to, I just need to follow. Yeah, I need to go straight on. Straight on. And there's oh no 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 no. I'm hearing rumbling. No, ignore the shiny things. That's the back of Ingfell. That's the back of Ingfell. Oh fuck me! Right, this this is where we turn in. There's actually there's there's dredgeable just around the corner from Ingfell. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, and I think we've basically made it. Okay, we're safe. The rumble pack's still rumbling. Rumble packs are rumbling, but that's you light occasionally goes out too. You have to re yeah. turn it back on, but that's fine. That's fine. That could have gone much worse. But this guy does sort of eat your... Yeah, I think he kind of hunts you. And he can make it to that ship uh, graveyard. You can rest at any dock. It doesn't need to be a town or merchant. Was that dock I was... I, I, I didn't go to. Did, would, have that, would that have counted? I'm not sure. I oh. bet that would have counted. Lol. Uh, okay. Ah, if John, if your ship takes damage, you can lose stuff uh, going overboard, including that nice research part. Yeah, that's yeah, mm. yeah. I'd heard that before. Okay, we uh, don't actually need the material; uh, we just needed the wood and the refined. Yeah. Netravat points out that you need to start reading that book she gave you. Yes, I do. Start. I need to set the book. You need to set an active book, otherwise it won't do anything. Uh, right. Pop you here. Okay, what we're we gonna do? Yes, people confirm that that dock would have worked. Lol. Okay, uh, spend all my money repairing the boat up. Rest here. There is actually plenty. We now know there's wood just around the corner from Ingfell. And now I know that's the direction I want to go in. And wood's what I actually need. Wood, wood is the, the wood's the one bit I actually need. So, okay, that creature's a dick. Don't like that creature. But I mean, bare minimum, at least I'm now going, like, at speed. Avoid the random tornado things. Yeah, there was wood. I literally passed this there. That's not to say it necessarily exists. It could have been phantom wood. No, it does actually exist. Brilliant. And wood is like the one thing I need. If this is three wood, that's literally all I need. And then I just need the money for the upgrade. So I'm kind of hoping this might be uh, three wood. That would be beautiful. It's saying low right now. Come on. Three, not two. I think generally it's two when it's this material. No, it's another one. Shit, that's literally all the wood I need. Which means all I need now is the money to pay for the upgrade. Which is fine. So that's, that's literally all I need right there. That is the exact amount of wood. And I need the refined metal. Which is... That could be more of a problem potentially. Are any of you guys are valuable? That's a uh, random little fish. Fluffed it. There we go. That's just a tiny tiger mackerel. I suspect that is not going to be... These are not going to be worth much money. While I'm literally, you know, passing by them. Kind of may as well, this is. And do not forget, of course, the spyglass. I'm going to go I'm gonna go dump the wood uh, into the shipwright pump. Yeah, that's literally all I need. So, yeah, that is... That, that wood has been spectacular. And then, yeah, tomorrow we'll return to... Do not even bother with the tiny little fish. The tiny little fish are worth, like, $5 each. They're not worth the time it takes to flipping harvest them like it is it is not worth it it is not worth it but crucially we are so close we are so close to the hull at this point it is it's it's a thing of beauty Claire, well, the I just... book john the book yes the book there's a lot of things to think about in I this know. game there's a lot of things, which i think is kind of almost intentional i think you're kind of supposed you're not supposed to do this optimally you're supposed to be a, a fisherman who's slowly going mad so it feels kind of appropriate that in some way it just kind What's of... What's the last thing that you need for that? Um... The refined metal, which I can buy for 500, or if you're lucky, you can just...
find it. Mm. Which is why I'm going around to that big ship graveyard uh, next. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. my destination. Uh, but also, research. Dump that into my extremely advanced engine. Or I could put it into an extremely advanced rod. Volcanic. I've not even been to Volcanic yet. So don't worry about that. Ditto Mangrove and Coastal. So don't worry about that. Yeah, I'm just going to put that into advanced super mega engine. That would be very exciting. So what is this thing over here? Jet drive engine. Nice. Oh, but that 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 requires that's that's a long that's a large that's five that's research a, points. That's that's one. Yeah, yeah. No, it means it fills one space, but no, it needs I know. five. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But so it, what I'm saying is, it would fit it nicely. Is worth. Yeah. Spending the money on that. Yeah, but until I've got enough research, because yeah, it would sit there and yeah. there while a two by two engine would go here. Yeah. Would be yeah the ultimate layout, I'm assuming. But yeah, until we until we've got the money, and before I forget, okay, undock, cabin, and that's going to ask the silver tongue. Select like empty bulk. I assume that's going to make like prices be better. Yeah. That's in because really really that, really that, that doesn't really seem to be like speech oh, checks hello. in this game. Hi, Ted. Ted's looking very chill. After a stressful week, he didn't like the concrete being poured in the garden. Bless him. He wasn't keen on that. He was there. He thought that was noisy. And then he had to be on the lead to go in the garden to avoid him putting his paws in the concrete. And then I just let him into the concrete anyway because I'm an idiot, apparently. So yeah, that was that was good. <laughs> Happy days. Okay, this is no, not the fishypedia. You know the fishypedia. Rest just so we've got a lovely brand new morning, and then we can go at speed round to the ship graveyard. But yeah, we need to be fishing as we go, potentially to. Yeah, now I need money. Although if I'm lucky, I need actually. You know, what, I need money for the. I need five hundred dollars for the upgrade, regardless. But I also need, uh, yeah, uh, the refined alloy, which I may or may not be able to get from uh, that ship graveyard. But we're going to give it a go. And if we hear a roaring and the screen goes a bit wibbly and whatnot, we just basically GTFO out to the ocean because he he lives in the, in the tunnels to the left here. He doesn't really come out. So he's only going to attack me while I'm close by. Like, I just heard a little rumble there. So I'm assuming possibly he's already started moving in this direction. Uh, he... By the way, the chat has a new headcanon. Oh, dear. That uh, the voices in your head that you can hear as a fisherman are, in fact, chat. <laughs> Story checks out. There he is. He's coming. But if I just boost out to say... He turns away. I don't think he can go away from the island. Yeah, look, he's, he's, he's going back in. If I hear him coming, I need to just basically GTFO out into open water. That's the trek. Nice. He, he can't do that. Mm. So, yeah, and I think he can't, even though time is passing while I'm dredging, I think he can't do anything about that anyway. So I don't actually need wood, but, like, I don't know whether raw material, like, this alloy that was being mentioned might show up if I get lucky. Now let's just check the shipwrecks. That's yeah, that's that's the wreck fish. Then we've got you. That's just a treasure. Eh, you know what? Why not? They seem to come up pretty fast. And now we know actually you know, we should check that dock just to make sure people are right about this. Like, I'm gonna check this dock. So is this dock an acceptable rest spot? Okay, so I could have just rested here. That that's apparently entirely legit. Uh, so oh that's goodness. that's cocking hilarious. Hey, uh, shout out to the the heathen X who gave us fifty dollars. Oh, thank you very very much indeed. Uh, let's see, and they haven't left a message. But if you do want to leave a message, please add reply me in chat or make sure to read that out. Uh, all the refined metal is gated behind explosives, says NASCAR. So you're not going to find it at this point in the game by the sounds of it. Yeah. And shout out also to Philip, who gave us uh, $50 as well. Oh, thank you very, very much, Philip. Oh, that's very generous uh, tonight, everybody. Uh, just wanted to say thank you uh, for staying consistent to all these years. I've purchased several games from watching your channel because of the interesting ways in which you approach a new game. 
I especially enjoyed Subnautica and anything Fallout related. I liked how Subnautica, it was the last episode of the series I bothered getting the prawn, and then I immediately got it stuck in a wall. That 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 cheered me up. That that cheered me up no end that that was a thing. So okay, it sounds like I'm I'm not gonna get the alloy at random. It sounds like that's just not gonna spawn at this point. From what people are saying, that is simply not gonna spawn at this. Not for me. Not not yeah, not yet. Yeah, I mean there, there seems to be disagreement about whether or not uh, you can. Uh, but also, yeah. there's a campsite here. Yeah. You stand in the center of the spooky campsite and. I feel like I, I don't want to do... I've decided I'm going to do this in the morning. I've decided I'm going to rest until morning. And then I'm going to check the spooky campsite. I've just... I just I've just decided that's better. Look at the campfire. Flat rock. Charred wood. Handful of tiny fish bones. Uh, kick the ashes. And I find... Research port! Nice! nice. Okay, look for footprints. No footprints. Unfamiliar symbols in the dust. Raised with a hasty sweep of a foot. Like a John trying to remove the evidence of Ted putting his paws in some concrete. And check the tents. Sheet of cloth over some sticks. Nothing inside. Uh, but some dirt where someone slept. Okay. Well, I've checked everything. Fair enough. Undot. In that case. Well, actually, can me I can actually do the research. And that's now available for purchase. But it still needs to be bought. Oh and it's probably expensive. Yes. <laughs> Shout out to Jay who gave us a hundred Australian dollars. Excellent dollars. They can be the best dollars today. Yes, indeed. Jay says it's been a hot minute since I could catch a stream. And it just so happens to be one of my favorite games at the moment. Fantastic news. The bad news is uh, I've got a few uh, nine hour retail shifts coming up on a Oof. partially dislocated knee. Wish me luck. Oh my God, Jay, I'm sorry. That does not sound fun. Good that sounds luck. like the opposite of fun. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Right, we need to dump the... Wait, John. Does... Does any... Does any dog have a storage access? Or is that as storage only on the propers? Oh, Did I just literally sell away from a storage locker? Could I, could I move all this stuff into storage? Because any dock has storage. That I don't know. Hang on. That's an important thing to learn. So if they've all got storage right now, undock, rest, research. No, they don't have storage. So I can't just dump it in storage from here and then go fishing. If I want to, uh, yeah, actually, if I want to stock those, I need to go back to an actual dock. And then I think we should just go fishing in the open ocean. Because that's going to be the easiest way to make money. And I, I literally need the money to get my ship up to the next level. And I feel like I want to do that. To be perfectly honest, I just kind of now I'm, I'm so close now. I want my ship to be the next level before I go up against that dumb monstrosity creature. Clap. Uh, yeah, shout out to the book seven seven eight who gave us five pounds and says, "Hey all, uh, thanks for everything. I've been extremely stressed this week because Simba, uh, Simba the cat, has been ill. Oh, Simba! Uh, binging your videos has been a massive help." And I would like to point out to everybody uh, that the, the book 778 has since pointed out in chat that uh, uh, Simba is doing a, a bit better, stabilizing a little bit. Oh, he good. He thinks it's food poisoning. Oh. They think it's food poisoning, but yeah. That sounds very sad. That sounds very stressful. Yes, I hope uh, he keeps eating, uh, eating well again. Uh, so yeah, we're absolutely swimming in material and metal. Uh, the wood's kind of been run out a bit, but that should be enough to do some upgrades as soon as we get the money together. So literally, it's just fishing. We just basically now need to go fishing, uh, which is absolutely fine because, yeah, fishing, especially in the big open waters, generally, like, if you find a good oceanic uh, spot, can generate just huge amounts of money relatively quickly. It just kind of depends if you stumble across a good fish. Like a big ocean fish. This one's one of the... T that's one of the tiny crappy fish. This is why I should use the... Uh, spyglass. Yeah, the spyglass. 100%. Uh, spyglass. So, going to that. Look for... Spots. Hang on. I think sturgeons are worth a little bit of money. And then apparently they're over in this direction. All right, we'll go grab that and we'll fish them up. So, okay, clap. 
this is a good point for you to get caught up. So we're going to do a little bit of fishing at this point. Yes, indeed. Shout out to Anthony, uh, Anthony, who gave us ten polish zloty, uh, and says, "I like you. Have money." Oh, that's th nice and to the point. Extremely so. Uh, shout out to Kelly, uh, who gave us ten pounds. Uh, and says, hey, John, Claire, and Ted, glad I caught this live stream as I've had a tough few weeks and you always make me smile. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. Um, I always make Claire smile too. Yes, always, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Love you, you do, you wow. do. Wow, rude, highly rude. Right. Ted always makes me smile. That's true as well. And this is... And this is a sturgeon. Was that? A, was that? No, it was not a special sturgeon. That was not a special sturgeon at all. That's also wow. That that those fish stocks depleted in a bloody hurry. Dear, oh flipping dear. Right, get them back. Get them back to base. Sell them up. Everything's gonna be fine. Maybe better fish will come out at night. Like night night fishing can jet can be very lucrative if you can find the right spots. Which I guess actually the spyglass would help with. Like you could figure out where the the nearest fishing spot at night is based on spyglass behavior, which is kind of cool. That's interesting. I hadn't really thought about that before, but that that is true. That's mm. that that makes a lot of sense. So okay, that's sixty odd dollars. I just need the no, I need a thousand, don't I? Because I need to buy the alloy. Because we've established we're not gonna find it. So all right, if we set out from here, activate spyglass. Now, just check for any mysterious night fish. The problem is, without knowing precisely what I'm aiming at. Bit on the tricky side to... Oh. That's just blackmouth salmon, which is not a, like a special night fish at all. I'm also deeply suspicious of being inside this thing. So I kind of feel like there's going to be... Sooner or later, there's going to be a jump scare with the spyglass. I, I, I feel it in my bones. There's no way that's not happening. And also, there's there's some slight. Oh yeah. Uh, I I I. There was an I. I noticed. I think it's probably because I didn't have my light on. I think as long as we just stay in the bay, we probably. There was a slight noise. There was there was just, just might have been Ted. That one was Ted. That yeah. one was Ted. That one was Ted. Okay, you know what? I've decided that night fishing was a mistake. I've decided night fishing was a mistake, and I'm just, I'm just, I've just decided we're going to rest until morning. And night fishing was was a mistake. That's what I've decided. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go and explore the lovely islands nearby. We're gonna go explore the lovely nearby islands because, uh, yeah, hang on, check the map here. I'm facing. Yeah, there's these lovely islands over off in this direction. Beyond, uh, yeah, there's some lovely islands beyond Ingfell. There's some lovely islands to the north. Beyond the rusty pontoon. Those are the ones I'm looking at right now. I mean, this would be the direction the whaling expedition set off. So really, I'm 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 doing I'm doing my job by going in this direction. I'm investigating the missing whaling convoy thing. Hundred percent. That's what we're doing. Legit. Mm -hmm. Completely legit. Here. It's a lovely day. I'm not being eaten by like anything. Just, I just feel like, you know, this is this is the way to go. Right here. This just feels like the right sort of direction to me. Clap! Yeah, shout out to Try and Time Gaming, uh, who gave us ten dollars. It says happy to be able to catch a stream. It's nice to watch a relax a relaxing stream, sorry, before my qualifying match on the yearly episode one race attorney. Nice. The, the Racer what? Tourney Tournament. Ah, sorry. Yes, I, I missed past that in my head. Mm -hmm. got... Well, I said it a little wrong as well. Anyway, thanks for the relax. Thanks for the relaxation and pet Teddy for me. Oh, Ted has got some that. lovely pettings asleep earlier. Right He's now, very so. asleep right now. Bless him. Yes, in. So yeah, that was just some treasure in that chest, which is actually kind of not good in a way. What I want right now really is I want good, valuable fish. Ideally, not the biggest fish. Like that's that's what we need. We need. Yeah. What are the mo most valuable uh, fish per square? Is that's, the question. That is interesting. Fish that are harder to catch generally. Wow. Oh, hello, big boy. Uh, 
can we even fit the chunky boy in? Oh, I don't think you can with your... Not with my current everything. Uh, probably this guy. But we literally can't catch the bastard. He's too big. Uh, wow, okay. Chonkity chonk chonk. That, that, that fish was excessively chonky and as a result we could not catch it. So did you, did you know what that fish was called? Ocean sunfish I think it just said. Yeah, Though okay. I, can, I can look in the fishypedia. There we go. You, you I can catch. I think that's just some basic salmon. Then it's just a question of fitting you in which is going to be a little bit on the tricky side. Uh, yes. Some of this is going to be... I think we should just go with my existing boat. I think this is going to... I think I need to... I assume I'll get a good reward. Yeah, we're going to need a bigger boat, obviously. Very literally. We can take... Uh, wow, sunfish this early. Do, 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 do. Big boy. Yeah, apparently it was uh, very lucky to find the sunfish. Wow. Well, I don't feel that lucky because I yeah. literally could not uh, fit him in. And I've got the Nasher! There we go. That's got to be worth some money. I mean, the little tiny fish are worth getting if only because, yeah, bare minimum. They can fill all the little gaps and, you know, you've got a chance of getting like a little mutated one, which is fine. Like the Nasher, you mean? Yeah, like that little Nasher. So he's going to be worth good money. But yeah, I think we need to just uh, head in. And I think heading in next to the shipwrecks we saw earlier it strikes me as a fairly efficient way to get into the center area that we're supposed to be aiming for. So bare minimum, sell all my fish for I mean it's a hundred dollars. But yeah, I think we're go I think we're just going in with what we've got. And we're also storing away the valuables. At some point we'll need to go and dump all of these at the uh the trinket location and don't forget you. You either be yeah just because I've now got so much equipment, I've got not much space for fish, uh, yeah, unfortunately. But There's... you're upgrading the boat soon, right? Well, pretty soon, yes. But I need the money. And I'm kind of thinking maybe if I get this treasure, the guy who I'm getting the treasure for will give me something good. Either money or something that lets me make money. So I mean, I, I suppose there isn't, uh, there isn't like... Don't you think there would be something to say to, like, remove one or two of those fishing rods and then just use the one that you can fish with? That's true. In theory, so I could just... at least one trip. Yeah. In theory, you could... I mean, yeah, you could, you could take like, off, leave like... leave the crab thingy because you're not using it right now. Like, store that. Yeah, that's fair. Leave the crab thingy. I mean, you could also argue, yeah, leaving the rod behind. Let's see. Yeah, leave the rods for the shallow and he head into the ocean. Just keep the hydraulic rod yeah, if heading I, to the ocean with... If I knew, yeah, if I knew that I was going for an oceanic spot only. I'm going to go, I'm just going after the big boy. We're going after the big boy. We're, we're going after the monster. We're the monster, which one? The one, the big thing that tries to eat me. Oh, Though okay. you, buddy. I think this means there's a good chance of a mutant fish. Uh, come on, I know, I know there's a mutant fish in here. Sorry, completely fluff that. There we go. Because you, sh you showed me a wibble. If you show me a wibble, that means one of you is going to be a mutant. That's a big. Alright, that's a trophy catch. Nice. Completely fluff that again. That's the mutant. Flayed mackerel. Woof. So yeah, we got a trophy catch and a mutant. Yeah, There's... I mean like, was that? Four normal, one yeah. orange and one yellow. That's good. I mean, that's got to be worth a good hundred something dollars just by itself. Mm. So you're kind of, yeah, I'm happy, to, I'm happy to take that. That's fine. Let's just check how much that's actually uh, all worth. The chat would like you to do the mission thingy. I'm doing the mission thingy. That's literally where we're going now. That was my plan. That was the plan. So fre yeah. fresh new day, just happy to get distracted by the thing. We're going to get... Yeah, we're going to go get the... We're going to try and... I think it, we, we need to get to the center, then dredge. Is, I think, what we're basically functionally doing. We get to the center of the thing, and then dredge. And I think going in next to the treasure fleet, uh, the sunken fleet on the northern uh, shore is the best angle. Now, I can make it, especially with the hell engine. I can make it... Whoop! Tomorrow, we're going to fight the monster. But I can't fight the monster with any damage. Because if I do that, 
then I'm going to... I'm going to literally die in the first hit. The mistake in many ways was using the hell engine and thus going sufficiently... And I want to hear nothing about this. I want to hear no comments on this whatsoever. No comments on this whatsoever. That's got that working again. It's for everything's... It's all fine. We're going to do it the same day. Same day. All right, we're gonna. It's, we're not gonna do it another day. We're, we're still doing it today. We're still doing it today. We're still doing it today. Okay, that's not gonna stop us. My boat is fast. My boat is nimble. My boat is a king among boats. Okay, so it's all going to be a okay, and we are not going to take any knocks. So I need to have full health so that the monster can bite me once. In the event of uh, trouble. I don't need to rest again. You know, I can rest here. I can rest here. Then it's a bright new day as I'm going in. Because, oh, I see you. No, so long, loser. Bye. Yeah, and... Oh. Are you still there, by the way? He's still following me. He's still following me. He's still following me. He's still following me. Rest. Dock. Can't get me while I'm docked, bastards. Can he not? Apparently not. I think the same thing is true. Do well, you need to explore the cabin and stuff again no, today? Like, just no. double check It's it. been done. Okay. I, I'm pretty sure that's now been done. Like, there will be... You won't be able to, like, harvest it for infinite, like, research points or anything. No, Definitely no, not. I was just wondering if maybe what was there changed. Very unlikely. We're going in. So, yeah. Check the map here. According to this map, we should be just straight in, and it's straight ahead of us. Now, there's a good chance he's going to come at us down this down this path. If he does, we might be able to basically, like, lead him away. Or we might be able to jump straight over the top of him. Yeah, that's that. And then we've got all sorts of... That'll be my destination. This is it. This is the spot. Boom. Shape in the water. Yeah, that's the one. But as soon as we've got this, there's a really good chance he's going to just come for me. Like, hard and fast. Family crest. That's what we need to turn into that guy. There's a good chance he's just going to now attack me. But time is temporarily... Well, time is frozen, but watch whether that freezes him. I think we should just basically get back out to the ship graveyard. And if we can catch some fish on the way past, I mean, sure... Yep, some nice fish. Just do some fishing right in the middle of this guy's domain. I'm sure he's not going to, like, eat me or anything. I mean, you know, don't be ridiculous. And then sort that out. Get you in play. One more, two. Boom. Boom. Yeah, fish. Everything. Straight back out again. Ignore that. Straight back to the dock. Straight past you. And... Flipping textbook. In, out, boom. And I don't even think we need to rest here. I think I think we could just get in and out. It's still morning. It's still morning. Fli basically flip this guy. Screw him. What, what's he going to do to me? What, what are you going to do to me? I practically challenge him to suddenly appear and eat me unexpectedly. Yeah? I, I, I dare ya. Go on. What's the matter, chicken? Yeah, that's right. Didn't think so, you stupid loser. <sighs> you know what I really enjoy, Claire? Mm -hmm. Hubris. I yeah. love hubris. How do you feel about Nemesis? Ugh, that one sucks. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But it's never going to happen to me. Uh, right. So, let's go turn in the family crest to this guy. I mean, I'm kind of hoping he might pay, I don't know, somewhere in the range of maybe $1,000 for his family crest. That might be good. Uh, hello, Mr. Hermit. What can I do for you? And yes. Uh, oh, well, one. How do I clear the debris? You probably need some explosives. My brother Info used to make them uh, for the welling operation. Nasty stuff. Okay. So get this guy back over there. And as my reward for reuniting them, he'll give me a cannon or something. Here's the family crest. You found it. Never thought I'd see it again. But now, if a further favor, would you take this to my brother? Tell him his brother is sorry and would like to come home. I've been given... Presumably the family crest. He just gave me the family crest again. So undock. Turn her around. 
May as well sell my fish as part of the uh, wider extended journey. I can do both of these in one McJibble. Though actually, you know what? Time's, time's getting on. No, no reason to rush this family reunion. Uh, let's just sell all of uh, the fish. Seventy dollars, not going to hurt. How much for the? Ah, he won't sell. Won't sell the family. We can't sell the family crest. Boom. Boo, I say. Right, undock. We can do this today. Nip over the bay to Ingfell. Give him the family crest. Reunite the brothers. No trouble whatsoever. At some point, someone's going to pay me. Ideally, like several hundred dollars. So you, retired whaler. And I believe this crest is yours. Also, I need to... Actually, no. Just give it that. Then he'll get the explosives. Gods haven't seen this since. Hmm. He did take it. I knew it. And your brother is sorry. I don't know. Uh, I was in a right state when he left. Fine, he can stay in my old workshop, at least for the time being. I need some time to clear it out. When I'm doing that, perhaps you can do something for me. I've been trying to clear some debris in the pathway through the cliffs to make a shortcut with explosives. All right. I didn't risk detonating it. You just need to get in there and set it off. It's not far in. I left some yellow flags nearby. You can't miss it. Anything else? Okay, head through the rock arch to the southeast. Follow the channel. You'll see yellow flags on the right. I think I know where he means, actually. So, okay. We need to do that first before we can do that. Though there is also a random resident. So, hello! Do you need... Oh, look at her sad dog! Her dog, looks... her dog looks really sad. Do you have any odd characters around these parts? Heard the tale of Magran. He was an old whaler from these parts. The world's got more scarce. The crew spent longer and longer at sea trying to find them. Magran wasn't cut out for this. He formed an unnatural attachment to a scroll he found on one of the trips. He says the scroll told him how to become immortal by eating mutated fish. People started calling him Magran the Fishman. One day the town awoke to find all the boats, nets, and lines had been slashed. And old Magran was nowhere to be found. Uh, hasn't been seen since. Fascinating. And yes, the cliffs, which you know, are unstable. Used to be a haven for smugglers and pirates. Legend tells of two pirate lords used gale cliffs as their hideout. Supposedly they got into a disagreement and a huge battle was fought around the south side of the cliffs. That'll be the ship graveyard we've already seen. Perfect. So that's absolutely fine. Their treasure hoards were left abandoned and unclaimed to this day. So we've already gone and got those. Perfect. I know where to sell my fish. Do you need help with anything? I've been trying to prepare a special meal for my partner. I've been having some issues. We consider aged conga eels to be a particular delicacy. You may say they're rotting. They're delicious if prepared correctly. Normally we bury them in the ground and allow them to mature, but our dog keeps digging them up and eats. Oh, well, he deserves. He's a good boy. Well, that's why he's looking a little sad. Can you bring me an aged conga eel? I'm not seeing any, I'm not seeing those around at all. I've done a lot of fishing in these waters. I've not seen them. Yeah, where where are they? I'm told they inhabit the whole the holes and burrows within the cliffs. Ah, you have to be inside that fishing area. So okay, we need to keep it out for them at the same time as we're going for the yellow flags mm, nice. to blow up the thing. For that guy. They've been fished out around the edges. You may need to venture into the pasture. That's Maybe why I have Maybe the dog is sad because it's got concrete on its paws. And they only come out at night. Lol. Oh dear. That's going into the monster territory at night. Oh, that's a problem. Yeah, but, but you'll be paid well, she said. I mean, it's literally just night now. All right, we're going in. I'm pretty sane at the moment. We are going in. I've got a really good light. I've got a really good light. We need to go into the passageway to get the conga eel. And then we just need to... Yeah, I know. I know. I know you're still in here. I know you're still in here. I am a flipping where. And I need to use my... Hang on. Where are you? Is this you? Oh, there he is. Oh! He just rammed me. My basic fishing pole is screwed. Uh, okay. This And you can't fish that thing with, uh... Go. Pile of loose debris. I can see what appeared to be large white teeth. Long fuse. Uh, yeah. Do you want to light the fuse? Yes, I do. Okay. That's been done. I should let the whaler know that's been done. I need to get out of here. And ideally, I need to catch some more fish. I've, I've finished reading my book. No, that's not it. And uh, what's this? That's material which I don't need. Bloody hell, where's the where's the thing I'm after? What's the thing you're after? What's this? That is <gasps> Array. Array, which is good. Ah fuck's sake. Ah uh, the thing's tiny. 
Devil Ray. That was a special ray, and... Oh, no! Cause no! My... Wait, wait. Oh, no! Because my boat was damaged! Can you move anything else? No, they, those are installed. Fuck. That literally it can't be fit in, can it? No! It literally can't, lol. Oh, that's cocking hilarious. Right, discard. What well, I really need is the conger eel. Uh, right, where am I now? I can't, I can barely see. Um, so sad. I need to turn left here and I need to repair up the boat in case that guy. Oh, my light. Back on. Is there a bloody conger eels? I hear him coming. Right, we need to get out of dodge. We need to just, we just need to go. Uh, if nothing else, I need to repair up the boat. So, no, stay away, stay away, madness juice. Away with ye. Wow, rough luck. Yeah, not a single, not a single conger in that whole area. Amazing. And I couldn't even get the one thing I, I could get because the one spot I needed was broken. Hilarious. Uh, okay. So, all of that was off. This is why you upgrade the... I'm trying to upgrade the bloody boat. All right, Darth Trethard, I'm trying. But the problem is, until I've got enough money to pay for the upgrades, I can't upgrade the bloody boat. Okay, we'll rest for now. We'll come back to the Congreal next time I'm passing by and it's night. Because I can turn in one of those missions right now. I've done the thing, which I assume means he's going to give me a new one of these abilities to blow up other rocks. And also, I can now reunite the brothers. And I'd love, I don't know, say $700. I'd say one brother... Is worth seven hundred dollars. Yeah, I guess it depends on the brother. Yeah, that's true. Uh, right, I've got things ready. Go and tell my brother he can come home. Great job done. Undock, nip over to him. Get the brother in, and we'll get a new cannon attached to my ship. Then, basically, we use the cannon to say, "Screw that guy." Next time we see him, I'm gonna literally nuke his ass. So yes, but some bad luck there. Bad luck. Okay, this is. Fine. What you're going to get is priceless. Okay, but like priceless in the good way, where it's worth a lot of money, or priceless in the bad way, where you can't actually sell it. Like love, like the shit type of priceless. Your brother forgives you, he's found you a place to say. Huge weight off my chest, I'm so, uh, I'm so old, I hardly remembered it was there. Right, I'm packed, ready to go. He's coming with me in my boat. Do you think he's worth $700 if I, like, sell him to the fish lady? I don't think he's worth that much to sell to the fish lady. That's a bit of a shame, really, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. But mysteriously, there is also... Oh! There is clearly something that needs fishing up at the back that's trapped in that area. When he gives me, or when I get a cannon, I can blow that up, and then I can get what that is. And that's got to be worth good money. That's got to be money right there. That's just the little crappy tiny fish that are worth, like... Nothing. Sorry about that. Right. Hello, I've reunited the family. You're all very, very welcome. Here we are. This is the old whaler. Little brother, you're home. I'm so sorry I was so foolish. We both were. Come inside. Let me get your bags. Walk down the dock and then turns back to you. Here's $700, he said. If you ever find any more debris that needs clearing, I'm working on making some packed explosives. Come by the old whaling yards anytime. This is on the house for all your help. So, packed explosives, uh, fuse coils. Okay, is that a permanent thing or is that a one off? This feels like a one off. You put them to good use or wherever you find cause for it. Oh, yeah, he's, he's now selling them. Okay. Well, I know where one of them I'm looking for is, obviously. So now we could speak to him, etc, etc. So, okay, that, that's where I buy more. Undock. Straight back to the town, where we literally just were. Then we can use them to explode this. Which is good, because there's clearly something. This has got to be good here. This has got to be the good stuff. So, yes, use my explosives. Some charge like the fuse. Boom. Debris crumbles away. And now there's a bunch of stuff here that is... Eh... That's a ring. Well, I won't say no, because it's literally a reward for this whole business. So that's absolutely fine. Sapphire earrings. That's got to be worth more than some of the other stuff. Now, this has got to be the good stuff. Shapes in the deep. Is this the item we were looking for for Captain Watts' face? 
I think it might be, you know. And music box, yeah. And this is the item we actually want. Yep, that's the purple item that the mysterious stranger wanted me to get. Like, uh, you know, he, he was wearing yellow. He had a crown or something. I don't know. It might be significant. Um, right. So we can move straight on up. Just double check. Nothing new's appeared here. No one else has, like, moved in or anything. No. Now it's literally empty. There is now nothing going on. So we've got the item from this area. We could go back towards Marrow. Do some fishing on the way. And then sell all of these treasures. Like, that would not necessarily be the worst yeah. idea in the world. Yeah. Uh, the traveling merchant now sells explosives too. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. And jewelry is worth a lot if you're looking at uh, price over space. You know what? That's true. Pro amount of money per amount of space yeah. and storage. That 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 checks out. All oh, that's these ones are bigger than I'm thinking they are, aren't they? Yeah, those ones were big, but I think they're actually worth. I think they're worth more than two salmon are. I think it's actually better to leave you guys behind and take that instead. I think these. I think you guys are just worth more. The the wreck fish when you stumble across them. So we'll leave that. We'll sell them. I think it's time to leave this area. Because there is... There was another bit I could blow at the back. Like there was... Yeah, round the back by that island. There was an area I could blow. That I saw previously. But there's not much reason to do so. Aside from the fact that it's almost night. And I do need to try and get that bloody Congor... Uh, Condor eel. Not Congor eel. That would, that's, that's none of that. Was complete. it Conga? I don't, Concha? you know what? I'm a terrible fisherman. A really bad fisherman. Mm. Gonna be honest. Sell those fish. Get you guys into storage right now. All right, just pop you into storage. We'll get you later. I'm going for that bloody eel. And then I need to let it go gross before she wants it. I don't want to leave this island before we've done her mission. It is literally just night. Wait, but uh, did you have more explosives? No, but I don't need them. Oh, okay. I, I don't need them. Uh, I could create more paths, but oh. Yeah, that's fine. Not the right sort of fish. Come on. It's just, it's the ray again, which is no good at all. Come on, come on, come on. That's, that's dredge. That's the wrong sort of... Come on! Where's the bloody... Uh, there was something to your uh, right? Yeah, I don't think it was a fish. I think it might have been a thing deliberately designed to catch my attention and screw me over. Straight back out again before he gets me. Where the cock are the eels? I might go... Oh, blimey. Possibly because I've seen those ones. Uh... You literally do need explosives. Uh, Next Jenna says, I'm surprised I need to tell you of all people this, but you definitely need the explosives. Oh, boom. Okay, to... I'd already cracked open the... I think they're, like, in the... I think they were saying, like, the eels are in the... The eels are where you got the crest. Okay. Well, let's go to the whaling yard and pick up another explosive. We'll get that there, and then we'll wait till morning. We'll travel over the course of the day to the dock that's by the treasure troves, and then it will be approaching afternoon by the time we get there, because there's no reason to do the journey during the night. I'll just go slightly mad on the way. So we'll go in that direction. That will be fine, and then we can, yeah, blow... We can investigate the area, scout it out a bit, and check what we actually need to do here though while i'm actually passing by there's also going to be magic demon fish in this bit of the world uh, that's just no no don't want you i want this i want the special magic one there's clearly a, a mutant fish in here yep there it is gelatinous stone fish that's the one that's worth the most money damn it so yes there's round here we can just loop around the outside he's gonna roar at me but i don't care I can use my booster during the day and it doesn't matter. It'll just calm itself down. Just leave yourself a little bit in the tank because he occasionally does just show up and like jump at ya. So it's worth it just having a little bit. He does like doing it about here. This is his favourite spot to kind of try and ambush you a little bit. 
So yeah, he's, he should be he should be around about here somewhere, but I think he's he's chill for the time being. We go in via next to the sea battle location, which we know about. So apparently he's somewhere around here, but I need explosives to crack her open. Now, I know they're not going to appear during the day, but yeah, they were saying there's not something inside the. Waterfall is there? Oh! Video game there must be something. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Disturbed water. That's. Oh, that needs a new special type of yeah abyss rod, which I do not possess. Rod and chest to look inside. Refined metal. Yeah. Holy shit! Okay. And a big bag of doubloons. Well, welly, welly, welly. Also, I don't yes. know about. Look behind you. Yeah. Doesn't that look like an eel? It does, but I physically can't. No, I know you can't catch it. I'm just. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, so I can't get the eel yet because I don't have There's the right fishing. There's always something fishing. behind a waterfall. He did it, boys. Okay. I do, wait, what? People say, oh, you need explosives. I didn't need explosives for that. The explosives for that I'm were... sure there's like several ways to do it. Okay, so now we know where the eel is, but I know I also can't get the eel right now because I simply do not have the right McJibble. Uh, oh, that's not the eel, John. That's not the eel you need for her because that's day. Oh. It's day right now. And I'm glad to help myself to a bit more treasure. I think we're going to, yeah, turn in all this treasure and that's what's going to fund my my boat. That's what's going to fund my boat upgrades. So then we can just go to here. Use the explosives on this to just clear more paths out of the way. This might be the correct spot. Debris crumbles away. So you might be... Mm. Oh, what is this though? That's... Oh, that's even more! Wow! That is... I've now got double elite super rare mega material. Nice! That's why we needed the explosives. Right, okay. We need to now rearrange things a little bit. Uh, you can... Okay, hang about. Hang about, hang about, hang about. Um, I figured it out. Okay, hang on. You, you, you big chunky boys come out here for a second. You boys come down here. You come here, you come here, and you come here. Because I did so smug like I wasn't going to be able to figure this out myself. No, the incredible I just smugness of Claire. I just figured it out by moving. She's just remembering things. the glory days when she used to be the queen of Wordle before I got better at oh Wordle than God. her, like constantly, all the time. Oh my God. Yeah, before I got better at Wordle than she is. Now yeah, you get good. Mm-hmm. Right, get out of here, and we are golden. Oh, Claire, that that is the good shit right there. So okay, we did need it. We needed explosives for one, but we did need explosives for the other. That's why people say we need explosives. So okay, we found both of the elite awesome mega metals over there. That that is pretty good. Wow, people still care about Wordle. Me and Claire did. We're incredibly competitive about it. Incredibly competitive. Floating dock. This is now going in here. Right, you're going in there. Now we just need the money. So that's fine. Go to the fish market and sell the the good fish. That's $50. Go over to my storage. And yeah, we now know we are going back to... You can, can you not sell like all the treasure and shit? You can't sell it to her. She's a fishmonger. Mm. Now, there is a place I can sell all the treasure and shit. And it's the direction I need to go back to anyway. So that's precisely what I'm going to do next. I'm going to go back to the central uh, isles of Marrow in the morning. And on the way, if I happen to do any like uh, fishing, that's, that's just all for the better. But I need to go turn in that music box we got anyway. So... Uh, we're going to do that, and apparently, okay. Yeah, just con uh, con confirmation, sorry, yeah. that, um, confirmation that you can only catch the eel at night, but it's not abyssal. 
I think I'm done with that terrifying dumb thing at night. I'm, I'm happy. She can. You know what? The dog could do without its eel. The no, dog. It's not for the dog. It's for her husband or whatever. That's true. Uh, so yes, yeah, so we're gonna go back towards Blackstone Isle. So yeah, if I just go towards the lighthouse, I'll be going in the right direction for that. We can sell all the treasure at Little Marrow, and that will be enough money then at Greater Marrow to basically upgrade the boat, and we'll have the boat fully upgraded. There's also just random ominous noises going on. Ooh, a giant swordfish! Yes, yes, yes. Long. Long. Yes. You were so suspicious of my ability to catch that swordfish. But you were wrong. You were wrong to mock me, Claire. Well, it wasn't your ability to catch it. Is that you thought we didn't have enough space? If we actually... Yeah, I've not been... I don't think I've been to these islands yet. Just if I've to these islands while I'm passing by. I think it's fine. During the day, little, you just kind of see little uh, dolphins swimming about too, which is great. There's... I know what those sharks are shaped like. I know we can't fit them in. There is a little boat here, which is super cute. Look inside. and Oh, blimey. Research part. Never say no to that. And I'm literally in the process of going to sell all of this anyway. Yeah, you know what? I can dump all this in storage. That's not bad. That That's a good haul in that shipwreck on that little island. They're kind nice. of on the way there. Then we have got... That's... Hang on. That's an eel. That's an eel. What sort of eel is this? Is this a different eel to what we've seen before? That was... No, it's a grey eel. Boom. Wrong, wrong, wrong type of eel. Screw that eel. Right, we don't care about that. Around here, it's only 11am, which is fine. And is this another fishy shrine by any chance? That is... Oh! No, I found an evil person from beyond space and time. Hello! Fisherman, please help. You can barely hear their rasping whistle. Oh, sorry, sorry. The hooded figure, the hooded figure unfurls a paper scroll, point to the shape down the top. It appears to be a, a blue. Sorry, you you you've come from beyond space and time to raspily whisper at me. Can I have a mackerel, please? The most common dumb fish in the world. Okay, well you can't have that right now, but I'll I'll come back and give you a mackerel. You bloody weirdo! They're incredibly common. They 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 they're so everywhere. They're absolutely cocking everywhere. Right, well, that, that was a weird thing for you to ask for. Uh, the quest is timed, by the way. What quest is timed? The mackerel quest. Oh, that's fine. I need well, I need to go and... Uh, there's mackerel all over Marrow, and I'm literally in Marrow right now. Yeah. So I will come Just back to him. Just letting you know. That's absolutely fine. You're going to ram into a rock. I'm not going to ram into a rock. I don't know. Last time you ran into that, like... Tornado or something. It was weird. <laughs> okay, check my storage, which I have here. So, okay. Uh, what? Yeah, my storage is getting clogged up. I need to clear my storage out of all this nonsense. Uh, we can put you to here. You can go to here. I can't actually sell the fish here. That's not what happens here. But I can do a lot. I can sell a whole bunch of this stuff. And you can use the research part right now, no? I can use the research part right now. That is actually true. Uh, research for oh, twin jet. That's huge, though. And then, where is Abyssal? Now, that's interesting. Abyssal has not shown up on any of the rod upgrades. Oh, wow. It's a long time away before we get to Abyssal, apparently. Fascinating. Uh, wait a minute. What's the, the one that you've already bought? What is it? It's just Coastal and Shallow at the same time to save wait, space. So why have you not put that up? Because it costs $500. This oh, unlo this makes it available in the shop. You still need to buy it. it. Just because I know it exists, it doesn't mean it pops into existence. Sure, but I was wondering if you could maybe like sell yeah. the ones you've already got. Volcanic and Shallow or Mangrove and Coastal. Let's say volcanic. That seems exciting. Um, yes, back to storage. I can, yeah, have another ring. Thanks to that. So, okay, Mr. Trader, I will sell you all of my trinkets, please. At $350 right there. And I've got more. I've got flipping more to sell. Right, Claire, while I just uh, sell all my trinkets, over to you. 
yes, indeed. Shout out to Anna, who, uh, shout out to Anna, who's been a member for 22 months and says, Hey, John, will Advance Wars push Oblivion off a Friday or are you going to sit on it until Saturday? Neither. Uh, obviously, because it's cocking Nintendo, I couldn't get review code for that. Uh, so I haven't got it yet. So it's actually going to be next Wednesday. Saturday is going to be Dead Island 2. Because they actually were nice enough to give me early access to Dead Island 2. Which I legally can't talk about yet. But you'll find out on Saturday. Uh, but yeah, I couldn't get access to Advance. It's about, about, about probably like one of the biggest Advance Wars. One of the biggest... In terms of like... YouTubers of a cer over a certain level of size. I'm probably like, you know, one of the biggest in the world who's out there saying, Yes, Advance Wars 2, one of the best games ever made. Uh, but no, I, I um, obviously that, I, didn't get the, I didn't get the review code, lol. You can get to storage from the store. You don't need to move stuff to your cargo. Oh, that makes life that makes life easier. And once more, this will probably be another 100 or $2. Oh, free book. Yeah, this give you books if you do enough shopping with them. Yeah, that's $100 right there, which is And then you can get fine. the storage uh, as a tab up there. Yeah, nice. Okay, yeah, so I can sell that a bit. So I could, if I had more stuff, I could sell. And I do have more stuff, actually. I missed that, so I'm glad I, I checked that. That was a good tip, therefore. So I've now got, like, $800 dues, which is excellent, because... Oh, there's a grieving father here. Hello! I mean, the, 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 we're in, like, you know, weird, weird horror thing. Would you like me to take your daughter's corpse to the pet cemetery. I bet if we bury her there, she'll come back and there will be no negative consequences whatsoever. Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? Just, you know, any any boat your daughter might have crashed recently. Yes, you see, my only son was lost at sea some years ago. He's still out there somewhere in one of the wrecks, all alone in the cold dark water. Was he wearing anything valuable at the time? Tried to remain composed. I was wondering, I know you have some dredging equipment. Could you dredge up my son? Uh, yep, here we go. He wore a bronze belt buckle. I'd recognize anywhere. Chance you could spare up in your debts. Well, where? I've told you all I... Yeah, but you didn't tell me where the shipwreck... Okay, if I happen to run into it, I'll bring it back to you. Whatever. And I do remember the old mayor in his final days. One awful sight. Screaming and throwing things at... Throw it back, he would cry over and over. Begging anyone who would listen or howling it to the wind. These days, I almost feel like I understand. Okay, well, nothing else much going on there. So I need to, yes, catch a blue mackerel. And they're just, like, common and everywhere in these waters. That's not one. And then I need to go and upgrade the boat. So, clap while I'm doing that. Yeah, absolutely. A shout out to Gary, who's been a member for 15 months. Uh, and says, I'm having a bad day, but this stream makes it so much better. Oh, good. I hope you'll have a better day soon. They're not having that mackerel. They have the one that's not a super mega mackerel. That yes. one's being sold. Okay, so we've got the mackerel. Now back to that. Sell everything but the basic mackerel. And then, oh, it's it's upgrade time. Clap. Uh, yes, Mooing Bastard uh, gave us 10, uh, <laughs> 10 euros. And says, I was watching a Mass Effect Andromeda stream. John started by apologizing for starting six minutes late. Seems absurd. <laughs> also, John's tribute to Adam West at first ever Super Chats. Four hours of pure gold. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, and Moving Bastard uh, also has been a member for 11 months and uh, also would like to know if you're ever going to finish Mass Effect Andromeda. Probably not, to be honest. I mean, it seems Sorry. to have dropped out of continuity. The thing is, okay, here's here's the thing. I'm about to say something that's going to annoy everyone. Which is, I think, on a purely mechanical basis, like, Mass Effect 2 is not actually that interesting. Mass Effect 2, I think, is entirely 100% carried by characters, writing, and universe. I think if you strip all that away, and you actually take it back to what the game actually is, I think it's actually a fairly generic cover base shooter with some pretty uninspiring level design like some of the uh like you know where uh the level where you're uh yeah the modern recruitment mission where there's just a giant pile of vulture and stuff i think is really boring the junkyard planet is really fucking boring there's like i think mass effect 2 mechanically is actually quite dull i think mass effect 2 is entirely carried by its its the, how, how the, the care and attention love that has gone into characters and everything like and i think the problem with andromeda is i don't like the characters 
Yeah, I you don't have an emotional care. attachment. I, I, PB was okay. I didn't care for pretty much anybody else. Like, I, I didn't really care for most of the other crew. And I didn't care whether they got whatever it was they wanted or ended up together or whatever. In the way that I fell in love with the characters of Mass Effect 1. Mass Effect 1, however, I think is if the game of all the Mass Effect franchise, if you took away everything, you'd have the most interesting game mechanically. I think the way that physics works, with Bartix in particular, uh, the, you know, the interactions between powers and health versus shielder is really, really good. I think that's a really interesting game anyway. And I think it's got an amazing plot. And, it go, and because you go to less planets than in 2 or 3, you get to spend more time on each of the plot worlds. So Pharos and Noveria, you can really dig into them. And I think Mass Effect 2 and 3's mistake is it's it's too much of a hurry to get you through a section so it can get you on to the next one. And I think Mass Effect 1 doesn't do that. Mass Effect 1 lets it take, it lets, you know, lets you have some downtime. Let's just hang out in Pharos and just meet the people and understand what the stakes are. And hang out in Noveria and meet the people there and understand what's going on and where it fits into the universe. I think it's really, really cool. And I think Mass Effect 2 and 3 don't do that. Mass Effect 2 in particular doesn't do that. Like, there's a few small hubs like Omega where you can, like, you know, go and hang out and whatnot. But I think, like, nothing for me summarizes the problem better then in Mass Effect 1, the Citadel is a huge multi-level area with back streets and huge explorable regions and this huge area where the Presidium, which you can explore and go around and meet people and figure out what's going on and slowly come to an appreciation and understanding as to the world and what it means. And in Mass Effect 2, the Presidium is a menu. You go to it and you can, you can visit the office of whoever you made the human ambassador and that's it. You can't do anything else. Then there's like, you know, a very small ward where it's just three levels of shopping, but there's basically no exploring to do. And I think that's, that for me really summarizes where Mass Effect 2, I think, loses me in the way that Mass Effect 1 doesn't. I think Mass Effect 2 is still a really good game. I think Mass Effect 1 is the vastly superior game and I think that's, that's one of the symptoms of it for me. The Mass Effect 1 said, here's a big area, explore. And take your time to wander around it with your companions and they'll make really interesting comments. And it will it will contextualize not just what is around you, what it means objectively. It will contextualize what it means to those characters. Like Rex's reaction when he sees the Krogan statue is really interesting. Because obviously his take on what the veneration of the Krogans in the Rachni Wars means is very different to what it might mean to other characters. It's, yeah. I'm enjoying, you are so right, whoever that person, yeah, Dan, you're correct, there we go, but yeah, I, and for me, I think Mass Effect 2, like, if you take away, yeah, all of the carrots and whatnot, you, you, you're you not left with that much interesting, now, Andromeda, I think, has actually got some pretty good shooting and physics gunplay going on, uh, I think, you know, some of the, the physics in particular is quite fun with the Bartics, but, like, I, I just... Mass Effect is, to an extent, carried by characters in universe and writing. And I don't get on with Andromeda's. And that's why I just couldn't bring myself to care. And I think if there's one ultimate problem above... It, Claire's looking at me like, oh god, he's been going on about this for no, ten minutes now. No, 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 no. I, I think there's, I think there's one... No, do you, do you, uh, it's been almost 15 years. You think I'm not used to you getting like really excited Lol. about a particular thing? I think the biggest problem for me for Andromeda is the aliens aren't alien enough. And that's really weird. Like, if you, some of you will know what I mean immediately. The aliens are not alien enough. Because, like, here's the thing. It said you've moved, you've come to a different galaxy. In Mass Effect, everything's set in one galaxy. And sure, some bits of it are, you know, newer to the galaxy and some bits of it have been part of the galactic community for ages. But, like, there's been a lot of cross-cultural you know, integration. And in some cases where it's worked out badly, there's been cross-cultural contamination. And it's worked out very badly for the people who have been uplifted against their will, mm. which is what happened to the Krogan. They were basically forcibly uplifted because they were, they were made into good soldiers. Mm. And it had terrible consequences for them. Um, you know, internally and externally. Um, but, like, here's the, even though you've got all these people who have been, to some extent or another, interacting with each other as species for centuries, like, there are still incredible cultural differences between them. Like, you know, the Hanar in particular, the way, say, the Drell introduced in Mass Effect 2, like, you know, view, uh, view the world and how they interact with things. The way the Krogan speak to each other and, and to other races too, but like, Hanar in particular are very alien and very distinct. 
the other species. And then you kind of, you say, okay, we're going to take Andromeda off to a completely different galaxy where they have never met us before and we've never met them before. And they've evolved at a completely different rate, completely in isolation to each other. And we're going to go in and we're going to meet their city. And the first time you go to one of the cities of the people who's there, you're just allowed to hop off the boat and you're allowed to walk unescorted through their city to get to, get to the palace. And everyone's just like, oh, look, it's an alien. And they're like, they look like humans, but they're just slightly pink and blobby. But like, they, they, you know, everyone can just speak each other's language. There's just a bit of hand wavy technology that does that. And they live in houses that look a lot like our houses. And they have shops that work a lot like our shops. And they have currency that works like ours. And fuck off! Fuck off, Andromeda! How dare you! You had an entire new galaxy. You could have gone nuts with inventing entirely new ways that species and peoples and civilizations could have evolved and you couldn't come up with anything better than they're basically people they're basically just us and it's so disappointing so disappointing so disappointing i uh, yeah I think that might have been the moment Andromeda lost me. When I got to visit the planet, I can't even fucking remember the name of the aliens. You get there and they're just you. It's just, that's just really, and you like, know, it just feels it, very unimaginative. And, they're so, and they're so unimaginative and uninteresting next to the flipping Quarians and the Krogan and everything. But also like, you know, the, the, the general message of, of Mass Effect of togetherness and how we you know work better as uh, a team and putting aside blah 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 you know when 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 you when you have aliens that are basically humanoids yeah. and that live like humans what you're saying is basically well what happened on earth purely by you know chance and you know what is an accidental development of earth is basically what happens all over all the galaxies. Yeah. And we're like the pinnacle of whatever. It's nonsense. Yeah. Like from a science fiction point of view, it ah, it's really annoying. Yeah. And also like just I mean, I don't know. It just it just feels reactionary, you know? <laughs> it just feels yeah. really like contrary to It is it is it was it was like, a huge no. shame. It was a huge shame and that like yeah, and the fact that the the baddie aliens are also extraordinarily legible as just like Saturday morning cartoon villains. That if you just made them humans, they would have been entirely... Everyone is so comprehensible. And I think it's just... There's so much in the original Mass Effect trilogy where like when you first come across something, you don't really understand it till it's explained to you. Like the Elcor are more alien than anything in Andromeda. The Hanar are more alien than anything in Andromeda. The Drell are, are, and the Quarians are more culturally interesting than anything in Andromeda. Mm. And I think it's just, the, the big bit they missed was, uh, if you're going to take us to a whole new galaxy, then you better flipping give us something interesting and unknowable in that galaxy. Like, if you're just going to give us the same thing again, but more boring, why did we even come to Andromeda? What was the point? Mm. What was the point? Oh dear. So, yes, we have got ourselves now one fish and one music box. So we can turn all that in. Oh, yeah. But... Also, John, 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 John. Yes. There's a quest. There's a, there's a exclamation mark icon in the, was it the cabin? Something to do with my boat. Yeah. yeah. I'll get to you. But dry dock. Here we go. Brand new boats. And also, I may well have the materials just to immediately do three rod spacers, four cargo spacers, one engine space. Oh, I'll do the cargo. Yeah, I agree. I, I flipping agree because I've probably got the most of the materials for that yeah, already. Yeah, you need wood, but there was a wood thing like really nearby. Oh, did you see when I was? Did you see when I was, I was coming I did, in? By yeah. any chance? I yeah. thought I did anyhow. Yeah. So all right, we've got most of that ready already. It only costs three hundred dollars, so that's good. So yeah, we can set that up. I don't really need oh, engines. Boy. Engine spacers are fine. And then modifies three cargo slots to also rods. I don't have a new rod I'm kind of waiting to jump on. So that's fine for the time being. So yeah, I just need two wood. The people are saying that you, if you sell the two rods that you've got, you can buy the new oh, yes. slimmer rod my... for like yeah, that's 350. True. Yeah, that is true. And then that will be more space. Yeah, messages, encyclopedia, map, etc. So yes, that's absolutely fine. Oh, little marrow. Oh, is that the... 
Ted is snoring over there. That's dog snoring in the background. I'm guessing that's the location of... Yes, that will be the location of the guy... Uh, the guy's son, presumably. Though there's two crosses. Interesting. Uh, but okay, crucially though. Crucially, crucially. Oh, yeah. That's some good space right there. That's some good space. That's that's Ooh, lovely. Oh, nice. So, okay, hang on. Let's just see what that actually means in terms of... Uh, yeah, take me to the ship right here. So, I've got the same... Yeah, I've got the same number of spots. They're just orientated a bit differently. But, yes, I see that you are right, which is if I go over to here. Right now, I have got... Hang on. Yeah, a rod that's 44% uh, for shallow and 38% for coastal. But she is selling a rod that is coastal and shallow 50% for $404. So if I just, yeah, sell her both of my rods immediately. Sell that. Sell that. And then I buy you. That's the one, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Put that there. going to take me three hours to install that. There we go. I've now got even more space. Nice. So, and I'm, gonna, I'm about to clear out these two because that's going to be given to the um, that guy, and that's going to be given to the guy on Watch Me Jibble Island. So, all right. Yeah, and you can move the you can move the chest to be. Done. Well, that's going to be sold in a second anyway, so sure. we don't need to worry about that. And in theory, I could also set up the the twin prop engine. See, so yeah, I've got the peculiar engine, which is 14.7. The improved outboard is actually already there. So I could sell both of these. Apparently, peculiar engine can't be sold. I can just do that, though. Yeah, I, I might just have to store that one. Maybe she won't buy it because it's weird and otherworldly. So yeah, I could sell that for 55. That would get me. That gets me up to about 300 dollars. Um. Yeah, I need a bit more money before I go to Twin Prop. But we're, we're almost ready to do that. Mm. So we can, we can do that pretty bloody soon. We're making fast progress all of a sudden, which is pretty exciting. So, all right. Get out to here. Wait until morning. Tomorrow, we're going back out to see. We've got a whole bunch of stuff to turn in. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. You need the peculiar engine because the game needs you to have at least one engine at all times. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, so it's like the default, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Uh, Ryan gave us twenty pounds and says, "You guys rock." Uh, Blubber, the mighty slug lord, has been a member for seven months and says, "Much love to you all." Love, much love to you too. Yes, indeed, and thank you, Ryan, as well. Uh, Gabriel's been a member for six months and says, "Hello, John and Claire. It's been a minute since I've been able to catch a stream. So glad to be here." And there's Ward right there. Ah, Lovely to see you now. too. Yes, indeed. Uh, shout out also to Arve, who gave us a 200 Swedish krona. Excellent krona. Uh, and says, hi, John and Claire. I'm so happy to see you playing more of this game. It's probably my game of the year. I've caught all but a single aberration. I Ooh. hope you end up enjoying it just as much. It is an interesting one. It's a mm. very interesting one. So, yes, okay, indeed. is the... Yeah, here we go. Round the back of Little Marrow, there is indeed a boat that's here. This might be the bronze thing this guy was asking me to fish up. His son's bronze belt buckle McJibble. And that is... Yep, bronze belt buckle. Easy. Well, that was rem that was remarkably simple. And we may as well just help myself to a few other bits and pieces too. We're going to be needing more metal sooner or later. So, honestly, why not help myself to that? That one comes up a little bit on the slow side. Then again, we're running out of space fast here. Uh, blip, 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 blip. Ah, you know what? Don't worry. We're, we're swimming in metal for the time being. We don't need to always grab every single one. Watch this one, by the way. That's just another bit of uh, treasure. Might be something good. They could be really good, potentially. That is... That's an old iron chain. That's probably the weakest. But if we just show it in storage, it's, it's very... It doesn't take much space. Right. Step two. Get over to Blackstone Island. Oh, uh, the f spooky fish man who wants mackerel. Yeah. Remember him? Yeah, yeah, don't worry. We're going okay. to him straight after Blackstone. He's, he's mm. in the same direction. Uh, whether we'll have time to get to him straight away, given the uh, things. But yeah, I know we're going to we're going back to Weird Fish Man. He's all right. So yeah, straight away we can shove these into... Uh, that can go to storage, and that can go to storage too, because we don't need any of them. But all of you can just go straight storage. 
That's fine. And then, buddy, straight to the ruined mansion. And I have, yep, the music box. He's focused on the box. He found this at the cliffs. I did indeed. Yes, you're not wrong. This should make future return journeys a bit more swift. Allow me. Okay, silver ribbons trading from it. Yeah, silver ribbons trading from a crimson bound book. Opening to an unseen page. Whispers words. Wibbly whoop whoop. And then he closes the book, turns his attention. Yet more relics to find. Keep looking. So instant return to. Oh! Okay, teleport back to this area, which is not just useful for getting back to him, also means I'm close by to the, the trinket trader. Instant fast teleportation, which is also going to make it much easier for me to just sail out into the middle of the ocean, because if it hits night, I can just walk back here. And he wants me to go to Stella Basin next. That's what he says. So, all right. Fair enough. And uh, what are you doing with all these relics by any chance? Collecting them, an investment for times to come. Okay, he, I, I feel like I'm not going to get any straight answers out of this guy. Fair enough. So, okay. Undock. I'm pretty sure we're going in this sort of direction. I think it's over here. I think this, I think it's, uh, I think he's, he's on this dock. So, we just blast it over in this direction. And then we can use my new ability to teleport straight back to Blackstone. Which is rather exciting. But I'm pretty sure that's him straight ahead of me. So just keep on going. There we go. No problem. No issues. Don't use the booster at night. The, the, the monsters get annoyed if you do that. Hello. I've brought you a... Fulfill the hunger. I wouldn't mind a mackerel. If, you, if you've got one. Cheers, mates. So there we go. Stuff it into his mouth. Oh, still empty. This one looks like a tiger mackerel. Coastal. I don't know if I've seen a tiger mackerel. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. Oh well, we'll have to we'll have to deal with that. So okay, new ability, fast travel. Nice. And now I'm back in the relatively safe bay, close by to. Oh, that made me go really mad. That just made me go bananas. Like my okay, so. Doing that like using haste, it turns out, does make you feel a bit weird. And then weird. there is a long cooldown, isn't there? Yeah, I think you can do it like once and that's it. So, okay, you, you kind of, you do go a bit bananas if you, like, you know, attempt to use uh, use the, the sinister magical powers to teleport back. Ah, help myself with some squid while I'm passing Ooh, by. If I'm nice. lucky, I might, get, I might get some, you know, weird. There we go. Ooh, Evil squid. Snag squid. That's that's a, that's a, that's a weird looking bastard. I just, I just topped myself up on. Okay, I'm going a bit bananas. I, I've got I've got the good squid I wanted. I may as well just go and sell that. Rest up till morning. Claire. Yes, indeed. Shout out to Silver Iron, who's been a member for six months, uh, and shout out to Ted, who's just scratching his chinny chin he chin is. with his back paws. If you heard noise, that's what it is. But Silver Iron says good evening. Hey, John. Ever thought about playing Morrowind? Completely different playstyle to Oblivion in Skyrim. It is immensely difficult. It makes, yes. The, in fact, Oblivion was so much fun, did so well, makes it much more likely. But we're not going to do it back to back. Obviously, we've got other series to fulfill first and new stuff coming out soon. Uh, but Morrowind is definitely more likely as a result of Oblivion that ends tomorrow. Oblivion is over tomorrow. Mmm. Grand finale. It's got one hell of an ending. <laughs> but also, the Lighthouse Keeper has come to uh, say hi. What's the problem, Lighthouse Keeper? Tempting fate. Things are bad enough around here without your provocation. Okay. So, I might be pissing off the ocean. By doing magic. By do And just, like, you know, just oh, in yeah, general. Fish. And fishing for evil fish. Also, is the fishmonger back yet? Oh, the fishmonger is back. Uh, so, yeah, we can just kind of sell all the fish. That's all absolutely fine. Boat's got plenty of space Ooh, in it now. Nice 69 quid. Yeah. And on top of that, hang on. Back to the dry dock. I believe I should now have... Yeah. Enough. Yeah, enough money and enough materials uh, to make my boat even cocking bigger. Straight away. More cargo spaces. Uh, so, yeah, we've also got... Also, yeah, we've got engine space as well to get the rod space. That kind of ate a lot of my money. But 
it does it doesn't really matter when now we've got oh, oh look at no. that now we can catch some big ass ocean fish i know you're an angler fish in disguise that's not actually a boat it's a monster it's a cocking monster and it jump scared me when i was playing the game last time which one did there was, there's a fish, there was a, fish, a big ship over there, but it's not a ship, it's an angler fish I'm imagining, it's a boat. Mm. It's, it, it lies. It's, a, it's made of lies. I don't appreciate it. Okay, we have now got proper, solid, big boat. We've got a big ass boat right now, which is lovely, and we need to, oh, we need to, we need to return the, um, the belt buckle to Captain Watts's face. Because he, the bereaved father. admittedly, the shipwreck was like he could have walked to it. It was the, it was right there. It was right by the island, and it was right by the shore. You could have walked over to this at any point and just swum down and got it, mate. Dear oh dear, grieving father. And about the belt buckle, you found it, but it's currently in my storage. Okay, so when it's quest turning in, you you do have to go to your storage first. Well, that's weirdly uh. Weird, but okay. Uh, blip, 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 Over to you. It was you. Right. Right, now I've got it. Hello there, grieving father. And about the belt buckle. Yep, give him the belt buckle. And uh, thank you, thank you for returning to me. Take this. I've no money to pay you. Research! Research is great. And yeah, we know everything he knows already. Beautiful. What about the dock worker? Oh, we'll get to him in a second. Right, volcanic. So we've now got a volcanic rod for sale. Now by any... Ch I really hope I'm now going to a volcano. That'd be very unfortunate. Oh, he doesn't have a thing next to him. So that means he probably doesn't have anything there. Do you have a process shipments for Blackstone Isle? The old ruin. Doubt it. Let's see. Place for a large logbook. Thought so. Doesn't have a shipping address. As far as I know, nobody lives there. So, okay. Very suspicious. Shipwreck locations at eastern side of the island. Uh, already seen them. That's absolutely fine. And anything else? Yeah, I've already spoken to him about these in the past, I'm sure. Right. Did I do anything in the storage? Yeah, I did have this. Eight dollars. Great. Flip it. Amazing. Uh, right. Leave that. Now, there was also... Ooh, uh, have you said the new book to read? Oh, yes, you have. Yeah, I'm reading The Relaxed Mind right now, apparently. And yes, 10% increase in sale price and 10% reduced buy price as a result of Art of the Silver Tongue. I am reading the relaxed mind. So yeah, the map was indicating... Hang on, where was I supposed to be going? Stella Basin! Now, Stella Basin, was that the... I don't know whether that's a volcano or whatnot, but... What I do know is, yeah, uh, one, there's something to the north. Straight north of Little Marrow, there's a red X on the map, which... I don't know why it's there, but I'm kind of curious. Okay, you know, it's check the pursuits. Place to rest. Spoke to a builder on the on the dock of Greater Marrow. Oh, okay. Deliver materials to Steel Point. That must be Steel Point. Two lumber, two scrap. Islands north. Right, that's why that's there. And then catch tiger mackerel. Don't know what those are. Catch rare fish in general for the traveling merchant's records. Uh, deliver a rocking... Yeah, Rotting at conga eel. Okay, I, I, I actually I don't have two lumber right now. I need to. I would need to. Find, okay, so if I want to go and do that, I need to find two lumber. But like by now, all of the dredging spots around this bit of the world should be, presumably, pretty much back up to restocked. And there's definitely dredging spots around here. So if I just have a bit of a poke around the island, especially now with my super mega fast engines. In fact, look, there's some right there. Is that going to be wood or is that something else? That is material, unfortunately. Uh, so that's not the material I wanted. So that's cloth, right? Yeah, like old old tangled sails, I, mm. I, I would assume, is what we're after. So yeah, I'm just going to kind of potter around. If I just need to find a little bit of, little bit of wood. But there's sail spots everywhere. And there's also... Oh! Dolphins! Let's go. Oh, that's actually sharks, but, you know, basically. We could, well, we could actually fit them in now. We could actually go shark fishing. Yes! Yes! Giant fish. They've got to be worth the money. They've got to be worth the money. And I know there was oh, some good... another one over there. Yeah, another one over there. But I'm, oh, my eyes, in fact, are on what one 
Is that wood? No, that's not wood. That's literally the, the same the same thing again, Mateo. But it looks quite like wood when it's in the water, which is irritating. But there's clearly here. Oh, I read my book. Do you think that by any chance is a special alloy that I need to go and buy some explosives to use? Because I think it is. That looks Maybe. like alloy to me. Do you not have explosives? I used the one I had to get to the I last set of alloys. You did. Uh, what we do have is... Hey, buddy. Nice. More incredibly valuable sharks. And if we're lucky, one of these might at some point be like... Uh... Oh, they fit together beautifully. Oh, that's a nice Tetrising right there. Oh, yes. three sharks. Yes, nice. Very nice. Yeah, well, I do just need a little bit more wood. That yeah, is... but I'm not sure you can actually put wood now if you get, you know. No, there's wood. Oh, fair enough. I can have one wood, and it will give me the location of wood so I can get back to it nice and easy. But these are all just eels, unfortunately. So that is not a... Uh... Not gonna help me for the moment, but you're right. I may as well start nipping back to uh, nipping back to town and rest up at the nearest dock. Clap. Yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to Sammy Wacky who uh, gave us five uh, Canadian dollars. Excellent dollars. Uh, and says, "Hey John, have you tried Common Hood? Uh, I think you would really like it." I'm not sure if you've even heard of it. I have no idea what that is. Unfortunately, it's like, it's spelled like Common Apostrophe Hood. Well, yes, but that, that, that does... That yes, I'm knowing just, the spelling doesn't mean I know what the game's about. I'm just telling you because I, like, had to pronounce it funny. Ah. So, anyway. Uh, dear, oh, dear. Adam gave us 11 Canadian dollars. Excellent dollars. Uh, and says, happy Thursday. I'm loving the Fallout Tale of Two Wastelands and Oblivion videos. I need to play Fallout 3, but I get to Megaton, then get distracted by another game. Have fun, be nice to Claire, and pet Teddy for me. Uh, do I have to be nice to Claire? Mm -hmm. You see, the problem is, I don't know where... I, I, I'm getting people to say there's a time limit on the, uh, the guide, but I don't actually know where Tiger... Ma okay, hang on. Quickly, to the Fishypedia! I need to I need to get me... Where's me? Go back, to, go back to the start here. Hang on, hang on. Go back to the marrow. Go back to the marrows. Uh... Marrows. Okay, quickly skim through. Claire, if you see... Tiger Mac crawl. Yeah. Oh, Tiger Mac crawl. Coastal. Apparently there are Eleven of them. They are over in the Gale Cliffs. Caught during the day via rod. There are. Oh, I didn't realize that some fish have more than one aberration variant. That's super cute. Mm. Okay, so if I go back towards, yeah, the uh, if I go back towards Gale Cliffs, I can get it there, which is acceptable. Okay, that's that's fine. Hang on, what was I? Oh yes, I need to I need to sell these fish anyway. So I need to just very quickly nip in to town just to sell these fish. We can get the tiger mackerel from there. We're gonna do it. We're gonna help this guy. We're gonna help this guy out. It's gonna be fine. So right, fishmonger. Hello, I've got several sharks for you. Two hundred dollars worth of shark. Brilliant. Uh, and yes, I know you want that normal species. I know you love them. Um, right. The only other thing I potentially want to buy was, yeah, she was selling, like, potentially, well, one, yeah, there was the fancy heat-resistant line. But I don't, until I know I'm going into volcano territory, there's not much point. And, yeah, the engine I still can't afford, so don't worry about that. Oh, new lights. Tungsten floodlights. Mm, okay. So, way more lumens. And way more range. I mean, I can't afford it right now, how, but... How much can you sell your exactly. car Exactly. Loads. Done. I'm taking it. Install. And it's going to take a couple of hours to shove on. That's really not much. There we go. Now I've now got a way better light. Love it. So, okay. We're going back to Gale Cliffs, which was... Uh, hang on. That was to the... Yes, uh, southeast. So if I just go, yeah, if I just turn side to the right, that should be, yeah, that's roughly the direction I thought it was. If I just kind of go in the same direction as that guy, then that will be A-OK. -okay. So we need to go get a tiger mackerel for him. Just cut straight through these islands over here. Weather's a little bit on the dicey side, but we've got time. Now that I've got my super mega fast, awesome, awesome mega boat, we can easily get across there. 
which is fine. And we've also just got, yes, mysterious stone that just hums occasionally. And every time I touch, it doesn't do anything. So I'm guessing I need an upgrade for it. Maybe that's like... I... Place your hand on the concrete. I bet that's a teleport thing. I bet that's fast travel. I bet like when you've got, when you get give him the right upgrade, he'll let you do that. And it becomes a fast travel thing. So if I, I need to turn slightly to the left here right that's that's scale cliffs right I'm going, I'm going to go cliffs right now yeah i'm going towards scale cliffs all right fine so we'll pass by you i need to get tiger mackerel which i'm pretty sure yeah is not just inside the dangerous bits with the giant sea snake just anything around that area should be able to get me that so just need to nip over to there. plus you can you know use the our the spyglass yeah to, yeah sure i can but only if i've like can have a whole bunch of them in sight but yeah, these days I'm much faster, so I can cross the sea without it being too difficult. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to Molly, who's been a member for 17 months, uh, and says, I'm bummed that I'm missing a stream for a really interesting game because of dumb work, but I will catch the vote later. Hope everyone is doing well. I think we're doing very well. Oh, yes, indeed. Tiger Mackerel! Tiger Mackerel, good spot. And good shout reminded me to use the spyglass, which I always bloody forget. So, okay. Get to you. Get to a haste while it's still daylight. Use as much haste as you can while daylight's present. Then we just get you. One Tiger Mackerel. And this is... Oh, that's a good Tiger Mackerel. Okay, that one gets kept because that's like the champion Tiger Mackerel. You, however, can be fed to that guy. Okay. So now, okay. Thing is... Can you teleport there? I can teleport to Blackstone Isle. But I think he's... Is he the island that's on the S over Marrows? Because if so, I think I save a tiny bit of time by... Tele but the, Okay, if I teleport to Blackstone, I've gone bananas. And then I have to do the rest of the journey completely bananas. If I do it now like this, and I think it's this island right there. I think that's the island I'm looking at. I think it might be that one. Which island is it? Is it you? Or is that the... No, that's the island with the... No, it's definitely not that one. It's it's over here. I think it's this one. If I, I'm going to do this 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 way... For the simple reason that one, I've got my new improved light. And if I teleport, I've basically gone bananas. What yeah. I can do instead is I need to get there by night. Give him the fish. And then I will teleport after that point. I'm pretty sure that's how that's going to work. Though I'm a little bit concerned by the possibility of... <laughs> I think it was this island. It's just a little bit hard to, to see. No. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. Light off. Like back on again, fuck you. Uh, is is there a, a figure from ancient myth who would like to eat a fish? Oh, I hear a fog caller. That's really bad news, actually. No, 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 no. Got him. There he is. I found him. He's still empty. I like a different kind of mackerel. There we go. He eats the heart. Almost fulfilled. Uh, this one is... Now I know I've not seen snake mackerel before. That Check must... Check the fishypedia, John. No. Leave me alone. Okay. Check the encyclopedia. Uh... I think it could be whatever that is right no, there. No, because it's a three. Huh? It was a three. Oh, you are smart. I know. That is smart right there. That is very smart, actually. You very... sound fucking shocked. Well, you know. Um. Okay, the problem is now we're getting into mysterious fish we don't know. And I'm not sure there's actually a... Actually, can I, can I go over to... That might be it. Yeah, probably. Those might be it. Twisted Strands. That's not even where I'm going next, though. Uh, yeah, the problem is... This is... I'm pretty sure I've not heard of this before. 
This is this is a mystery. How do I change over to just ones I know? How do I like I've got discovered 32 out of out of 128. But now we're getting into the ones I completely don't know. There's Notion Sunfish, completely at random. Which is great, grotesque mackerel. Yeah, we're into aberrations now. These are the aberrations. The aberrations basically fill the second half of the Pokedex. So these are all the aberrations we've seen. Which is fine. Yeah, I don't think it's here. Because these are all aberrations. And also maybe elite mega fish. So we've not seen any of that. So we've not seen the snake mackerel. So, I mean, I've got to assume it's probably in the next area. That we haven't been to yet. And also I'm going to, yeah, teleport back to... Teleport back to safe territory. Which is going to make me go insane. Yeah, there we go. I've gone a bit insane. And there's... Uh-oh. Okay, we've got some, some slight issues here. Slight issues here, which is... Uh, there's, there's, that's, that's, that's fine. We just need to get back to shore. Like, cocking now. And there's... Ow! Well, that just... Okay, no. What do you not have your light on? I turned it off, but it wouldn't matter. Okay, it might have helped a little bit. <laughs> yeah, actually, it would have helped a lot now I think about it. Yeah, okay, there's... Hi, I see... Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I know, I know. I know you're all there. I know you're all there. I'm just going to rest until I feel better. Right, so... Okay, rocks that appear out of nowhere. Oh, and you could have... You could have docked at the guy's lighthouse, apparently. Oh, yeah. Would have been easier. That because that's what lighthouses are for. He doesn't have a lighthouse. He does not have a lighthouse. That's you're being unfair. That's not a lighthouse. Turn around. Yeah. There's a lighthouse. Yeah, but that's that was equally as far away mm -hmm. as the a little mar. In fact, I think little mar is a tiny bit closer. I mean, I think you could have just turned your light on, but sure. Well, I forgot I'd turn it off, so I wasn't attacked by the red, weird, spindly things of death. Mm. That's not my fault. They were driving me mad. That was not, not not my fault. Not my fault. Okay, just over to the shipwright. My shipwright can fix this. Just. Everything's fine. Also, I can sell my, my little, my, my unique special fish. It's only worth $12. Wow, that was not worth bringing. Okay. The best thing I can do is probably just... Well, actually, hang on. Check my storage here. I've got... Uh, still zero wards. You know what? We'll go back to that woman who wants me to build a cabin later when we happen to have some wood. Best thing we could do now is simply head down towards Stellar Basin. So that's going to involve a journey to the southwest. And yeah, basically we're going to pass. If we just kind of turn right out of Greater Marrow and then keep turning right to bed, pass by the 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 two out the two or the two or three hours like around the M of the Marrows on my way down to Stellar Basin. But that, to me, looks volcano-y, right? Like, it's like a volcanic, a well, filled volcanic it crater. Well, because it's, like, kind of round. It looks but... like a volcanic crater to me, yeah. Yeah, then you don't know. I mean, like, devil spine might be volcano because, like, devil... Yeah, like, no, know, that, lava. agree, agree. It's just a little... But I feel like if one of these looks like a filled volcanic mm, underwater volcano, true. it's Stellar Basin. But agree. it could also be, from the name Stellar Basin... Meteorite impact sites. Mm. That's that seems the more likely to me based on the name. So okay, we're heading in that direction. We're definitely heading over there. So okay, we've got a bit of a journey ahead of us. Claire. Mm. Uh, yes, sorry. Shout out to Flair. <laughs> Claire just forgot what her job was there for a second. No, okay. There's a lot to keep an eye on. <laughs> Shout out to Flair who gave us five pounds and says, uh, "I'm glad you're okay. I'm a chemist." Um, and FYI, standard safety after touching acid or base should be diluted via continuous washing under running tap water for 20 minutes. I prefer putting my hands in a bowl of orange juice and then trying to get Ted to do the same. <laughs> it was absolutely a perfectly reasonable response to the situation. Mm -hmm. See if I get lucky and get an aberration. You can, you can always just toss these guys out later. You know what? Two of you are fine. I think you guys. I think you guys sell for pretty decent money, actually. Uh, check for any other trouble whatsoever, and then just random. You'll be a random shark, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sharks make shark makes shark make good money. Just in case you don't run into anything more interesting. Uh, nice. Put you in there. But yeah, there's clearly some shipwrecks. 
Which might actually, you know what, that might get wood, me. Wood, wood. Yeah, the wood I need. I'm lacking in wood right now. So we'll just sort that out. No, time's going to make a fool of me. I need to keep my eyes open for, uh... I see, time's going to make a fool of me, as is, as is this random stingray. You know what, you can just go back in the water, buddy. It's fine. I'm hearing cackling, by the way. You know, you can't hear this, but I can, I'm hearing cackling right now. Wow, that was Wow, research, research part. Okay, so that's why you want to dredge everything. Sometimes what you're, what it doesn't, what the thing doesn't say just happens. Sometimes you just get extras. And we're already, the day's all, actually already almost done. Uh, which is wild, but, you know. That gets me the wood, wait, why was I wanting wood again? Not Cabin just, lady. Uh, yes, but there was, there's something else going on at the same time. I mean, now I've I got mean, that. You need it for upgrading various bits now. Yeah, that's true. I mean, now I've got the ability to just basically um, teleport back to base. Like, you kind of may as well just clear out the spot before we teleport back home, really. Uh, let's just sort that out, and then that's just, just a chain. Do we want to, you know, teleport, like, loads? Well, uh, probably. Oh, okay. I mean, there's also, uh, you know, I'll, I'll take the metal, and then, yeah, we just do this. And then we just tell oh, then we just teleport back to base. Everything's fine. And you're pretty safe while you're actually doing this little mini game. We just get rid of the old. Actually, uh, do we get rid of the old? Yeah, I'd rather get rid of the shark because then I can I can do another. I can get another one out uh, here. Then we just teleport back home. We rest at the thing. We dump them in storage, and then we can just go. Because then, yeah, we've cleared out this area pretty effectively. So, yeah, we just manifest straight back. Because we're barely around the corner. We go back here. We're going bananas. We go straight to the... Sh we used to go straight to the thing right here. We rest until morning. We can dump it in storage. And then we just resume the journey. Nice and smooth. Makes life a lot easier, that does. Uh, though, yes, the amount of the amount of metal we've got is ridiculous. The amount of material we've got is ridiculous. So we must be able to do some upgrades. So I say this: upgrades also need money. We're lacking in money, so that is that's that's more of a problem. So all right, we're doing that was good. Honestly, I think that was that was a great use of just a little trip out, especially as we're going to do a little bit more. So hang on, we were we left the lighthouse settlement and we were going this way. So that was that. It was it was that 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 mass dead ahead of me was what I was originally aiming for. So yeah, that's where we were. And now we're just going to be straight back there. Which is great. I'm really happy with that. Class. Yes. Uh, shout out to Cricket, who's been a member for 63 months. Uh, and says, I'm glad you're doing this on stream. My father-in-law said he hoped you would. Uh, so I get to tell him good news. Fun video as always. <laughs> Oh dear, why do I get the feeling that the, the various nautical people might be unhappy with my nautical failures and that might be what's going on here? Well, I don't think so. I mean, clearly uh, they hoped you would do it because, like, maybe they had seen the video or something. Could well be. Could well be. I suspect I'm annoying nautical people anyway. Oh, yes, probably. Mm. Sometimes I enjoy annoying people, though. Sometimes. It's like in Fallout where I'd kind of say, oh yeah, this shotgun's really good because you've got like six magazines to a clip. So the spread's really low. It's sort of makeup gun terms. Mm -hmm. I just kind of feel like it. Just to annoy gun people. Alright, so that island's clear. Then we've got island number two over in this direction. So yeah, we've got two big islands here. We've got, you know, we should have plenty of time to loop around the outside of them. Just check if there's anything interesting going on. There's more. I see a big shipwreck dead ahead. That is... That must be on the edge of... Yeah, that must be the crater. I think it's right no. by the crater right there. So don't worry about that for now. We can aim for that when the time is right. But also check the local fish. That's new. That's cool looking. Not seen one of them before. Red snapper. Oh, nice. We've added it to... I mean, you may as well catch one just to add it to the encyclopedia. Because then I know where to get it later. Which makes life a lot easier. Then we've got these two islands where there's a little thing between the two of them. Just want to check for anything of interest. Yeah, that's the same thing again based on the silhouette. That is a dredge spot, which is treasure. We'll leave it for now. I mean, you might as well. Treasure is usually quite small. It's true, but it's also eating time. And I don't have a local dock at the moment. I don't really mm. want to teleport home at this point. But this one I feel... 
just because this sails here, I've got I've got a better feeling about this one. Don't ask me why. I just I just, I just got vibes. This one's got one tiny gold to bloom. But this I feel like I can interact with too. Yeah, curious looking chest. Open it up. Treasure map. Very nice. Okay. Well, this is intriguing. I would check the other treasures around in case they have more treasure map bits. Okay. You may have a slight point. It's Don't hard. forget how you said earlier I was very clever. A one instance. Like, this doesn't undermine 15 years of dumbassery. Random goblet. Nice. To Claire. Be nice to Claire. Okay, if we loop back around to this spot. Or oh, the black dots on the map are harbours, if you want to find one before that. Uh, yeah, there's one in the, in the, in, within the crater. Yeah. But now I'm just kind of curious whether, as you say, there's another half of the treasure map somewhere else around the back of the sun. I just want to finish up my periambulation. I, I would be happy to, if needs be, just go back to Blackstone and rest there if I feel like I have to in an emergency. I don't, however, see another spot I can rest at. But that's fine. My light's pretty powerful. We're okay to... I feel like I shouldn't have crashed there. Yeah, that's a little bit. I feel like yeah. that was a bit harsh. I feel like I don't feel like there was specifically an impact at that point. I don't feel like that's, that's necessarily the case at all. I feel hard done by... Do I want to try and make it to the new area today, or shall I go and get repairs? Oh, you're quite close to Is the new area. Quite go close. Ahead. Go on. Now there's Claire. There's something red and evil reflecting in the water. It, you're just imagining it. It's like you always say to Teddy about barking at the door in the evening. There is something bad here. You're just imagining it. Claire, there is something really bad here in these waters, and I think it's going to kill me. That was Ted. That wasn't the game. That was Ted. I mean, these could just be magical glowing fish. Yeah. Oh, oh, John, do you know what that is? I bet anything that red thing over there. That's a jellyfish. Yeah, I, I noticed the jellyfish. Thank you. Firefly squid. You know what? It's cute. It might be bad. Also, I found the the treasure check, the treasure I saw earlier. I just want to check what's here, if nothing else. Yeah, sure. That makes sense. That's a treasure. Okay. And then there's Ooh. also there's okay. Nothing desperately worthy of note, to be honest. But dredge the treasure in case it's got a map bit. That passes time. It's midnight and I'm starting oh, to sure. go mad. Um, if I take a slight right and then just go slightly around this rock. There should be a rock around here. I should be going in the right direction now. Yeah. Yeah, so I need to go in. Then I need to bear, I need to go around side to the right to clear the rock. Then I need to go around to the left. I'm going to avoid the jellyfish just for the time being because I don't trust... I don't trust any of this. I think that's a monster pretending to be a treasure. I'm just going to make a... Um, I'm going to make a sprint till morning. We'll investigate properly when we know what the cock's going on. That area is beautiful. This is very lo nice looking. I think you are safe while you're treasure hunting. Like, nothing seems to ambush you while you're treasure hunting, which means something will eventually. Broken spectacles. That feels like something that's going to be important. Yeah, that feels like the worst item in it. Yeah. I'm just gonna. This doesn't ha appear to have. Okay, so it popped and something evil just entered my hold. They are bad. Oh. Yeah, they've just infected a fish. Okay, hello! Claire, Does someone live sorry. here or is this just abandoned? Ooh, research. Interesting. Speaking of which, do I have a... You have a research part now. Uh, yeah. So let's get the the mangrove yeah, rod. Let's, let's just, so we can... Because I don't know precisely what's in this area yet. So, okay. 
One generator. Old generator sputters and ticks over. Nothing dramatic. Laboratory. In ruins. No one's here. Open the cupboards. Check yes. cupboards. Nice. Research part. Never say no to that. Would you believe the laboratory's got research in it? Well, I was thinking that, yes. Some strange looking prototype parts. Don't see what to do with them just yet. And then, not safe. Expect retaliation imminently. Evacuating to Fort. Look around the floor. Cracks in the base grow to large gashes as you follow them. Something extremely large and powerful creates the holes. Uh, you reach your arm into one and pull out more research. That's that's how that works. Okay, so a fort, which is fine because oh, one. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Get myself. So now I've got that, and let's start working towards Mega Rod, where I can do everything. The that's, versatile. Yeah, it's got to be. That's got to be a good idea. Yeah. So okay, let's wait until morning because I'm slowly starting to go mad. The problem is I can't do ship repairs here. Ship repairs aren't allowed. Or like sell anything. No. Uh, well, can you look on the map where the next like port is, or the next? Yeah, there's something. Yeah, on there's the someone. Side. Yeah, there's something on the other there's side. You're two, right. Even there's a little island right. Though I'm side. happy to kind of go into the middle of the thing to have a bit of a look. See, it looks like the jellyfish maybe only come out at night. Maybe, but then, now you know what they look like and what they do. So. Yeah, now we know to avoid them because they like infect your ship. So, and I'm guessing, because that's the large eel like we saw in the cave, this is maybe abyssal fishing. I'm guessing I might not be able to do some of this fishing. So this area is nice looking mind. Yeah. I mean, certainly, it looks like... It, I mean, what it is, is it's a different biome. Which type oh, of biome, we're not quite Claire. sure. But, <laughs> Hello, giant squid friend. Right. I think, we've got, I think I see the problem here. I think I see the problem which is yes i'm guessing what i want is down here but right now well either it's going to eat me that's a possibility might be about to eat me yeah there's there's a thing here that i can't do anything with just do oh ow ow okay also it doesn't like me doesn't like me oh you've lost your goblet Ooh. <laughs> You died. Okay. So, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't. That's fine. I think that just means last time you slept, which was literally just over the thing. Oh, nice. So, okay, yeah. We're, we're just... So, okay, so now we know, and I think that said Hadel. Ha, ha, had it? What said what did? So, the thing that killed you, the research you were looking at. Yeah. It said Hadel, which is one of the types of, like, fishing, I guess. Yeah. Relating to the zone of the sea greater than uh, six kilometers in depth, oceanic trenches. I mean, maybe, so yeah. That's a trench, so you don't want to go in the trench. Yeah, basically, we need to stay away from this deep water section because someone will attack me. Like, I can see that's where I need to, to dredge, but it's guarded by this creature. This creature needs to either be killed or pacified or distracted or something before yeah. we can get to that dredge spot. The one that's producing the little red bubbles dead ahead yeah, of me. Yeah, but you also might need like a deep sea dredge equipment. Possibly, it's hard to say. Mm. So, okay, avoid this for now. But I suspect it's actually like this floating at the surface. It can just be dredged fairly uh, easily. Yeah, okay. It's just a question of, uh, yeah, getting getting close enough to be allowed to do it. But you know what? Let's just see if there's any unique, different types of treasure. It looks fairly traditional, to be honest. And there's... I've got rot in my boat. I'm just going to leave the rot behind. Oh, do you need to leave the rotted fish as well? Oh, no, you said that sells anyway. Yeah, that sells anyway. Although, possibly, that's, that might be where the rot came from. Maybe infected just generates rot that fills up your boat. Mm. It's possible. Okay, let's see if this is mangrove or volcanic or what. Well, this is still officially shallows, so. Yeah, fair enough. That's oh, you're cute. Oh, that's so pretty. That's very cute. We only have one of you for the time being. Well, Actually, just toss the other one though. Toss the rotted one. And I just got the evil one too. If I put you there and move you there, there we go. You're right. The red snapper can just uh, the red snapper can just go because uh, it it will not be worth anything now. It can just go off the board. So okay, we've already got the evil version of that now. Is that over there what I was aiming for? 
No, but I've discovered a new black blob. Uh, excellent. It just This has just appeared on the map to the south of me because no, I came into... Was he not there before? Yeah, he was there before. I, I saw didn't it. See it before. I... Well, yes, but... I thought you were talking... No, no. You Last time you pointed it out to me, you were talking to one of the, that was above the Ian research outpost. Yes, but I was saying you have one to the south of you or one on the little island. Outside. Okay, I, I, didn't, I, I didn't see that. Right, and this, oh blimey, Barracuda, Barracuda. Is, is a long boy. Barracuda is a long boy. Uh, okay, no, no, we can we can move you around. We can create space. No, 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 no. Never mind. I always push the wrong buttons there. If you go there and you go there, and now we can do some Barracuda fishing. There we go. One Barracuda. Just see what it's worth. See what we, see what these what these are worth. Because this looks to me like the same as the people we ran into previously the uh the woman we ran into outside the thing so yeah fish market everything we could want so not every crab could be found at every depth when finding the spot to drop your crab pots check the encyclopedia fascinating so that's 37 that's 42 this one is yeah way more 100 and the little squid is only 10 and obviously you also don't sell any of that business uh that's fine that gives me a little that. bit of money yeah we can store the rest of that away so, okay, I just need to do a little bit of uh, sorting out. Claire, over to you while I do this. Yes, indeed. Shout out to Mothfoot, who gave us $20 and says, Hey, y'all, I was laid off briefly, but I start a new job on Monday with a raise and promotion. Nice. Uh, I wanted to share the good fortune. I'm drinking a Bordeaux today, but don't love it. Well, congratulations. Sometimes being made redundant can be the best thing that happens to you. Like, I've been made redundant from multiple jobs. Not least as I was the, the part of the amazing generation that joined the workforce in 2008. So that was fun. Let me tell you, that was that was good times. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that was uh, that was that was a right laugh. And like sometimes it can it can sting like balls when it happens. But, it, you know, it can lead to uh, something much better, which is always marvelous. Okay. So let's just sort this out. And, oh, thanks to the retired whaler at Ingfell. I'm carrying a packed explosives. Okay. She sells some explosives. Also, we can fix the boat so my engine's back online. Probably best for you. Ooh, and if you press Y over an object, you can instantly put it in storage. Oh, nice. That's convenient. Yeah. Refined metal. I've got plenty of that. One research part and uh, packed exp I'm going to buy one packed explosive. I just feel like I'm going to need it at some point. Yep. If she's selling it, something around here is going to be explodable. Maybe that squid. Maybe we can just literally drop the explosives yeah. down the hole, blow up the squid. Feels a bit, feels a bit too, too easy for that to be the full solution, but it might work as a starting point. And that engine was... Oh, what was that in the fishing category? Is that like a different type of net? It's a type of net. Like, you put it there oh, instead of yeah. the reel. So, okay, you, I couldn't do ocean fishing anymore. But I could, like, just passively gain some fish over time. It's just a good way of making money passively mm. if you just want to make money. Which is, you know, not a bad thing. It's just I haven't really been using it so far. And floating dock was... Okay, engine space. One more space for holding engines, only $75. Or three more cargo spots for holding rods. Which I might need if I'm getting close to thinking about new, more exciting, sexy rods. Especially as we're going into new biomes. So I feel like that would not be a terrible idea. Especially as I've... I've done, if nothing else, I need to just clear out the space. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to uh, Clayton, uh, who gave us $10. And says, hello, John Claire and Teddy. When Oblivion is over, would you consider a stream where the chat suggests a bunch of little things you missed and you go do them? I think I kind of want a little break from Oblivion after it's done, to be honest. Like, sometimes after I've, especially done a complete series, I need a little break. Like, you don't want to do anything, like, too much too often. Otherwise, you eventually, like, you know, you're burning yourself out on it. Which is why I never do the same Fallout game back to back. I always rotate them mm. between, you know, three in New Vegas and four and one. I always try and never follow one series with the same thing. It always goes in rotation, so I don't get sick of them. Um, so there we go. Three rod spacers. So, yeah, I feel I'll take a little break on Oblivion. Though I think, you know, absolutely, I think it will come back. If nothing else, like, some little dumb, like, one-off challenges. Like, just see what happens if you whack up that dumb difficulty up to slide to maximum and, like, a dumb one-off YOLO and stuff like that. I, I would not be surprised in the slightest. You know, do not expect that at some point or another, I'm sure. 
Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Maxwell who gave us twenty dollars and says hello, John Claire and Ted. I have to hop into a board meeting, so I'll have to watch the vod. But I wanted to show my support for you. Thank you for all the laughs over the years. Any chance of another Bannerlord playthrough? Bannerlord. I should look back into Bannerlord at some point. Mm. Bannerlord was really interesting, and because clearly, I'm sure it's evolved a lot. Uh, since the last time I, I've played it too, so yeah. yeah, interesting, interesting stuff. And uh, another message from Maxwell, who also happens to uh, be a member and has been for eighteen months. Uh huh. Uh, any chance of a continued playthrough of Remnant? You seem to really enjoy it. Ciao. Uh, at some point, I may want to do another stream. Uh, try to get back and wrap up that bastard. I just go back and take out the bastard, trying to tell me to go to the terrifying nightmare planet. That would be uh, interesting, potentially. Just tell myself to do mm -hmm. all of these. There we go. Those four fish. That that should buy my next upgrade. I like this. This biome's lovely, by the way. This biome's really nice. So, yeah. Just go straight back to her. Some of the fish that basically were just right outside our house, which quite frankly feels, you know, cheating. But what can you do? Sell of those. That's going to get me, yeah, the floating dock. Now we can just do this next upgrade, which is brilliant. And now we're ready for... We're ready to move in towards New Hull. Though, admittedly, yes, we're very much lacking in most materials. That's Tier 3 Hull, 9 new cargo spaces, and additional impacts. So, honestly, start loading it up. You have all the cloth for it. I have all the cloth for it. I've got some of the raw material. You mysteriously don't need that much metal at all. Uh, I do need that. I need one more alloy and I, and I know where to get alloy because if I go and use my one explosive on just outside Marrow, there was mm -hmm. some alloy there then it's just four wood and then it's just eight hundred dollars just eight hundred dollars uh which is you know not not nothing but yeah, equally not the worst thing in the world either like you know I just nipped over and grabbed now that I'm getting more and more space for big fish that's not so bad so okay keep on the eye out for wood wood is once again the the yeah, actually mean, the limiting factor that might require you to do a tiny bit of grinding yes uh of grind fishing to get 800 but that's completely doable whilst reading a few donations and talking to chat yeah absolutely and it be, uh, problem or anything. And by any yeah. chance yeah, now it's night which is when the glowy fish come out so watch out for red red glowy fish is jellyfish we don't want to go up to them that light but teal there the glowy the glowy blue fish these would be the glow squid or possibly oh. octopuses Yacht. Bioluminescent shit lives over here. Oh. Glowing octopus. You are lovely, aren't you? Oh, and that good Tetris shape is going to be really nice to fit. Yeah, easy. Easy to just stack them all on top of each other. Everyone, get get in my hole just stacked on top of your captured brethren. And there's loads of them too. Sweet. This is... There are so many of these bastards here. This is spectacular, actually. But I'm amazed I've not come across the aberrant version yet. Just shove you in. It's not going to make any difference there, is it? Unless you go to... No, I think we're... we're... You know what? I, I, I'm just going to go and sell those. Given that she's right there. She's literally right there. That is... And watch out for the jellyfish. The jellyfish are the bastards who cause the trouble. But this is... That's a lot of money. That is that has got to be worth some good money right there. So those are forty two dollars each. Three hundred dollars. Nice. Like absolute nothing. So okay. And there's still more in that. There was still more. Like, yeah, just a bit yeah. of night fishing in this bit of the world, especially if I just go for the bioluminescent spot, is gonna get me the money for that upgrade in no time. Though uh, as I say the problem now is actually gonna be the woods. So alright, clap. Yeah. Well I just uh, do a little bit of night fishing. Uh yeah, shout out to uh X die kill die X who gave us two Australian dollars uh, and wants to know if you're ever going to finish Life is Strange True Colors. I'm gonna be honest, probably not. I haven't got back to it myself as yet, and uh, Life is Stranger always did very badly on the channel. Uh, it was evil boat just somewhere nearby there's an evil boat somewhere nearby i'm yeah there's an evil boat over there there's a fake boat you know what i'm gonna wait till morning now i'm going a bit more mad and time is ticking on 
I'm happy to sell what I've got, wait till morning, etc, etc. Like, Life is Strange has never done well on the channel. That's why it was always a live stream game. And at least it was a live stream. I think it... I just did not have the time to get to it. Like, I always preferred it back when it was properly episodic. Because then you could kind of, like, you know, do the episode in one live stream. And that was it. Then, then, then that was done for a couple of months till the next one came out. So, like, I kind of... I'm almost sad it's not episodic anymore. I preferred that format. I think it suited the channel better. I Maybe at some point... In a decade when I've retired... Maybe at that oh. point, well, uh, I'll, I'll get round to Life is Strange along with all the other many games I have not finished. We'll get to it at one point, I'm sure. Clap. Yes, indeed. Shout out to Mostly Caffeine, who gave us $20, uh, £20 even, sorry, um, and says, uh, uh, I've been swatting up on the French Revolution uh, history in preparation for visiting a friend who lives near Versailles. I love the I love the idea of swatting up for that particular reason, but that's great. Yeah, so makes sense. In time on a tradition, um, and I I love how this is just like so so like hopeful mm. and like believes in us so much. Oh God. Um, fuck Mary, kill the consulate, the directory, the committee of public safety. I'm gonna pass this one straight to Claire. I have no clue anymore. Wow. Well, like, I'm sorry. The last time I did this was in, like, I don't know, high school or something. It's mm. been a long time ago, okay? Picked up a blood snapper there, so that's good. That's a special, uh, yeah, that's the aberrant snapper. I'm sorry, but I have no idea. Plus, all of them end up in the, you know, like, a lot of them are going to end up in the end beheading you. <laughs> You are just over the edge of this here crater, whatever it is. So that's, ah, it's just more of them. Well, you know what? They've got to be worth something at the bare minimum. These guys cannot be worth nothing. Bare minimum, if I just do a day's fishing of the snapper today, we can just clear out all of these. The stock seems to be really high on the fish in this bit of the world, so you can just catch a lot of fish. And uh, with my engines being as good as they are, that seems to affect time when I'm fishing too. Because time is definitely passing not that quickly at the moment. So I can just basically... Yeah, deplete all the fishing stocks round here. Turn them all in. We, yeah, we're making money in a bloody hurry hand over fist here. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to, uh, shout out to Koku, who's been a member for 16 months, uh, and says, uh, hello, uh, hello, Ted, John, and Claire. Uh, happy to let the night drift away watching this stream. I hope all of you are well. I hope we are too. Especially Ted, who we thought might we not be well, well, but he turned out to be fine. Mm -hmm. Bless him. Here we go. We've got more glowy uh, glowy fish. More octopus. That is good money. Octopus is excellent money and easy storage. Love it. Uh, this is adorable. Mothfoot has been a member for three months uh, and says, uh, since I have one of these... I wanted to share uh, with you, my friend pronounces M-A-T-N to rhyme with flatten. Matten? Yeah. Uh, and now he's got me saying it too. I, I've i never used that. I, I, I def I've I definitely never used that. I, I definitely just say M-A-T-N. Mm -hmm. This is... Uh, I do occasionally say mania. I do yeah. use mania on occasion. Because you may recall some years ago, Google, YouTube, Google briefly decided to, hey, what if we made Google Plus compulsory for everyone? And you like had to link all Google accounts to some form of like Google Plus page where they killed Google Plus because it was a terrible idea and it was stupid. Uh, but when they did that, they also insisted they have to have names. And names have to have first names and second names, even if they were businesses, which made no cocking sense. So obviously the name was Mania True Nerd. Uh, and as a result of that, at some point that data was clearly scraped. Uh, and as a result of this day, we sometimes get emails addressed to Hi Mania, which means I know that comes from some form of robot or list that scraped Google Plus back in the day. Whenever I get emails that just read Hi Mania, like that's actually my name, which is marvellous. And there we go. Giant piles of money. So that should now be enough to, well, okay, it's enough to buy the thing. I still don't have the wood I need. So, actually, you know what I could do? As I'm just swimming in the money right now, I could, in three, well, one, hang on, check out the, the rods I've got that aren't new. Yeah, I've got the new lines, but honestly, I've not seen, a, I've literally not seen mangrove or volcanic yet, so I'm not in any rush to go over to those where my existing rod seems to be doing the job 
perfectly well. If I was to buy the twin prop engine, then yeah, I could have that in play. So hang on, hang on, hang on. I would need to, yeah, Peculiar Engine would need to be uninstalled. Rusty Outboard can just go. Sell that. Uninstall that. And now just put it into, uh... I'm allowed to put it in storage. Am I yeah, to... why? Huh? Do click why? Ah, perfect. Uh, good job. Good spot, Claire. And now buy Twin Prop Engine. Install. It's going to take a few hours, but that's fine. And now, yeah, now with improved outboard and twin prop, I should have absolutely, yeah, I, that should be significantly faster. If I just ever research that single block thing, that could go for the top. But on top of that, yeah, that's still plenty of money. And on the floating dock, new hull is, I'm still got most of the money. I just need to nip back and get the alloy and find a whole bunch of wood. But broadly, the money's looking good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to rest, and then we're going to go to that fort, which I think we saw to the north. So if I just cut through the thing over here. Yeah, if I cut... Actually, you know what? There is clearly a tiny island around the outside of the crater. And that had a port as well. What? Tiny that... island outside the crater? Didn't that have a port? That This is definitely not a port. But this could well be a source of wood. Nice. Precisely the thing we need. Clap while I just get this up. Yeah, shout out to Suddenly Steve who gave us $10 and says, John, what do you think about all these remakes? I never understood why I should play the remake if I played the original game. Also, I'm planning on going to Vegas next year. Do you want pictures? <laughs> you got a good spring, sure. Um... It, it really depends. Some of them, like, you know, I think there's there's an argument absolutely to be made in terms of accessibility. Like, games that, especially games that, uh, you know, predate games being available online. Which, anything from, like, you know, GameCube, that sort of era backwards. Where you basically now can't play them outside of emulation or only the original console. You know, remaking or remastering and re-releasing them so that they can still be accessible. Like, this is Metroid Prime. Yeah, fine, no problem with that at all. Plenty of games, even the ones that have aged perfectly well. I'm like, okay, I, you can probably find, quote me five different times. You can probably, like, in the Patreon cast, the podcast, several occasions, I almost certainly said, ahead of it coming out, Resident Evil 4 is a weird one to remaster. I don't know why they're doing it. The game is aged fine. This doesn't need to be done. And I was wrong. Like, or rather, they did a much better job than I was expecting them to. Like, I go into that, and this is a game that's made with respect and reverence for the original, but it's not afraid to add stuff to it and really flesh out the characters. And it's clearly made by people who understand what made the original good. Like, you know, they're not going to go into it and say, hey, Leon said some really dumb corny shit, and said, no, the dumb corny shit was the point. People loved Leon's dumb corny shit. We're going to make him dumber and cornier! We're going to add even dumber cornier lines into the game! Fuck yes! You get it, you bastards! Well done! Uh, so, you know, at that point, like, you know, it, it's a reimagining, and I think it works really well. And I don't think it takes away from the original, because the original is still being sold. You can still get it. Probably it's got, it'll get cheaper because the new one's out. Uh, so I think that's absolutely fine. So, yeah, absolutely, in some cases, there's, there's an argument of saying, eh, does this really add that much? But, like, I think in many cases, some of the recent ones have worked perfectly solidly. Like they they've actually been pretty they've been pretty decent and that I think the is a thing proper about thing. Uh, the thing about the um, ooh, treasure map big, the next big maps, map. the thing about Resident Evil as well is that like it's not you know it's it's not um, it's not exactly like the original no so you know it says to you if you've played the original put it on hard or whatever which is really weird actually which i I, really I disagree with that because there's so much that's different actually trying to do the original stuff can actually seriously mislead you like they said the game actively sometimes messes with you and is deliberately made stuff a bit different and hello yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Like, the fact that it does that is really good because you are... It gives you... Huh. Message in a bottle. A little log or something, yeah. Yeah, hang on. Uh, that's the one. 
We are engaged to be married. He sailed with us to the very centre of the stellar basin to see the light. Talked for hours, I mean, we have not done such a long time, waiting and hoping. Sometime past midnight, as we were grown delirious and hysterical for the lack of sleep, the aurora shimmered into the sky above. When I turned to see his reaction, he was already down on one knee. Can't even remember what I said, but I know it was yes. The ring is beautiful. Span of jewels going round. I can't take my eyes off it. Wasn't sure what to write under yesterday's date or today's, given it occurred on the conjunction of days. Okay. Some form of marriage you McJibble. And, oh. Music box. Okay. Vessel, S.Y. Grand Price, Mr. Michael Schultz, Gail Cliffs, Oaken Music Box. This is the artifact that the guy asked me to get. Purchased from the uh, antiquary Little Mara for a bargain price. Previously salvaged from undisclosed shipwreck. Has that a J carved into the other side, otherwise reasonable conditioner. It's not been opened for fear of damaging the mechanism. And then a wooden mask. 12-piece tea set jar of earth. Jar in from Meteor Impact Site. Might be this one, but... Okay. I'm not sure of the exact immediate significance of that, but worth keeping in mind. So, okay, we've got the fort that was mentioned. Apparently, uh, retribution was coming imminently, so they fled to the fort. So, all right. Hello, Mr. Researcher. How bananas are you, just out of interest? So, wasn't expecting visitors. Uh, and I'm a fisherman. I, I just do fishing. And a fisherman all the way out here. Strange. Well, there's really good, valuable fish, like octopuses. They they, they trade for a pretty penny. Uh, I've not seen another sort in months. In fact, I could do with your help. Yeah, go on. I need help collecting samples. I was originally placed at the research outpost. But it was attacked. Large creature emerged from the depths, destroyed the outpost, now rests in the centre of the basin. Fled to have been making do as best I can. Had to leave most of my equipment behind. Okay, the generator we saw earlier. Take a look at the list of specimens I need. Drop them off here. I might need to experiment with different fishing strategies to encounter them all. So, octopus, we know where to get. Aurora jelly... Okay, interesting. There is a way to catch a type of jellyfish. But is that a net? It is. All right. Shallow, coastal. Right, we need to change out our hook. Our, sorry, yeah, our, our, our ocean hook for a net. Yeah, good spot. Well done. The perception is, my, is letting me down on this one. Thankfully, you're here. And you can see better than me. Which is wild because your glasses are slightly thicker than... I was hoping something good would come and I'd come up with a good analogy, but no, I couldn't lie. I think the, the, uh, the, the traditional thing is Thicker than bottle Ted. bottom. Hmm? Thicker than Ted. Oh. You're so oh, rude. Oh, Ted. You're a good boy. Oh, dear. Yeah, in French, we, we call thick glasses like the bottom of a bottle. Mm-hmm. So, okay, what we need to do is, yeah, we know where to get the firefly squid and the octopus. That's easy. The Aurora Jellyfish, we need to, yeah, just basically drag a net around the coast until we happen to pick it up. Probably at night. Because this is at night, and this is at night. And the Aurora is at night. Yeah, exactly. So, logically, we have to be just dragging the net around the basin at night. That'll be the solution, I'm guessing. So, okay. We know what we're doing there in that case. So, yes, the creature that attacked you... Mm. I got the sense it was attacking the research outpost and not me. It was disturbed by some of my monitoring equipment. Dozens of machines running there, powered by a noisy generator. So huge loss than anything else I've studied. <laughs> Attack with tentacles, uh, some sort of octopus or squid, or an anemone. Uh, an anemone. Anem clap. Anemone. Thank you. Do, 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 do. <laughs> One of my research vessels was moored around the back of the station, so I managed to slip away in that while it was tearing apart the front. Lots of valuable data and equipment. I'm not going back. I won't face it again. Okay, anything weird going on? But so preoccupied with the attack and having to rebuild, I almost forgot. I found these letters from my sister. She'd sent them to me while I was studying before. Okay, before something. Presumably she's dead or missing. Researcher is quiet for a moment. Anyway, I kept finding them among my papers. Don't remember packing them, but I must have. Finding them more frequently, they turned up in my collection nets, in my sampling tubes. Letters I'd never seen before, but they were in her writing in her name. Saying things that, that happened after she died. I can't explain it. Okay, that's pretty bloody weird. And studied uh, biological sciences at Iron Haven College. It was a struggle. You know the female students in that department that year, or the year before, or the year before. Hard on to feel like an outside environment like that. 
So when I graduated, I managed to land a job at Northern Biological Research, and then a posted here by myself. So I'd relish the peace and quiet, but I miss the company. So okay. Nothing too dramatic, and we haven't got the specimen yet. Right, so we need to nip back to... Well, actually, hang on. Before we go... Check my storage. Because... Let's start putting together the same map. Okay. Presumably... Wait, when you draw a compass, is the longest the north or the south? That looks like that fits. Does but the other one I might need to be turned as well. Yeah, would you normally ri have that? Like that's got to be either north or south. It wouldn't be east or west, surely. Mm -hmm. So in which case, which way would that be? Mm -hmm. Hang on, I'm gonna I'm gonna check my own map. Oh, Go away. Clever. Is there a compass on this thing? There's not. Irritatingly, oh, that's that's, silly. that's a shame. I mean, logically, it feels like it should be north to me. That feels like the logical way to orientate it. Mm. So, in which case, if we put that there. And we put you here. That could go there. Long is north, says the chat. Which is good, because I googled nautical compass, and Google Images yeah. wasn't very helpful. So, it looks like, yeah, what we're looking for is a cluster of small islands, but particularly a long wiggly island with like an island that looks like an angry elephant basically that's breathing fire out of Can its trunk. Can you open your actual map? Yeah, so I'm just trying to memorize the other this way. So okay, angry elephant, an elephant with angry eyes blowing fire out of its trunk. That's what we're looking for. So don't you think it could be uh basically the long boy is at D3 and 4. D3 and 4. And then you know what? You're not wrong. That actually looks quite a reasonable fit, doesn't it? Sorry that I didn't call it an angry elephant. Mm-hmm. It's clearly an angry elephant. Yeah, okay. yeah, but you know So what if I we've mean. got that orientation, if we think that orientation's correct, then the problem... But that's not it, how it fits. You'll know it fits when it looks perfectly aligned. It looks pretty well aligned there, but... Uh, what would be latitude and longitudes aren't aligned? Oh, good, good point. That could be it too. That now that's is what you just had on. No, I had this on a second ago. That's mm. that's misaligned in more than one way. Yeah. Okay. It's... Wait, 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 wait. Go back to having it vertical. Yeah. Yeah, and then down and left. Yeah. I still think that fits for where we were saying that it might be. Yeah, that's correct. I mean, well, maybe anyway. I mean, if we just go out a little bit. The problem is we don't have an, we don't have the bit of the map that's got the X on it yet. Yes, that is the that's problem. the tricky bit because uh, we actually got a fragment of the map from precisely there, but we don't actually have yeah the map the bit of the map that tells me where the treasure is because it can't just be. In that area, otherwise, because the bit of the map is there, you just find it by accident. Suggesting there's got to be a trick when you've got the full map or something. Mm -hmm. So, okay. What we need to do is we need to go back to an actual, uh, yeah, uh, fishy McJibble. In particular, yes, if we just head back into the thing over the water to, yeah, the person over here who sells the McJibbles. Then we need to get a net set up and then we need to start gathering the items we need and also is that by any chance wood that's wood Very which nice. is precisely what we need this is working out beautifully today Claire. this is work this is an excellent little expedition we've gone on and you are very helpful as a little treasure hunter if i actually ever go treasure hunting for real i'm taking you with me thanks previously i would have just assumed you know you probably a better idea not to do so wow. actually actually well, out, you might be quite but you useful. know what? If I'm going treasure hunting, I'll take you because, as it turns out, you're real good at digging. You you keep digging and digging and digging. There's my octopus. You can go there. You're just ignoring me now. Now I need my little fire squid. Now I did see a fire squid outside of the crater, didn't I? Which makes me wonder if that's where they go. I'm going outside the crater. 
to see if maybe if there's glowy things outside the crater. Leave me alone. I think this might be it. I think this might be it right here. And go, 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 go. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine, leave me alone. Yeah, this is it. Got it. Go, go, go. Yeah, feed it out straight away. The squids live outside the crater. These guys live in... Yeah, these guys and the octopus live inside the crater. Now all I need is the drag nets. So now if I just go this way. Put this back on. So I can bloody see. And then just follow the McJibble round. This should lead me back to... Yeah, back to... There it is. There she is. That's the person who can do all of the upgrades for me. So that's fine. Yeah, there's plenty of good night fishing. As long as I keep, like, one of each of the things I need. The, the, the resources around here seem to refresh in no time, which is great. Mm. So, yeah. Step one. Go to a uh, floating dock. And toss the wood in. Which is definitely a thing a number one to do. Claire, while well, I just set that up and store the rest. Yeah, shout out to the Heathen X who gave us $10 and says Mass Effect 2 and 3 were the only games that ever made me cheer up. I played the series through uh, in COVID and it carried me through the year after high school. I mean, absolutely. Like, 100%. Like, I think you may recall, uh, the first time I was playing through Mass Effect, this was before the channel existed. Uh, first I, time I played, I first time I played through Mass Effect Three, I came downstairs from my first like like few hours playing it, and I had to have a cup of tea, and I had to explain to Claire uh, that the reason I was very upset was because my ex girlfriend wanted to get back together with me, and I didn't know whether to say yes or not. Which is only a thing to race with you at the time. Uh, because, yes, I, I dated Liara in one, and then Tali in two, and then obviously Liara asks if you want, you kind of, you want to get back together again uh, on the Mars base in three. I was like, holy shit, I don't know! You went a bit psychotic in Mass Effect 2, but you seem to be doing better now! So that was and that. And then uh, I came upstairs at one point. Uh, we were living in a shared house, and yeah. so I came to... I came to like the room where you were playing yeah, and you were going through a story bit and this is like, you know, I don't even go here yeah. kind of situation. Mm -hmm. uh, but like, yeah, you were playing through a story bit with Morden. Oh shit, Morden. Yeah. Someone else would have gotten it wrong. Ah! So like, as I said, I'm not in this fandom, right? I've not followed the story or anything. Don't like explain to me the kind of general um you still have some doubloons oh true yeah mm. good spot uh john explained to me like kind of the basic like backstory of of that and then played the cutscene and by the end i was crying and i don't even go here yeah right so put away the hydraulic rod we don't need that <laughs> yeah. what i do need is hang on a uh, shipyard and then I need from you one basic net, which only costs $200, actually. So this should be... That catches coastal. Hope that's good enough, because that's all we've got. So install that. And it is, it's just still night uh, when we've got that installed. So now we just need to see if we can get lucky. So select the troll net. Okay. Lower it with X. And now just basically see if we catch something. Uh, we've just got to see if we get lucky. We've got we've got not much time until it's the end of uh, end of the night. So we've got something. Just to keep going around and hope we catch. Uh, we hope we catch the thing we're after. Avoid the jellyfish. Come on, come on! One more fish. Get in there. Get in there before dawn. Okay. What do we just? How do we check what was actually in the thing? By the way, uh, cargo? Can I check this? No. Oh, it's in its own net. No, it was a firefly squid. Useless. Okay, so now we've got to wait until night, which interestingly we can't. You can't do. Well, that's fine. That means I can. Wait, so yeah, I guess it's probably is night it? because it's called Aurora Jellyfish. It's got to be. Like, the jellyfish clearly go away during the day. Like, that's, that's very demonstrably what they do. So, alright. In which case... Oh, blimey, there's a... 
There's a big old society over here. This is very different to what I was expecting. Okay. Also, hello there, guys. We may as well just tell myself to some of you while I'm just uh, waiting for all of this. We can make a bit of money off you guys. Right, there's a very large civilization just um, chilling out here. Hi, guys. Looks a little bit fallen over, admittedly. Stone of Hums. Oh, it's not one of them bloody stones. I assume this is a fast travel stone when I get it right. So, okay, by any chance, is this explosives? Fuck you! Right. Well, there's uh, there's the uh, yeah, there's the alloy I wanted. Yeah, nice. beautiful. Basically, yes. Uh, explosives are free alloy. That's that's what they do. So, all right, there's the alloy I need. So that's that sorted out. Now it's just the money. So, okay, I don't know what happened to this entire civilization, but it's... I'm, I'm gonna guess a giant squid. Yeah, but it's... Oh, blimey. Okay, luckily that doesn't count as a bad thing. It's just sort of... I'm gonna guess so, but I feel like they're kind of, you know, on land. That's... Oh, research! Nice, free research blob. Oh, blimey, 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 blimey. Kick, kick, job. Head in the game, 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 head in the game. There we go. That took me a few attempts. Uh right. Everything's fine. Just mosey on round, see what else they've got going on, if anything. It's gonna be night sooner rather than later, that is. That's just material. Don't worry about that. Help myself to fish, because I do need fish for, you know, like ooh, Barracuda, which I'm pretty sure it's that's actually going to be a struggle to fit in. You know what? Let's just get back towards my safe port so I can just start trailing as soon as we hit night. It's all going to be fine. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Lord Missing Number, who's been a member for eight months uh, and says, I hope our little friend Teddy's doing okay. I wasn't super interested in this game, but I'm here to hang out anyway. And as usual, trans rights. Trans rights. Trans rights indeed. And uh, Teddy is doing okay. For those of you who missed it on Twitter, when he came back from his walk today, he was making some weird noises. Yeah. We were a bit worried about it. Uh, we called the vet and they couldn't tell us, you know, yeah or nay. Uh, so they said to bring him in. Um, and as it turns out, the thing that worried us, uh, the thing that worried us a lot at 6 p.m. on Friday was probably just hiccups. Thursday clap. Thursday, yeah, a stream day. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably just hiccups. Yeah, he just had hiccups. Just very dramatic hiccups. He just had very dramatic hiccups, but the vet did, uh, did uh, you know, uh, render a very important diagnosis after seeing him and said he is, in fact, perfect. She was specifically referring to his weight, just so we're clear that the vet was not making that much of a judgment call. Well, um, she was she was talking about Yeah, it. Aurora Jellyfish, nice. got it. Nice. We got precisely what we wanted. That's exactly the thing we needed. So okay. Yeah, because when we adopted him he was a little bit underweight, so we've been keeping an eye on that. Yeah. Um and yes, we've been uh, checking, you know, is he in good shape? And she said he is perfect. Yes. He did say perfect, that's true. Okay, so now what we can do is return to base, check in, quickly, uh, the fish market we can sell, uh, go over to, yeah, we can sell that. This guy can actually stay in the net, which is kind of hilarious, and I can send him to storage if I want to, I can just stay in here. He can just stay in here, that's fine, apparently that's that, he can just live in there. Okay, so the net basically acts as like... A free giant extra pile of storage. Oh, that's quite Which big. is actually quite useful in a way, isn't it? Uh, so, so yeah, we've got the refined metal. So we can actually, yeah, we can bank that right now. So, floating deck. New hull. That is all the materials. Now it's just a question of money. And, you know, we're not doing too bad in that regard either. Especially as, yeah, fish market straight away. Yeah, we can't sell those. We can sell you and you. Those are, you know, those are like $50 between the two. So then we just need to go and grab, uh, yes, out of the net. Uh, why don't you bank the storage part, the the research part, yeah. No, that's true as well. And then, can I even move you out of the... 
How do I move that out of the net? Is there any way to do it? Does it just live in the net? I guess it just lives in the net. Yeah, and apparently you can use the net to get a bunch of unique fish. That makes sense. Yeah, that absolutely does make sense. So, okay. There is... Is there any reason now not to... You know what? I'm already green eyeing. Wait till morning. That's fine. On the way to the McJibble, we can like you do a little bit more trawling. Because why not? We'll just trawl through this area while we're passing by. Head to the fort at the same time. Just, you know, get a giant pile of fish. No reason not to, to be honest. These fish are worth, like, nice! That one's a horrible diseased one. That's probably worth a hundred dollars. You are less horribly diseased. Sorry, you need to go next to the horrible diseased one anyway. The fish stocks in this bit of the world seem to be extraordinarily generous as well. Which is great. Those guys are a bit on the chunky side though. So alright. Back to the fort. We've now got everything she needs. Which means she'll probably give me some form of secret or help as to how to distract, murder, otherwise just sort of, you know, take care of that issue with the giant squid, etc, etc. Claire. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to uh, shout out to Jake, who gave us five uh, pounds uh, and a little um, a little sticker of a, a pear with a party horn. Do enjoy it's the pears. The cute. pears are excellent. I like the stickers, uh, indeed. And then let's see, old sea dog. It's very appropriate. Yeah, excellent name for this stream. True. Gave us twenty dollars and says, "John, thanks for putting this game on my radar. It and Hard Space Shipbreaker have become my latest gaming obsession." They are, yeah. You know what? I can see the similarity. Mm -hmm. I, I get yeah. where you, I get where you're going with that. So, okay, about the specimens. Net, you go in there, and then over to my cargo. We've got. Toss them out to put. Did you toss them out to put the other fish in there? Did I accidentally do the thing where I just held X to sell all the fish? No, I think you accidentally tossed them out to put the. Yeah. The fish rotted. Oh, they rot fat. That one. Rot, those rot, that's where the rot comes from. Oh. Right, we need to, we need to get those over here faster. Okay, those you need, those rot fast. Like, some fish rot dumb fast. Right, I, I see. Those, okay, well that's fine. We know where to get them. We can get them and we can deliver them fresh. Apparently, I actually, it was three days. Apparently, it was three days I was holding on to them. No. Okay, right. It may be, that one might have been, to an extent, my fault. Like, it's hard to say. It's hard to say, but um, apparently they were telling you in chat and I was busy looking at the game. So, you know, you could blame me if you like. Oh, yeah. Bl bl blame Clay. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. That's the solution. That's the solution. <laughs> okay, well, we know where to get them. At night, glowy patches in the crater octopus. Glowy patch outside the crater is the squid. Because they are like they they live in separate slightly separate areas. So okay, well that's that's fine. I can now sell all the fish, and that's going to be two hundred dollary dues. Nice. All right, and now yeah, I can if I'm lucky actually, I might be able to I can just make a tiny bit more money before the uh, the day's over, which I might well be able to because these guys are going to generate uh, good bits and pieces. Yeah, honestly, if I can get myself to that was actually depleted immediately. Lol. Because you've already fished it, I think. Yeah, I think I already fished some of that. There's that spot over there. I see a bunch of fish, but I don't see an associated fishing spot. So I think actually that's that's not fishable. You need to see the bubbles on the surface for it to be fishable. Okay, it is now night though. It is now officially night. Meaning as time goes by, here we go. Right, that is probably the tiny squid. Yeah, tiny squid. Alright, easy. Step two, go into the crater, look for the same thing. And if we're lucky, yeah, the problem is the glowing coral can kind of throw you off a little bit. Uh, so I need to find a patch of light glowing. I need light glowing. That could be it. That's the boys. Dumb. 
Right. Gotcha. Right, so we've got that. I just got the achievement Careless Harvesting. Possibly suggesting I'm currently aggressively overfishing, I'm not sure. Uh, but okay. We're going to take these straight away. Back to the fort, because yeah, I'm still pretty sane for the time being. And then we can simply yeah, hand them over before they rot. So everything's going to be fine. Possibly rotting is also in part a function of climate. Like, you know, maybe this is the hot bit of the world. We're down south right now. That intuitively... Oh! Lights off. Lights back on again, so I can actually bloody see. And straight into position. Nice. Yeah, nice and easy. Now, we have we can't possibly be over capacity. These have got to be okay now. So, okay. You. Go there. And you. Go there. Mission complete. You've caught all the need, but I also need some from it deeper down. That's going to be a problem. Uh, yes, I don't have the equipment for anything too deep anyway. I developed a device to develop to retrieve samples from Abyssal Zone. It was in the other research outpost before the attack. I have an idea of how to keep the creature at bay long enough for you to collect the samples. Uh, while I work on that, I need to recover prototype parts. So go during the day when you want, you want to battle in the reef at night. Okay, so that's just her from her base, right? Her, her first base. Yeah, didn't we find those? I think we found them. We didn't know what to do with them, so we just left them. Ah, so yeah. rest till morning. Just go and grab those. That should be fairly simple. Yeah. Possibly, yeah, whether you're the intent... Many people might stumble across this base first. I don't know. But all right. That's absolutely fine. Just get my haste on. Zoom back over there. No problemo. Clap. Mm, it, no, it's just time. That makes it, uh, that makes it rot. Don't keep things in your inventory forever or they go stale and then they rot. If they go stale, they sell for less and nah. they rot. Nah, that makes sense, uh, yeah. Da, 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 da. Mm. Yes. Uh, let's... Also, a message in a bottle. I think I just didn't see because I passed by ah. last time it was night. So, 14th of September 1927. That would be... Yes, the same sort of period as the wedding proposal, whether it's the same people. I've not run for a few days. I've been afflicted by a strange chill. Fogs the brain. Can't keep warm. Something illegible. Well, most of what they haul up was junk. They eventually came across a large wooden casket. Okay, prized open. Buckling boards, all grown, splintered apart. Crimson cloth. Crashing waves rose to fill my ears. I hear them still. He stared on into the open casket, then turned to me in the eyes. I saw the void. Okay, something weird. Something weird going on. Not too surprising. Lots of weird shit goes on. Kind of happens all the time. It's pretty normal, really. Right, get over to here. Have a bit of a loopsy roundy at you. Laboratory. So now, open the cupboards again. Nothing left in the cupboards. Inspect the equipment on the table. Yes, prototype parts. Yeah, I saw these before, but didn't know what to do with them, so I didn't take them. So I would have just been stealing for no reason. Yeah. Which I don't do. I'm a fisherman, damn it. Yes, of course. So I've got that, and I've already, uh, yeah, shaken the research part that was here. So leave. Though there is... Hang on. There's something dredge-worthy just around the back here. What are you, buddy? Research! Everyone loves research. Research is great. And beautiful. We've got two research parts now. Must be, I'm going to be getting close to that ultimate mega can do everything flipping uh, rod in no time whatsoever. It's so, alright. Just nip back over to here. That is. Oh, yeah. That's Hadel. Wow. Okay. That's that's super deep. I gotcha. Maybe you stay away from that for the time being before something boops me with a tentacle. So, alright. Hadel, which is distinct from Abyssal. I don't really know which of those two I'd consider deeper, to be honest. Never come across the word Hadel before. I just told you before because I googled it for us. Yes, but I've forgotten what you said. It's like a, it's a, un, it's something that is deeper than six kilometers underwater and it is like a trench. Ah, how does that compare to Abyssal if that's actually got a definition? Or is that just like, it was one like a subcategory of the other, perhaps? I don't know, I'm gonna search that. That is just the little snapper I think I've seen you before. No, Hadel is deeper. Yeah. Uh, abyssal related, uh, relating to or denoting the depth uh, or bed of the ocean, 
specifically between three and six kilometers down. Wow, okay. Mm. Well, there we go, we dance. That's even super deeper. So, all right, prototype parts. I'm gonna assemble a device, catch specimens from much greater depths. It's slow, but you should be able to make some improvements. Okay. Catches abyssal. So, catches abyssal, catches abyssal. Yeah, but we need Hadel in the perfect world. So, okay, hang on. Sampling device, sampling device. Three distinct devices. Is it three distinct devices or is it one thing that... Oh, no, you're right. Well, luckily it fits right here. So, lucky I bought this rod when I did, yeah. really. Install it. Yeah, do it. So, I developed a repulsion machine. Which nice. uses bright light, high noise and high pitch noise to deter that creature from attacking. Or in range it, I'm not 100% sure. Lol. Attach it to the... Yeah, you'll have to return and re-engage it every few hours. Other than that, it's completely automated. Okay. Install this. Take it over to that. Take a look at the list of specimens. You want to install and activate the ma machine. Okay, so these will be the things she wants from the Hadel zone. Oh, no. Well, she's given me the ability to do abyssal. Like, she's asking now stuff for... Well, I can't do them. I can do some of these. I can't do all of them. I definitely can't do that one. That one's too deep. Sorry. So, okay. Uh, she did say I might be able to improve this. So, possibly, yes, I need to improve uh, it down the now line. Now you can upgrade the other two rods that you couldn't before. Ah, okay. And speaking of which... Ah, Hadel is far deeper, says Shackle. Abyssal is when light stops reaching down below. And Hadel is based off of Hades. Ah, and here it is. Uh, bottomless lines. Abyssal and Hadel. Well, I happen to have that right here. So, yeah, I've got that. And at the same time, yeah, versatile rod. I need to save space on that. So, yeah, I've already got the bottomless line. That's now available to buy from someone. Though it is a, yeah, a Tetris, like, yeah, two, uh, th uh, three and uh, two. So, all right. Let's just quickly back away here. The problem is that's going to be a bit of a pain to, to fit, isn't it? I mean, I guess I could get rid of the net. I think these two spots are acceptable. So if I just uh, bench that, I could put that over here. And then I could just get rid of this too. To create a bit of space. So, okay. That that works. So, do I have any books? No, I've, I've read all my books. I do not have any more books to read. Right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mosey on back to... Well, also, in addition. Now I just need a tiny bit of money. So I'm just going to mosey on back towards the... Sometimes you get these to get a little bit lost. Mosey on back towards the other thing. Do a bit of nighttime fishing. While have, I'm... You, have you thrown the net? Well, no, I'm going to store it. I'm not going to toss it. What? What's in the net? Oh, I see what you mean. Yes, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, we'll put the net down, given the net does seem to generate a lot of fish, especially at night. But yeah, I just need a bit of money. That's fine. Uh, yeah. Hey, sorry, I thought that's what you meant, because you said you needed money. So I well, I was just gonna, I was just gonna hunt for octopuses, given they're super easy, uh, super easy everywhere. But uh, yes, uh, you're right. I could do. I could just get some stuff with the thing too. Those uh, swimming around at night can be a little bit on the. Uh, tricky side. That's going to be an octopus cluster, isn't it? No, it's not. It's just a giant pile of jellyfish. Okay, for some reason today everyone's letting me down. Dear oh, flipping dear. Stay away from there. Look out for... There's going to be... Hang on. There's something. There's something good that's pretty conveniently located. We've also just caught something in the net right there. Right, and that's going to be some nice easy squid. And they take up no space whatsoever. And that is I want to get the blob for mega squid. That's a more advanced squid. If you see a yellow blob, wait for it, because that means heavy squid that gets you more money. And now I can basically just send myself to a giant pile of squid. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to uh, Catbat, who gave us $5 uh, and says, I just wanted to spread the good vibe. I wanted to spread the good vibes. Sorry. I just learned that I got accepted to Edinburgh from my master's. Oh, that's a brilliant university. Yeah, Edinburgh's I know. great uni. Yeah, that's really good. And for master's as well. Yeah. Congratulations, Kaba. Mm. Congratulations. Mm. Okay. Get to the fish market. Right. Mm. Now, I think I needed $800. This one is... Oh, that's $20 by itself. You are worth money. You're worth money. Sell all of you. 
Okay, $842. Perfect. So, next up, go to Floating Dock. Go to Hull. And up. Grade, I have a Tier 3 boat. Nice. And I probably didn't have enough change for anything else. But yeah, more cargo spaces, more engine spaces, more light spaces. Everything. Uh, just remind me how much I've got in storage. Honestly, not that much. So don't worry about that for the time oh, but being. Come on, look at your new cargo space, though. Look yeah, exactly. at your new boat. Nice. Oh, nice. nice. Very nice. Right there. That is, that is lovely. Right. Next up... What we need to do is... Good job, that's a big upgrade. Yeah, that's a great upgrade. So hang on, go to shipyard. Mm. Now I want to, yeah, uninstall this and send it to storage for the time being. And now what I need to do is, yeah... Put the Tetris one. I need to buy the Tetris I one. I need to buy it, yes. Fortunately, it's quid, here. So. So that is that's four hundred. Yeah, just put your uh, your new your old one. Huh? Wait, no, that was ocean, wasn't it? The yeah, not the oceans are terrible. I mean, I can just install this time. Actually, it, it eats up some time. Honestly, given it's barely doing anything, let's just leave it. Only just four hundred dollars, and then I can. Yeah, I mean, if you leave it and you can put fish in there in the meantime. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's worth it. Yeah, so just rest there. And then that gets me to morning. And then, oh, so, so so many fish. So many fish will now be caught. It's going to be beautiful. Clap. Uh, yeah, shout out to Dragomir, who gave us 500 Serbian dinars. Uh, and says, hello, friend. Nothing to say, but buy a cup of tea and be well. Oh, that's a lovely message. I like that. I know. That's, 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 that's a great message. Oh, Ted's going for a scritchy scritch. Yeah, scritchy scritch. He does go. For, he does enjoy giving himself a bit of a little scritchy scritch. Sometimes I I like to help him out though. Yes, he does. Uh, he does sometimes need help with scritching. He needs a little bit of a helping hand there. Yes, he is. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, you have fish in the net. It's gonna rot. Oh, good point. The net off. Good point. Uh, thank you, Hungarian pirates. Yeah, sell those Such before they go. That is this. an excellent one. Yeah. I think if you just, presumably if you do sell it all, that would also include the net. The net is apparently currently empty. Possibly it's already rotted. Could well or have maybe it got emptied when you put it away. Maybe I held X and that counted as emptying the net as well as everything else. That, that may well be the case. Alright, round we go. Let's just, yeah, wrap up. Which, or, like, at this point we could just bring a decent quality fish in so quickly. It is actually not... Oh, that is even... That's high stock. So this will actually be probably enough right there just by itself to just uh, finish this off. Clap. Yeah, shout out to Killjoy Tommy who gave us $5 and says, John, thank you uh, for being non-political. It's getting harder to find out these days. I hope you're all having a good day. I guess we're not actively like. Yeah, I mean, I don't know about hmm. that. I don't know. I, 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 I think I imagine many people have pointed out that like, and certainly my probably stuff leaks in here and there. It's not really possible mean to, to be non-political. It is impossible really, to be entirely, yeah, yeah, it like divorced from the wider cultural world. Like, I mean, I try not to like, you know, get preachy. Yeah. I say that. That's that. Is that, 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 that good enough? I don't know. Right, there's 441. So now, go to shipyard. Go to this thing. Yeah, 405. Install it. So that's now just being installed. Coming up on the end of the day. So we've now got that in place. So that can... Yes, yeah, so we can now do... And this can now therefore... Yeah, this one can now go away. So that can be uninstalled. And sent straight to storage. This can be... Irritatingly, I'd like this to be uninstalled and then reinstalled here, because otherwise... And that'll take a while. Exactly, yeah, that's going to take a few more hours. But that's <laughs> fine. Which also makes me think, actually, this should be uninstalled and reinstalled with this orientation. Wait, should it? Oh, That creates two isolateds over here, but then that creates two isolateds here. Does it really make any difference? Is it better to have the isolated like as part of a longer line, whereas yeah, here the isolates if you had like a barracuda or something? Yeah, I think this is this is the superior layout, isn't it? 
Because now the two isolated lead into an inf effectively infinitely long line as far as fish is concerned. Whereas here, the two lead into only a three. So I think therefore this is the... I think the, that's more versatile. Yeah. I think this is slightly the better layout, yes. I'll go for that. Screw it. I need to reinstall this anyway. So that's now in place. So that's all absolutely fine. Also, uh, I've got a ring I need to uh, dump into storage to get rid of that. Sweet. And this needs to be taken over to the thing. But yeah, well, this is now plenty of space for everything. So, okay. It's time for our showdown with Megafish. Oh. What? What have I done wrong? Well, if you had swapped over the two uh, fishing rods. Yes. You could have the, like, L-shaped Tetris piece, like, in a... You know how when you turn it upside down, there's two isolated on the side? Yeah. But if it were on the uh, right-hand side of the and... movie... Yeah. Anyway, it's seven hours to change it, guys, so we're not going to do that. And I know there is a mutant fish in here, guaranteed, or relatively easily guaranteed. So you can just live in there, buddy. So what have you. Then just, okay, skirt around this. First things first, we need to take this machine to the outpost. And on the way past, I can also do some, yeah, infinite thingying. I think there might be a point here. Is this safe for me to go to? Well, there's a weird McJibble here. It's Hadel. Okay, no, no, this was not a safe point. For, this was not a safe... Ah, oh, this was not... This was not a safe point for me to... This was also... My engines are all broken. Yeah. Okay, that was not a safe point for me to, uh, to go to. That's fine. We literally only just set off that morning. That was not a safe point, apparently. Well, now we know. There was one safe point. I swear there was one safe point that was around the other side. Because I just sat in it for a while and I wasn't attacked. Maybe it was because time wasn't moving and had I tried to sit on it, then I would have been attacked. But I swear there was one There was one round here that I just sat on. It. Don't you have a thing to, like, scare it anyhow? Well, yes, but, you know. I just kind of wanted to just try out some fishing. Like, over here... This looks like this is over a slightly deeper bit. What's this? You see, this is abyssal. This is well out of the way. And this is one of the things I was supposed to be trying to catch. I don't like it. I don't like having this in my thing. You can go there. That's fine. That was one of the fish she wanted, right? Yeah, yeah, she did want anglerfish. And then, yeah, there's another one there. But that's all now just the same one over and over again. Yeah, so this is a safe abyssal fishing spot. Uh, which is fine. Now, the problem we've got is, yeah, I think we install this device and then we've only got a few hours until it runs out, which means that the stronger your engines are, the more time you've actually got fishing on the bay. So, generator. We can connect this here. Let's do it. So, all right. Covered in dried... Oh, that actually happens to get me a research point. Great. So, activated. Hums and words to life. Bright light shoots from the top. Alarm begins blaring. They should keep the creature at bay for a time. Amount of time unknown. If you've not upgraded your engines enough, it might not be long. So, alright. I mean, step one. Hang on. Which is the... Time's not moving right now, remember. Time doesn't move. Yes, I panicked a little bit and then I remembered. It lasts for a long time, John. No worries. Okay, we've got... Well, I mean, you will see it because you can't, you can't see its tentacles This right is now. the one. That shape's in the deep. That is not the shape. That's the one that's there. It's this. Because this is the one with the red bubbles. Yeah, that's nice. it. Relic, that's the ring. Right. Next up. Fishy fishies. Yes. I'm just not sure how long we've got until it comes back. That's the problem we've got. This is... Yeah, that... you need that. Yeah, there we go. Giant McGibbly Jibs. You just go under here. It's very cute that the giant is... Uh, the giant one is not that big. And now if we can... Do you remember what the other ones were? That, that was, yeah. That was one, because that was the snail something or other. Oh, he's cute. He's a blobfish. That's really cute. 
And in fact, you know what? Hang on. Check the cabin. Check the pursuits. Uh, collect all samples. The sam one anglerfish, yes. Stoplight loose jaw. Great amphipod. Snailfish. I think it's. We've got three of those. We're just. I think it's for the stop light loose, loose jaw. jaw. Yeah. So we need to find something that looks vaguely anglerfishy. That's not it. Oh yeah. Okay. It's giant because it's giant for being a bug. Ah. That makes sense. That's shape of the water. I need to find a thing here. That's not it. That's not it. No. Maybe it comes out, it might be night. You know what, that makes sense, doesn't it? One of them's going to be a night fish. I'd say let's get out, because well, they said it's going to... do you not want to, like, fish a bunch of other Hadol stuff? That might sell for loads of money. Yeah, but at some point it's going to wear off, in it? Yeah, it's, but, like, is surely gonna... there's going to be a little bit of, like, warning. You say that. Oh, hello! That's new. I don't know if that's what you need, but it is new. It's a gulper eel. I don't like it. Ooh, that's weird. Not not a fan. Not a fan of that. No, definitely not. Uh, whatever it was, there was only one, which generally means very valuable. In fact, you know what? I know there's and because of that wibbliness, I know there's the there's a ec, there's an extra monster one in here somewhere. If I'm just a bit patient. So go go go. There it is. Oh blimey, that's particularly. Appalling. Lol. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to maybe it's the rest of the day when you do this, it's the rest of the day. I'm gonna I'm gonna bank these over at the Well, thing. it's getting to be night and it's has it come back? You I mean you're not wrong it hasn't, but I'm a little bit worried about it. Well I know you are, but you can't see it. Well yeah that doesn't make it better! That makes it significantly worse! Same thing. But Some... You can see the beacon emitting. Yeah, but what if it stops and I get eaten? Fuckers, where are you? That's not right. That's another one of them. You can sort of, you can, you can spot the silhouettes. Yeah. No, not here. Refusing to cooperate. It is not here. Claire, 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 you lied to me, Claire. Claire, you lied to me. You lied to me, Claire. You said I was safe, Claire. I said you couldn't see it because it was gone and then you saw it when it came back and you were able to get out of dodge. Also, the loose drawer is not apparently not found in the basin. Oh. It must be found somewhere else where there's abyssal to be done. Okay. Yeah. In case anyone was uh, and the illusion John was having a stress-free chill time. Okay, so you can have the, you can we can give her the what she wants before they like rot. Once the hands are over, they won't rot anymore. Then the yeah. yeah, this one, yeah, you can have that. So we just need this thing, which comes from an abyssal spot that's not in this crater. Yeah. So fine, it might be in the ocean. It might be in a cave. We've seen abyssal in yeah. the cave before. Could be that. Or it could be, it could, there could just be ones way out in the deep ocean. Claire, when did you lie? What? Well, somebody said in the chat, Claire, where did you lie? <laughs> just wanted you to know that some people are on your side. Okay, rest. These anyway, fish will survive until um... the morning. So, okay, hang on. Next. Use the spyglass. Could do, yes. I could use the spyglass. But then again, actually, I thought the spyglass only identified fish you already had in the Fishipedia. I don't yeah, have but, this thing in the Fishipedia. But if you don't have it, it'll tell you it's a fish you don't have, surely. Yeah, you know what? That, that sort of logically makes sense a little bit. And that is, in fact, a oceanic shark. 
pretty dark. That looks a bit like Hammerhead or something. Yeah, like a Hammerhead. Yeah, if we go look the way out. Well, that is Abyssal, but it's not the right sort of Abyssal, is it? No. Mm. Oceanic. Oh, yeah, it's... Oh, hang on, hang on. That, oh, oh! That's, that's the one. It was somewhere in this direction. Hang on, let's mm. get a bit closer. Let's head out to sea and see what we can see. Because it's, you know, we've got plenty of time there. All right, well, that's the... You were right about the spike. There it is. Yeah, the chat was right about the spyglass. Oh, I see. All of these things you've been passing off as your genius observation skills. You've just been repeating what the chat's been telling you. No, I should I... have known. Well, hello. Oh. Hello, Mr. Whale. I tell you when it's the chat, John. Mm-hmm. Right, well, that worked out. There we go. Oh, he's actually quite cute. <laughs> I kind of assumed he was going to be horrifying, but he's actually kind of cute. Oh, look at him. He's a little cuddle bug. Oh. Look at his little eyes. Oh. I'm going to keep one of them as a pet. I think you might be able to fit more if you uh, rotate the... If you go up and left. No, not... Right. Well, I can fit one more in oh, there. Oh, yeah, fair enough. And also, I, that's good, because this is the special elite one. Nice. Nice. There we go. That'll do. Perfect. That's good enough. Right. Bring her around and start heading back to... Yes, well, I want to head back to... Uh, her. Yeah. Yep, yeah, her. Now that we've got that, which is great. So, yeah, now we know that you can find the odd Abyssal and Hadel just out in the middle of nowhere, which is fine. Uh, so yeah, well, you know what? We'll keep that. I think that's more useful to me than the net is, to be honest. So we'll drop that in. Uh, and then, yeah, the other ones, the spares we can sell together with the other various creatures we've come across. So that's great. So here we go. One special thing for you. Hopefully this gets me something special. So researcher and about specimens. And you can have this one. So there we go. Good news and bad news. Give me the bad news first. The samples you retrieve from the basin have dangerously high counts of selenium mutations. That's not true. I didn't give you a single aberrant one. I sell those. They're worth more money. Good news is I've honed on what's causing it. All points point to the thing in the basin is harmful to life at a cellular level. It damages everything, whether passively or with intent. I need to write a report on my findings. Sorry, our findings are... Maybe now they'll take me seriously. How rude of me, you've done all this and I've not got anything to say thank you with. Uh, you should have this. A plan. Oh, a book. Oh. This is okay. My, I mean, oh, she gave you her dissertation. Basically, yes. Lol. Excellent. Cabin. So, a plan for the future. Begin reading it I've read everything else already. So, that's good right there. So, all right, that now, yeah, now we can just nip straight back over to the thing and sell the other remaining fish. And, yeah, now I've got a nice little book to read. And, yes, the giant squid is the source of the weird aberrations of the uh, in the local area. Fascinating. Claire. Yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to uh, Elaria, who uh, has been a member for 62 months. Uh, and Elaria says, uh, I wanted to say thank you for taking a firm stand against uh, J.K. Rowling. Uh, I've had to unsub from several other streamers. Thank you for being a safe space. Yes. That that was very easy to do because we're both, you yeah. know, like yeah. The only the only thing that I think will be worth paying attention to is because they're doing this dumb HBO series now, where they're going to have to that and they want to do it as full series, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. with multiple episodes. Mm -hmm. Naturally, this means for the first, like, couple of books, they're gonna have, there's nowhere near enough material for an eight-part feature-length uh -huh. series. Uh -huh. So they're going to have to really zoom in on some of the shit, which means you know, you just know, that in Chamber of Secrets series, yeah, there's going to be an entire episode where they're going to have to go into significantly more detail about how chattel slavery is good, actually, and the people that want to abolish it are just idiots. And it's... And and also, I might catch just also, that episode just for it just sounds also, wonderful. Um, and also, there's literally an entire like boys going in girls bathroom subplot. That's true. In that entire book, but yeah. let's just you know what? Yeah. 
I'm not paying money to buy like a HBO subscription to watch the thing. Oh the god, way. no! But I kind of, I, 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 out of awful morbid curiosity, I want to at the bare minimum read a plot synopsis of how the fuck they're gonna do the spew nonsense. Cause oh, fuck, me. cause fuck me. Anyway. Yes. Um. You go up here now. So, okay, I think we're about done with this bit of the world that we've also got. Anyway, uh, research. what yes. I wanted to say is it's very, very, very easy to um, take a firm stand mm -hmm. because, you know, we're both of the age where those books were very influential for us. They and were. I don't, I don't we want were, to we were lit you. We're literally the generation where we were basically the same age as Harry when the first yeah, book yeah, came yeah. out. I don't yes. want to speak for you, mm. but I, for one... I'm mad as hell. Yeah. In, in, you know, and like, obviously, I'm cis, but like, I'm mad as hell because those are people talking, those are people claiming to speak on my behalf and they are not, mm. uh, you know, and, and yeah, and I feel very betrayed and I can't even imagine mm. the depth of that for somebody who, you know, found a lot of comfort in those books as i know many many people in the lgbtqia plus community have mm. in like the acceptance of that yeah i mean i just can't imagine how much like ugh. Mm. all right what if i actually oh yeah i'm still i'm still lacking in most resources that we need so that's fine but yeah we've got okay i think we're pretty much done with the crater area Hang on, take me back over to my pursuits. Yeah, rotting congrue we never did. Catching rare fish for the traveling merchant's records. Most of these I've still not bloody seen. Catch a snake mackerel. Still have not seen such a thing. Two lumber, two scrap for a place to rest. Uh, hang on, two lumber, two scrap, which I... Mm, or may not have. I've got two lumber. Do I have two scrap though? Hang on, my storage. Uh, flibbly jib jibs. I've got yeah. I've got two two lumber two lumber one scrap. That's all right. We don't need that. That's not that's not a high priority in the slightest. What we need to do instead would be yeah. Head back to mackerel. Uh, not mackerel. Marrow. Head back to Marrow, because now we are ready to turn in yet another thing to Chappy McJibble. Uh, and yeah, if we happen to stumble across... Hang on, wasn't there... Hang, hang, hang on. Was there metal round by... If I go this way, round by the village. No, don't use the booster at night. That's, that's just asking for trouble. There were a variety of, uh, yeah, fishing of uh, various spots close by to the village that's around in this direction. There were some dredging spots round here that I just sort of ignored at the time. And I strongly suspect I'm about to be given the fast travel. Are you metal? No, you're material. But honestly, I do kind of need material at some point, so... Kind of may as well bring you up while I'm passing by. Claire! Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, sorry. Just get back to my document. Shout out to Lord Missing Number, who gave us $5. Uh, and says, I just started my own useless run of dead money on hardcore mode. Any chance we'll see the return of useless Steve for dead money on the channel? You know, I, I, I've i long considered that at some point I will almost certainly do. Uh, yes, a, uh, level one naked survival of hardcore mode, uh, dead money, where, like, you are constantly taking damage outside, which is terrifying, absolutely terrifying, but I, I, I always put it off, every time I put it off, because bloody hell, it's going to be an absolute vicious bastard nightmare, uh, so, uh, we'll, uh, we'll see, one day. One day it'll happen, but bloody hell, I'm I'm not looking uh, not looking forward to it. Uh, yes, indeed. Ooh, thank you, forty. Uh, thank you, eighty-four gaming. Sorry, has been a member for five months and says John, um, fuck Mary, kill, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Wind Waker. 
Mary Wind Waker, I think it does actually, yeah, uh, age the best in terms of its looks. And honestly, plenty of its gameplay design has some excellent dungeons in it. Ocarina of Time, I think, has actually aged the worst. And, like, that doesn't mean it's, it's a bad game, but it's a game of its time. And I think in, yeah, I think in all sorts of ways that... Ooh, hang on. What was that? That was just a thing here. This skinny brown dog! Shit, Claire. <gasps> yes! Disembark. Okay. Give him fish. Throw some fish. Okay. Pounce at the splash and swallow seawater. Okay. Sure. Let's slowly approach the dog. We wade towards the shore. The dog backs up a little ways. It sits. Slowly approach again. It runs away nervously and hides in some bushes after a moment. Give him more food. Throw some more fish. Land in the sand. He eats them together with a mouthful of sand. Slowly approach again. It runs away nervously, hides in some bushes. Okay, let's try some. Let's reset it to fish. Now let's try calling it. Soft, encouraging noises. The dog cautiously approaches. It stops just out of reach. Hold out fish in hand. Hold out some fish scraps. The dog approaches and begins licking at them. Pet the dog. Gently pet the dog. Seems to understand. Pet the dog some more. Seems to be enjoying it. Continue petting the dog. It seems to be. Continue petting the dog. Continue petting the dog. Continue petting the dog. Continue. Can we adopt the dog? How do we adopt the dog? I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. you need to leave and come right back? You make your way back to the boat. You hear sloshing and falling. Go yes! through the water. You stop and turn around. The dog is standing in your face behind you. Yes. Yes. This time with the dog. The dog is working so hard and beats the water into a throb behind it. Oh, this game. 10 out of 10 game of the year. <laughs> that just made this game. Oh, shit. It's there in the background. It's there in the background. I didn't even notice it was there in 3D. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. When you get in the boat, a stray dog, it's curled up and it's an eye-opening and eye to watch you move. In a minute, Claire is actually filling a bit of space on the boat. I don't fucking care, John. You adopt that dog. Before curling into a ball and looking at you, maybe you could find this dog a more permanent home. I feel like, in all fairness, it's this is the... Yeah, we need to find this dog a better home. I think on us with this boat is not the right place for this dog. Yes. We need to find. Hello, I love we you. need to find a better home for dog. Uh, Ted woke up because we were squealing so much and came. To we were making dog-related dogs, dog-related noises that he associates with with uh, dogs. So that so was. So now I have a dog to cuddle. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 giant crab, giant crab monster, giant crab monster. Right. Oh, well, I'm trying, sweetheart, but... There was, that was slight, surprising giant crab monster there. Shit, shit went, got real fast. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to find a, uh, I'm trying to find an angle where I can see what you're doing, you know, so, but Ted demanded cuddles, so... Well, you could just look at, you could just set it on the screen so you could see it with latency. Oh, no, I can't see latency, that'd be weird. Oh, All nice. right, there we go. So, right, hang on. Floating dock. I'm now swimming in wood. Priority has got to be... Okay, rod space. Net space. Yeah, just cargo space. Show the details. And yeah, straight away we can just put a huge amount of wood into that, which is fine. Yeah, you know what? This is actually perfect uh, in terms of all of this. This is plenty of good stuff. And then, yeah, we've also got all of the material we need. It's literally just metal we need. Literally just metal, which is great. So we've already got all of that. So, yeah, we've done a little, like, uh, loop around that territory, which is great. Uh, so that's fine. And the rest of this can just go into uh, storage. So, yeah, we've, got, we've still got the wood. We've still got the wood we needed, which is A-OK. -okay. And then we have also got the, yes, the McGibbly Jib Jibs. Uh, some material. Not much. So yeah, we still got the wood. We still don't have the metal, which is fine. So it's 2 p.m. It's absolutely fine. So... Hmm. 
who would, if we run into anyone who I feel like would really benefit from a pet? Like, there's the two, there's the two brothers down in Gale Cliffs, but that's fine. There's the various people who just work on the Dusty uh, Pond. John, so, yes. The researcher literally told you she wanted a pet. Well, she said she was lonely. But that's she true. She said she'd like a pet. That is true. Did she say pet? Yeah, I think she said pet, right? You know what? She lives on a big island. I mean, I feel like, you know, as much as it's love to have this dog, part of being a responsible pet owner is sometimes acknowledging you don't have the uh, the right conditions to care for a pet. And if someone hadn't done that for Ted, we wouldn't have Ted here. And he wouldn't be much happier because he's now got humans who can stay at home with him all the time. Because he wasn't happy, when, you know, with his last humans where they had to leave and go to work because he's a very anxious dog. So sometimes the responsible thing is to know when you don't have the right conditions to, you know, really meet your dog's needs and find them a home where they can. So when you go to the researcher, this dog needs a home. Would you like him? A dog? Let me see! The dog bounds over to the researcher. She crouches down and pets him, grinning. The dog lets her chin in response. I could definitely take this one off your hands and I'd love the company. Yes, I think you, the dog, will be very happy with you. Knowledge as I repeatedly get attacked by giant monsters. As pointed out in chat. The dog will, in fact, be much safer with you. So there you go. We're going to be such good friends, he can be my assistant. Oh my God. The dog stands up and begins to retch its stomach, heaving. It vomits a wet glob onto the floor. Something glistens through the mucus. Oh, That's reason. interesting. It's a sapphire ring. Oh, the dog paid you. The dog, Sweet. The dog paid me. I'll clean the rest up. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Lord. Oh, I think that's the good ending. It's sad we don't that's have the so dog, cute. but that is the that feels like the good ending right there. Yeah, and shout out to uh, Seth who gave us five dollars. Uh, and says, you better not wreck and lose that dog overboard, John. That would indeed be very uh, sad. I, we are told, in fact, that uh, the dog is a quest item and cannot be lost overboard. Wow. I mean, that would be bloody tragic if, like, you know, you ran to right and just told, the dog has gone. Your, oh. your dog just drowned. It's like, Jesus Christ, that would be dark. And, yep, thanks oh. to What's-His-Face. Yes. People are saying, has that got anything to do with the wedding proposal? Did the dog just eat a hand that had a, a, a wedding ring on? Oh, it could oh. do. Also, someone was asking after the workshop earlier. Last time I checked this, it was just locked up. It's DLC, apparently. Yeah, I think it's just DLC. Yeah, yeah I so... think if you if you buy some DLC, there's like some cosmetics in here. But I think other than that, it doesn't do anything. Uh, so, okay, Ruin Mansion and Jewel Encrusted oh. Ring. We're certainly making progress. I know what you're thinking. That's why this would fetch your fortune in the auction. But for us, its value transcends material wealth. Regardless, you're due a reward. Here's some weird magic. So, okay, what are you about to do to me now? Banish. Fires off a blazing light that dispels and protects. Okay, we must keep searching. I've been thinking more on where we might find another. But it chances it one of the two remaining islands we've not been to. Oh my goodness, it was the Twisted Strands channels. Worth investigating. Mark a location where you can begin your search. Anything else? And uh, what are you planning to do, you know, when you have all these relics? Hmm. Surprising, the attachments we hold to simple objects, but they're anything but simple. Seemingly mute artifacts can speak in different ways. If I showed you a childhood toy, you'd be awash with forgotten memories. Uh, they hold the power to recall what was once lost. Very enigmatic. Yes, the old mare of Little Marrow, who went insane saying, toss it back, toss it back. Stuttering fool, I knew him. He joins us on the walk sometimes. Uh, he was more hindrance than help. Never seems entirely with it. Can't imagine he's fared too well since I last saw him. Very, very vague indeed. Gotcha. Yeah, and uh, shout out to Richard who gave us $50. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, Richard says, a tip for your squeals of joy. Yay for adopting dogs. Ooh. Yay, adopting dogs. Love you, Ted. I'm currently petting Ted for all of you. So, right, I can activate an evil thing, an evil blob, but it basically leaves you functionally insane right from the get-go. Uh, it's okay. I've got a defensive blob, but just be aware, it, it makes you mad. It, it does just, it just basically makes you mad. And it's on, it's got a very long cooldown. So if I run into trouble, I'm really under attack. I can use that, but clearly... Bad idea in, in, in various ways. Also, you know what? While I'm actually here, 
Let's just nip over the water to uh, Little Marrow. Little Marrow is right there. I know I'm a little bit bananas right now, but Little Marrow is like right there. And I do have some treasure to sell. We can spend the night at Little Marrow. Little Marrow is a lovely little community. I'm sure it's all fine. So yeah, the trader. That that sapphire ring that the dog gave us is worth fifty dollars. There we go. Shout out to the dog who just gave us fifty dollars. Oh. That was my foot. Oh, sorry. You were you just like right behind my chair. Yeah, because the dog. I didn't hit the dog, did I? Hmm? I didn't hit the dog, did I? No. Oh, that's fine then. Yeah. That's that's absolutely fine. No, you didn't fine. hit me like hard or anything. Yes, all of the treasure oh, shall be nice. sold. Including broken spectacles, which was just very peculiar, but what can you do? Right, got rid of all of the treasures. Uh, I guess we have just $700 redos, uh, which is marvellous. So yeah, we have got money. We have got a huge, great boat. Oh, this is... And we've got a dog. That dog... Oh, that dog, little dumb dog story. That's, that's marvellous right there. And yeah, that is presumably now... Uh, yes? Yes. Seth uh, also gave us another $5 uh, and says the DLC gives you a better than average uh, one-slot engine and a one-slot stone to find more cursed fish. Ah. So yeah, I think it, it basically, like, it doesn't really feel like it's game-breaking in any way. It's just like a little extra thing, like if you want to just toss it. And it's almost like, like giving a tip to the devs, I think, more than anything. Which yeah. I'm fine with DLC like that. And there's like boat cosmetic as well. Yeah. Like DLC where it's just, you kind of just look at it and you straight up feel like, okay, this is like, you know, pay to be better at the game. Which actually, you know what, this is... This is, for all, for all I would say, you know what, Resident Evil 4 uh, remake is brilliant, etc. I will say, what I didn't realise was, I thought the enhanced treasure map nonsense you got was just, it told you where the treasures in the game were. I did not realise, which is what people were suggesting to me, that, that I've been seeing treasures that literally they don't have in their games, i.e. the economy is balanced differently depending on which DLC you do or don't have or which version of the game you don't have. I do not approve of that. And I definitely don't approve of, uh, well, one, the fact that you can just straight up um, buy uh, DLC uh, that lets you buy the exclusive upgrade tickets. And two, the fact this was not purchasable in the review copies that were given to reviewers and then they added it in later. That, I think, is just downright unethical. I think, like, okay, if you're going to put your DLC in, then the DLC that, like, you know, the little microtransactions that you're selling should be, that should be available information to people who are reviewing the game. You should not be leaving that information out and then doing a bit of a bait and switch on that down the line. That's not cool, Capcom. Not, not cool. And also, like, it just in general, like, if you can pay to give yourself, even in a single player game, like, people, like, as you said, it's like, oh, it doesn't matter, it's a single player game, just don't, don't buy them if you don't want them. Yeah, but the moment that you've given the developers a finance, they have a financial incentive to make the game, to basically encourage you to buy, the pay money for the tickets, well, then you've also created the incentive for them to basically make the game grindier. At that point, they're optimizing for, you know, trying to make... It's it's not an incentive you want the devs to have, damn it. You don't want the devs to have the incentive to make the game grindier so that you'll spend money. Because you want the game to be balanced in a way that's, like, fun and satisfying but still challenging. Where it's difficult to get a gun maximized. Like, at the moment, it's like, oh, but if we make it harder to upgrade, we'll make more money. No! That's bad. That's a bad microtransaction. I don't approve of it. And I won't be taking advantage of it. And I, I also, you may notice, I don't know if you've, if you've been watching my Resident Evil 4 series, you may notice, I, I, you get like two extra guns, uh, like a small, very efficient shotgun that's very space efficient and one pistol. Uh, I've just kept them in the chest, never touched them. I didn't even realise till it was pointed out to me in the comments that I literally have more treasure in my game than other people have in theirs. And I don't like that. And, like, when I, like, replay the game, like, in my own time and, like, you know, uh, hardcore and professional difficulty, which I will definitely do at some point or another, 100%, I will see if I can, like, you know, disable it and, like, go back to, like, the basic experience as I think it should be. Whether I'll be allowed to do said thing, I do not know. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I will be, uh, that, that would be, that would be what I would choose to do. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. 
yes, shout out to uh, DB Explorer who gave us ten dollars and says hello. It's been a while since I caught a stream. Question: What are your thoughts, John, on multiplayer-focused games or MMOs? I've been playing for fun, uh, not for streaming or content. Also, please pet the doggo for me. Claire is doing so much petting. I have very few opinions on MMO multiplayer games. I play almost none of them. I play like a little bit of Chivalry 2. I enjoy a bit of Chivalry 2. Finally, some bloody metal. I enjoy sh uh, Shift 2. Uh, Chivalry 2 is brilliant. Uh, I enjoy a bit of Fall Guys on occasion. But like, I, I play so few of them, I, I wouldn't be in a position to like, you know, uh, offer any form of informed opinion. I don't like just randomly spouting off just random shit. I, I, I would not know. I, I, I would not have, uh, I would not have an opinion I would be comfortable sharing given I know nothing about these things functionally. So, uh, yeah. I, 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 I'm afraid we have to pass on that one because I simply do not know what I, uh, what the correct view. Oh, blimey. Brood squid. Well, that's creepy as balls. Uh, yes, I would simply not have, uh, I, 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 I do not have the right, uh, level of, uh, Yes, familiarity with the genre to make any comment on that. Like, you know, I, I much prefer single player. Also, hello, the Lighthouse Keeper's back. If you're mostly honest by now. Well, just, I suppose. Uh, have you found what it is you're looking for? I'm just fishing. It's having a nice time fishing. She recalls from your flagrant lie. <laughs> Why do you mistrust me so? What have I done to warrant suspicion? No, I am just a fisherman. Like, sure, I'm doing this stuff for extra money, but mainly I'm just a fisherman. I, I do that way more. It's just, it's just, it's just, but all right, fine. Just sell that for, oh, a nice, easy $30. Flipping love it. Uh, store all this away. Store all this away. We've got ourselves, yeah, you could go into storage. You could go into storage. And then I've got these two and these two. So, okay. What we can also do just to wrap things up is uh, have a little rest here. Because now I've got two wood and two scrap. So, the last little red X on my map was... Yeah, I need to turn left out of Greater Marrow and head due north. And in that spot, by the way, there's going to be some form of evil mega fish in here. Evil. Evil thing. That's a normal one. No, no, none of that. Give me the evil one. I know there's an evil one here because the, the thing's g going wibble wibble. Give me the evil one. I want it for the Fishopedia. There we go. I've discovered the barbed eel. There we go. That's all I wanted. That's all I flipping wanted. I just wanted the evil one. So, okay. There's an island here. By the looks of it, yeah. Over on the left-hand side of this island. Keep an eye out for shipwrecks. Because, oops. Speaking of which. Speaking of which. There is definitely a shipwreck on the southern side of the island. And sometimes they contain really cool, rare, unique stuff. Not just, like, your, your generals. So, okay. Try to get inside the stern. Pull a bit closer. Ah. Oh. Perfect. Research blob. Never seen it to a research blob. Also, one extra metal. Just in case I didn't bring the right number of metal with me. And on top of that, yeah. Free extra material. Why not? And some pearl earrings. It's got to be worth good money. Hardly spectacular, but better than nothing. Just check if there's anything new in this part of the world. That is, that's just a normal ray. And it's nothing particularly exciting at all. Loop around this side. And this should. Should, should, should bring me to. Here we go. I was told to check in with these guys. There was a woman here who wanted a bit of assistance. So, uh, yeah, material pile. So we want to jap some bits and pieces. We've actually got everything they want. And one extra two, because one of them was literally floating. I'm guessing they were actually all floating nearby. If I just kind of come here directly, they would have all just been here. So there we go. You should let the builder know. Oh, where was the builder? Was she back in... Where was the builder? And also, is there just yet more material? Was all the material we needed right here? Oh, it was. It was literally floating right next to... Wow, well, you're just lazy then. It was literally right here. You could have just... You could just come here and just fished it up. And that's just another goblet too. Hello, Ted. Good boy. Yeah, there's just so, there's just so much stuff here right there. Yeah, there's the, the, there was the wood and the metal... Right here. What, are, what even are these islands, by the way? This is all, yeah, steel point. I don't even know. These are just random islands. They're quite large. They're just random islands that don't really do anything. Well, there must be something going on here. How are you doing, by the way, Claire? Yeah, doing uh, pretty well, actually. Uh, we've got a few more comments and or questions going on. 
Uh, let's see. Scott says uh, Scott gave us ten uh, pounds and says trans rights. Trans rights. Uh, and uh, Dre gave us eleven New Zealand dollars. Uh, and says Kaora from New Zealand just wanted to say thank you for making content. It might sound odd, but your history videos on games like Assassin's Creed Odyssey are the reason I descend I decided to study classics at uni. So no, thank that, you. you know what? That's that's fair and reasonable. Games could be all sorts of fun stuff. Road to the War was uh, well, Road to the War actually uh, what? Did we try if it came out? I first played Road to the War when I was already at university. Uh, for classics, but like it certainly like you know sparked a bit more of an interest in some Roman stuff when previously I was like purely Hellenic focus. So yeah, that's uh, it's uh, I, I can understand how that sort of thing could could occur. That's that's definitely kind of you know makes absolute perfect sense to me. Oh hello, I knew there'd be something around here. I knew there'd be something. Oh, I found a castaway. Hello. Washed up here. Must be some two weeks ago now. We were in rough seas when a wave hit us. Uh, just jostled overboard and swept away. You see, this is why I didn't want to take a dog with me in case that happened. Yeah, fair So, enough. hello. I'm going to be honest. Your boys did not send me to look for you. I'm sure they're out there looking anyways. Can you get me to Little Marrow, stranger? Should be able to catch them when they next stop by. Yeah, sure. You can. We can fit you on board. You can fit in the hold. Okay. We just randomly found a castaway. And I'm pretty sure... We need to go to Little Marrow for Return to the Builder. Yeah, Great Marrow. So we need to go to Little Marrow to drop him off, Great Marrow, and there we go. We'll be in a magnificent shape. So yeah, we'll start with uh, Little Marrow. So that means, as it's already night, manifest me back to here. I mean, if that's going to make me a little bit on the banana side, I'll admit, but that's fine because I can just. Ow! Balls! Just slightly rammed the boat there on my way in, which is very embarrassing. Just res. It's fine. We got plenty of money. We can we can fix up the boat. We can fix up the boat. It's not a problem. Out we go. Turn her around. Uh, straight over to yes, little marrow first. Apparently now we need to repair the bloody boat that I've just knocked a hole into. Dear oh flipping dear. Oh dear. And just to, to very briefly address, I do not want to get drawn into this. Honestly, I can't be bothered to waste my life addressing nonsense with with rolling. But like, you know, yes, we've played Harry Potter games on the on the channel before. This was the channel's been going for ten years. A lot of stuff was not known at the time. <laughs> Information has come out, therefore our view has changed. Then that's it. <laughs> I don't really want to address it beyond that. Anyway, our castaway makes it. Our castaway makes tome, which is lovely. And I'm imagining he doesn't actually have much to, to give me. I'm not much on me. Yes, indeed. Can I actually have something at the bare minimum? Moves a signet ring. Okay. Offers luck to the captain who holds it. Well, that feels somehow more important. Okay, sure to bring good luck to any caps who holds it. That does feel like something I wouldn't want to sell. I'm going to keep that, and I don't really even know why, but I feel like I should, and also by any chance. Was that just enough to get me versatile rod? Coastal, mangrove, shallow, and volcanic. Good. 82% as well. 82%, yeah, faster. And also, actually, you know what? I do have trinkets to sell. While I'm literally passing and by... you have the other rod... Uh, yeah, you... Yeah. I can't do the, the rod upgrade here, though. He's just the trader. That's oh, a yeah, greater yeah, yeah, marrow. Yeah, yeah. That's a greater marrow. So, yeah, just haste over here. Lovely, fresh, new day. So, we'll just pop that in. You will accidentally sell that if you don't put in the storage. I already sold it. Lol, okay. Wait, what? I, I just held the, I held the sell all trinkets uh, button with the trader and it was a technically a trinket. Well, that's that gone. Bye. Oh. That's that one gone. Oh, well. That's shame. <laughs> and I did not pick it. Yeah, I just gave away the metal so I don't have the metal here. Well, the, rings, the, the ring lasted. How many seconds did the ring last? 
The ring lasts a certain number of seconds. Uh, right. But shipwright, brand new sexy rod. That costs, yeah, $500. That is, yeah, so the... The rod I've got on this side is, yeah, Coastal and Shallow. And over here, it's Abyssal and Hadel. This is Coastal and Shallow, but also Mangrove and Volcanic. So whatever's coming up next, we're ready for it. So I'm willing to sell that uh, for another 200 and buy the Versatile Rod. And obviously, that's going in here. Again, orientation feels like it's... You know what? No, this is, this is the time to change this round, isn't it? This is the time to change this round. This ought to go here, and that the other one ought to go on the other side. What What do we need the other one for? Uh, oh, so this one Hale. does. Yeah. This one does the all, all of the four that are. Yeah. Yeah. Refund that for a second. Okay, you uninstall. We do it. Flip it round. Yeah, this is much better. You go in there, install it. That's lovely. You. Yeah, people are saying they think the. Signet ring is just basically like a treasure with a slightly uh, deceptive description. Oh, fair enough. Now we buy that and now we put that here. And look at that. That's better. That's much better. Yeah. That's much better. That's way more efficient now than the right way around. Repair. And then this can just go into... Yeah, those can just go into storage in a second. So, store, store. Now I know about the Y button. And look at that. That's much better. Much, 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 much better. And finally, the builder, I've oh. built your house for you. Let's get moving. And oh, you want to be taken there, do you? Oh, I'm sorry. Anything else? Would you like me to hand feed you grapes on the journey? Good riddance, you Greater Marrow. Greater Marrow's been pretty decent to me, all things considered. You've been very rude to a town that's not really done anything wrong whatso bloody ever. Dear, oh, flipping dear. And oh, it is almost night. Okay, we'll go in the morning. We'll go in the morning. I, I, I swear. Clap. Uh, we are actually caught up. You're all caught up? Yep. Lovely. Well, then let's drop her off to wrap up the stream in that case. And then we'll be, yeah, pretty much done aside from the last two islands. Uh, yeah, we've done a two up. We've done a two of the big exterior islands today. And, uh, yeah, two more to go. And she is very nearby. She's just literally right here. And she just sort of, yeah, wanted me to give her up free house basically she better not want anything else like i've literally I'm, I'm giving her a free cab ride over to her own private island where it's just surrounded by building supplies that i gave to her she doesn't give him anything yet what is the point of this this will do nicely for a short while give me a short while to get things built you're welcome back any time pulls out a handful of components take these you know what i'll flip and take that i'll flip and take two research Two research is actually pretty good. You know what? Okay, fair, fair enough. Fair enough. I was thinking you weren't, you weren't really, like, you know, paying your dues here. But that's, uh, that works. That works. I'll give you, I'll give you that. And speaking of which, yes, the rod, uh, the harvesting platform. Coastal, shallow, and oceanic all in one. And it's also just a giant dumb machine, which is quite excellent. Though I feel like, actually, I feel like I want the... Yeah, the jet drive engine. I just want to move in that direction. Yeah, that's already now uh, almost halfway there just by itself. So she'll at some point have something going on, I am sure. But yes, for the time being, what we've now got is, uh, yeah, Gale Cliffs and Stellar Basin sorted out. Twisted Strand and Devil's Spine remain. And I'm guessing things are about to get nasty. But as we're probably heading into Mangrove and then Volcanic in Twisted Strand and Devil's Spine, we now have the rod ready Nice. To take care of that. That's already done. Which is uh, which is just brilliant. We've got a handful of like really small islands over here. Well, it's just kind of, you know, swimming past on the way. This game is lovely. This game is really just nice and lovely and fun and nice to put together. This is this is a great old time, this old thing. Oh, there's a boat here. I don't trust boats. I do not trust other boats. They always turn into monsters. Is this actually a real other boat? Whoa. Hello. Small slot opens. Who goes there? I'm a fisherman. And what do you want? Just checking you're alright. Not okay. I'm supposed to be delivering this package to Little Marrow. I'm being stalked. Huge Leviathan lurks in these waters. I've seen it. Hung in the water, it's gaping mouth just below the boat. I could deliver the package for you. If you'd like. Happy to deliver a large package. 
No problem whatsoever. Dark fluid oozing from a corner. Love it. Dot worker a little marrow. Pursuit and I heard, added. And also I heard faint... That just means quest in this game. Oh, that, okay. That's just their word for quest. Mm. And why don't you take this too? Again, an item emerged from the door hole this time. It's a book! That's fine. I've got a lovely book too. Would I rather read that book than what I'm currently reading, which is her dissertation? I'm like, I'm almost done with her dissertation. And then getting over it with mind and body. Also, I do not see this monster you're referring to. John? Yes. This is a going bananas at sea game, remember? Ah, uh, yeah, it's possible he's going. Well, in all, in all fairness, it is also the there are actually genuinely giant monsters under the water game. Like, it, it's hard to say whether he's truly going bananas or not. Like, it is, it is, it yeah. is difficult to verify one way or another. He could be going bananas, or he, he, there could actually be genuinely a giant monster that's planning to eat him. It's, it's very hard to say. And this looks like mangroves to me. So that would suggest we are indeed going towards mangrove territory. So, all right, fair enough. I'm happy to uh, to deliver that to uh, Little Marrow for you. It's literally right there. No trouble whatsoever, buddy. Hang on, am I coming up on the, the back of Little Marrow? I'm coming up. Oh, yeah, I need to skirt around to the left to get into the bay where Little Marrow is. It's all right. We are just there. We'll drop that in. This game is just lovely. It's just a very, very nice, enjoyable, chill time. Just in there. Oh, there we go. I've, I've finished reading a plan for the future. Finished reading a dissertation. And that got me, hang about, 15% chance to not reduce fish stocks when catching a fish. On which I've already got 10% of thanks to sustainable fishing. That's pretty good. So, all right. Let's get working uh, By the way, people too. are saying, hey, you should open that package or not. I can't. Oh, fair enough. Uh, there is no open option. I'm delivering it. I'm, I'm, I'm. Look, I'm a good courier. That would be very unprofessional of me. Yes, you, you have a lot of experience. It would be very unprofessional of me to do that thing that you're describing there. So, Mr. Dock Worker, and I've got a package here for you, and takes it, examines it, listens to it. Much appreciated. Uh, if you'll excuse me, wish me luck. Hurry down the dock without another word or compensation. Though he did just disappear, suggesting we might run into him at another point in the future. Something might be, uh, going on there. Hard to flipping say. But yeah, Steelport has now been sorted out. We know a couple of locations. I'd say, how about we, uh, wrap things up there? Yeah, I'm just sharing some, uh, pet pictures with chat. Especially given last week we didn't stream, so we got extra pictures of, uh... Our fave stream cats, Annie and Leo. Excellent. So the chat right now, you have got all sorts of, uh, yeah, pictures dotted about. Lots which is lovely. Cats. Lovely bits. So, yes, over in chat right now, you've got, if you want to, if, you want, if your day would be improved by the addition of additional cat pictures, that will uh, now dose definitely be available to you, which I feel like is definitely a thing that would be the case. Yes. And, oh, blimey. New ridiculously bright thing right there that would require me to buy an extra light space. Yeah. Yeah. And possibly a different boat orientation because this is three by one. And right now the light's at the top. So I'm not sure where the extra light space would be. Because if it would if it's gonna appear like here, then I just have to put an extra single blob as an extra bit of light. Like I might need to wait until boat tier four to have the light space. Mm. To have three in a row. Because yeah, right now it literally would not fit. So hmm. we'd have to we'd have to have a think about that. And yeah, in terms of the dry dock, we have got some materials ready to go, but honestly, not that many. We yeah, we're lacking in we're lacking. We've got a little bit of a little bit of here. Is there any of these like easier to do? That's two and two. Oh, there's one light space. Well, speaking of which, we've literally got uh, yeah, we've literally got those right there. So if I put you in there, where does this extra light space appear? Because I'm guessing it's actually going to be down and around until I have a bigger, sexy Front boat layout. Your, yeah. yeah, exactly. But you know what? It can be done. So that's been installed, so why not? So in which case, hang on. That gets me... Oh, hang on. I need to be in the ship to see which is the dedicated spot. Uh, ship right. Yeah. As I suspected, it's just there. So all I can do for the time being is buy, like, a single decent light. Though I might have a storage. No, I don't have it in storage. I must have sold it. So I could, like, you know, it's only $162 for an extra 
like things. So I'm just going to buy an extra decent cloudy lens. Uh, and yeah, we can just have that. Uh, that was the best one, right? Hang on, just refund that for a second. The cracked bulb. Oh yeah, the cloudy lens is just way better. I mean, it just makes it so much easier to like uh, thing around and no, not storage. I mean, okay, yes, technically that's fine. Uh, buh, buh, buh. Pick up. Oh, yeah, yeah, to cargo. And now that goes there and that gets installed there. There we go, lovely. So, yeah, now I've just got even more light, which is, you know, that's never going to, uh, it's never going to flipping hurt. And then we've got, yeah, the materials for, I've just got, yeah, one, one wood and one cloth right now. So that's they're not even close to that. So we're a long way off from that. But then we're, we're almost actually at tier four. And that's the final boat. Beyond that, there is no tier five. There are upgrades associated with it. But that's it. Probably the thing to to save up for is, yeah, the uh, the extra storage. So I just need metal for that. And that's kind of everywhere. So that's really not a problem. So, yeah, you know what? I'd say we're in a good place to stop there. If we decide to continue this another stream, which it may well do, because I don't know if we could like comfortably complete another stream, then we would be yeah doing the final two islands and uh, whatever the grand finale is. But this is lovely. This is this is lovely. This is this is uh, this is a lovely thing. This is a lovely thing right here. So I'm just going to move us over to the end card as we start uh, wrapping up right over there. So, oh, Ted is looking very sleepy, but he could definitely do with some cuddles right there. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, we could definitely do with a bit of food right here, too. Yes, indeed. Oh, blimey, blimey, blimey. So, yes, we are going to wrap up that. Unless, Claire, you've got anything else you need to toss in last minute? <laughs> but, uh, uh, yes. No, I don't I don't have... Uh... All right. We, 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 we... We have said we don't want to discuss the thing. Yes, let's not get more into let's not get more into that nonsense at the end of things. What I will say, however, is we are now going to be dealing with uh, we are now going to be dealing with it's the end of Oblivion tomorrow. The Oblivion is indeed the grand is indeed the grand finale of Oblivion is coming up tomorrow. Then we're entering the week of new releases. We have got Dead Island Two, Advance Wars Reboot Camp, and Star Wars Jedi Survivor all coming up. Over the next uh, week and a half, all your usual Fallout floating around too. Resident Evil 4 will... Okay, Resident Evil 4 will temporarily move to Monday and Friday. We're going to wrap it up there. It's not a long game. It never was. Uh, that'll probably be done in like three weeks. So probably mid-May is going to be XCOM 2. I think XCOM 2 starts in mid-May after we wrap up Resident Evil 4. That's kind of the... Uh, yeah, that's kind of the, uh, that, 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 that's the current schematic, I think. Resident Evil 4, the funny thing about Resident Evil 4 is, like, like all Resident Evil shall, <laughs> the views on it are terrible. Uh, no, Resident Evil, I kind of knew that going into it, even though I thought I love the original Resident Evil 4, and I think it's a really interesting game, I think I've got a lot to talk about with it, because I know the original so well. I knew that series was going to be a disaster in terms of views, but that's fine. I, I like that, I like the original, I like this new one, I think there's a lot of interesting things to talk about in it. Uh, so that's fine, and it'll be, and it'll, it'll only be uh, here for a uh, for a handful of weeks. Only be here for a handful of weeks, so that will be all absolutely a okay. And uh, yeah, then XCOM probably starting in May. So a whole bunch of exciting changeovers occurring over the uh, yes uh, over the uh, next uh, next uh, over the next uh, few weeks. But yeah, Oblivion says it's sad goodbye. Says it's sad goodbye. Uh, right there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we're going to be uh, wrapping things, uh, wrapping things up there. And we're going to go pet a dog, eat some food, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, yes, indeed. And several people in chat saying, uh, please continue this game. It'll probably be about another, like, one live stream to finish it. Yeah. And they'd love uh, That's to That's what I would have thought. I think at the bare minimum, it definitely, it could definitely be a, uh, it could definitely be a, uh, an option for a vote. Oh. <laughs> Wolf Ranger says it's been like playing Oblivion for the first time again after all those years. <laughs> one day Morrowind will happen too. One one point uh, one point, but one day Morrowind will happen. I think it, Morrowind is now way more likely on the back of how much I've enjoyed Oblivion, how much everyone seems to have enjoyed Oblivion. Like I feel like that's that's definitely a thing at this point. So yeah, we're gonna go eat a little bit of food, pet dog now. Uh, next week, I do not know what the live stream is going to be. Um, 
Because, yeah, I'd say there's all sorts of new stuff coming out. In particular, uh, Star Wars Jedi Survivor, of course, you may recall, we did uh, the original uh, Jedi, uh, the Star we did the, the original Jedi, uh, Fallen Order, that was, I forgot, I was going to say Jedi Outcast? No, Jedi Outcast is the much older one, that is also very good. Uh, yeah, Fallen Order, we did do as a live stream series, and I thought it actually worked perfectly well as a live stream, so I think it actually suited it fairly well, I think it was a fun time. Uh, so we might well do Jedi Survivor in a similar one. Dead Space is going to get done at some point too. Uh, and yeah, then there's just a fair few bits and pieces. That one might kind of tell you, uh, going back to Sons of the Forest, Contraband Police. So yeah, I do not know what the, uh, live, what the, uh, next live stream is going to be. So join us next week for a mystery of subscription. <laughs> Hopefully you're looking forward to complete and total uh, flipping mystery. Thank you very, very much for joining this evening. Thank you so, so much to the Super Chat donators. We've had some incredibly generous donations uh, this evening. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to wrap things up there. Hopefully we see you next week. And hopefully you join us tomorrow for the grand finale of Oblivion. I believe the second longest series in the channel's history. Second only to Skyrim itself. So, uh, yeah, all coming to an end very, very soon indeed. And hopefully you join us for all sorts of changeovers occurring. Uh, yeah, with that. And in the meantime, I've been job. I've been class. Been ten over there, just uh, snoozing asleep on the sofa. He's having a lovely, lovely time. And this has been Benny and Trudet, and this has been the delightfully weird and wonderful Dredge. Thank you very much, and have fun. Don't go in that water. No, don't. It's 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 better on land.